hello, side. Thank you for the wonderful streams and fun hangs. Hello everyone happy Saturday side dance. just barely i am a little bit late um totally because i didn't set an alarm and um i wasn't just um watching another streamer and didn't get distracted i never watch other streamers <laughs> and the only reason why i even have to admit that is because robco is in there <laughs> I may have gotten slightly distracted. Just a little bit. Just a little distraction. Um, I did go dry my hair though. Oh, okay. Let's say goodbye to the hair. Do you need anything? Apparently, Rube is getting rid of much of his hair. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, the only reason I have to say anything is because Robco 
saw me in a different stream and I may have been distracted watching somebody else. I still was going to be late either way, but I was later because I was watching someone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, Llama, hello. This is what we call sniping. You sniped it from somebody. I don't know who you sniped it from, but good job. I would dig down deep said dang it. So I guess you may have sniped it from them, but yeah. Llama, congrats on first redemption. Hello, Robco. Hello, dig down deep. Hello, Malk. Hello, living. Lurk to avoid spoilers. That totally makes sense. You're spoiler free for right now. But yeah, we, we're going to be playing more of Outer Wilds. And if you haven't experienced this game for yourself, everybody has told me like in the past and I'm telling you all now in the future to uh, make sure to save it for yourself and, and play it for yourself. You can always lurk on it, but I don't think it's a bad game to lurk on. But um, I, I do think it probably is best experience by, for yourself. Um, I've been thinking about this game since Tuesday because the last time we played it was Tuesday. And uh, like I'm equally excited to jump back in and kind of scared to jump back in because I feel like we're just heading to like the spookier places now. It started you off with like, okay, not so bad places. And then it's gonna get spookier. So we'll see. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Jason, thank you so much for the six month three sub and the very kind words. I appreciate it. I'm glad you've enjoyed your time in this lovely community with these lovely people. That is wonderful to hear. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting. I appreciate that. Hello, Mr. PJs. How are you doing? Hello, Gus. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, sweet new badges. You get badges all the way up. Um, all the way up. I'm not even to the best badge yet. So I say best badge. Like, I'm not even to the last badge yet. I think I just got to the, like, crazy colored badges. Uh, the the multicolored, the rainbow badges are, like, far ones. And then... If we ever get, well, I mean, we will eventually get to them because I think they're like year five, six. Then I need to go do galaxy ones and have um, and have uh, maple work on the galaxy ones. So I should probably do that. But yeah, yeah, CD dance, dance, monkey dance. Hi, Arsoel, how are you doing? <laughs> Arsoel, thank you so much for the 37 months over three years of supporting my silly butt. And, and doing the things that I enjoy and giving me an opportunity to go full time and give that a try for the rest of this year. So it's because of support like that that I'm even taking a chance doing it. So it just means you guys get even more content and your, your subs go even further because I'll be here on here a lot more. So more content, all more content all around. What's up, Frigid Souls? How are you doing? Hello, I have Fuzzy Brain and House Flipper Hyperfixation. Fair enough, Colossus. I hope Fuzzy Brain doesn't plague you all day. Uh, I'll be honest, we were originally gonna stream yesterday. Ruben and I were gonna stream some stuff yesterday and I was just like in the weirdest of mindsets and couldn't shake it for the longest time. So we ended up not streaming yesterday. So sorry, because I know I said I, I said it was potential, and there was question marks on the schedule. But uh, I was originally going to stream yesterday, but we'll probably make it up on Monday or Tuesday. So there will be a Rube City co-op stream because we've got some stuff, we got some incentives we need to start working through. So, Hasso, welcome in. Happy to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Rainy, how are you doing? Lovely. How has Dredge been treating you? I saw you were on it more yesterday. Yeah, good morning, Robco. Good morning. You didn't see me being late while uh, chilling in other chats. <laughs> I at least kept myself from saying anything in dangerous chat because I'm like, if I start talking, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to stop. And then I went into a new friendo stream and started talking and then couldn't stop. So yeah, go me. <laughs> Whoops. Anywho, uh, yeah, I did sleep in a little bit, Marilith. I didn't even set an alarm last night. I'm, I don't know how I managed that. I, that's usually like literally the last thing I do before laying down, but I guess I did not set one. So I woke up at 1032 and I was like, shit, at least I didn't over oversleep like past the time, but that's still sleeping in very late for me. I may have went to bed at like 233 though, so... 
Yeah. Just a bit distracted. Just a bit distracted. Yeah. Yeah. You go to bed late, you get up late. It's how the world works. <laughs> At least for me. Yup. Oh, nice, Frigid. I hope safe travels to ya. What's up, Blitz? How are you doing? Yeah, we started Outer Wilds on Tuesday. Started Outer Wilds on Tuesday, and I'm really enjoying it. I, I think I mentioned it, but there was a part where I got ejected out into space and it scared the shit out of me. And I was like frozen in fear for a minute. And it reminds me so much of like how I felt sometimes in Subnautica with the vulnerability aspect. Jackio, thank you so much for a gifted sub to the community. I hadn't even gotten to say hi yet because I hadn't gotten to your first message yet. Thank you for gifting a sub to the community. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And congratulations to Zebo Stream. That's how I'm going to say it. And congrats. Enjoy your gifted sub courtesy of Jackio. But yeah, so like, I, I don't know. I didn't. I do not know how today is gonna go, cause I feel like yeah, they gave you like the nicer planets and stuff in the beginning, and like it's only gonna get like crazier and creepier and stuff from here. But I really don't know. Um, I, I obviously know the dark bramble is gonna be freaky, just based off of how the game is like talked about it. But uh, I don't know. It, it should be good. Like I'm excited to hop back in it, but I'm also scared. <laughs> So, so I'm like, listen to the calm music in the beginning, and maybe that'll make me feel better about it. So, <laughs> but Blitz, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. And Gus, I'm glad you're doing well. I slept really well. Like, I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up, whenever it's not to an alarm, it's like the most refreshed I tend to feel. So maybe it was what I needed. Maybe it was what I needed. It was just to wake up on my own and feel kind of refreshed. So, yeah. I mean, I went to bed at like 2.33, but I slept till 10.30 and I just woke up and I was like, I kind of noticed it was brighter in the room and I'm like, I'm probably late. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Gus. Thank you. I was just typing my name so that people could see my, my moon badge. Danny, I swear you just did that. Maybe it was like at the end of the month and then this was like the beginning of the next month because oh, I swear. I brought you this emote of a person dressed as a shark dancing for your enjoyment. <laughs> your welcome eyes will dance. You know what? I appreciate that, Danny. Danny Danger da God dang it. Hang on. You changed a little bit. Danny Dang Danger Droopy Dab. You changed it again. I was like, wait, I was getting used to saying the old one, I think. Thank you for the 43 month resub and always keeping me on my toes on how to say your name. And I know you're like, just say Danny. And I'm like, but I want to at least say each name that, like each name that you change. Like usually I'm pretty good about keeping track of people's names, but for anybody who hasn't noticed, Danny has been around this community for almost four years. Actually, I think it has been over four years. Uh, and Danny has their name changed like almost every time that they can change it, which is every what, 60 days, 90 days? I don't remember, but Danny has, it's always some long conglomeration of, sh <laughs> of names. So, yeah. Yay, more content. Sherlock, how are you doing this morning? Welcome in. Hi, Jackio. See, I can see that. You will lurk mostly today. That is perfectly fine. I just know everybody, I appreciate lurks, okay? Lurks are fantastic. And I know not everybody wants to lurk games that they plan on playing, because I I definitely don't do that for certain games. So just know that I appreciate you, whether you're lurking or chat chit chatting, so Oh, you managed to catch some of the first half? Very nice, Hasso. If for some reason you would like to go back and watch more, did I post it on the archive already? I might not have. Um, we do have a YouTube archive. No, I was supposed to post it yesterday and I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I will be uploading it to YouTube or you can go back in Twitch and watch the VODs too. I don't have Twitch VODs behind subscriber walls or anything. So uh, you can go back and, and watch it if you want. Uh, any of the other reactions, but yeah, they, they'll they also be on the YouTube archive. I just meant to post it yesterday and I just now realized I forgot to do that. Whoops. <laughs> so if you do want to catch it or go back to it, you can. 
Uh, you missed the start of Outer Wilds. Can we do a fresh start? At least I'd understand what I was doing more. But no, I've already explored a lot, Sherlock. I'm not going back. You got the fun to watch if you want to see that. Jerry, hello. Hey, hi, how are you? I hope you're well, Jerry. Good to see you. It's a very nice ruby emote you got right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, the music is so good. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I was listening to the soundtrack. Just, just listening to the soundtrack while I was playing games. Because everybody always talked about it. I made sure not to, like, I just set the up the list to autoplay and then I didn't look at it because I know sometimes songs like names can be spoilers so I made sure to I made sure not to look at the name 10 bucks I literally was just saying that I set it on play and I didn't look at the names of any tracks I swear to god <laughs> so it's not spoiler I didn't know what any of it indicated there was a little bit of creepy song at one point, and I'm like, God, I want to go skip that, but I don't want to look at the name. And then I realized I had skip buttons on my keyboard, and then I was happy. <laughs> so I didn't spoil myself, I swear. I promise. I don't even know if I got through the whole soundtrack, because <laughs> I literally closed it without looking at it. See, I'm smart. I, I've been around the block a few times. Thexius, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being in and out. Thank you for lurking. Doing good, been a bit busy morning. I got all my weekly errands done. That feels great, Blitz, to have that done. So that feels great. Hasta, thank you for the follow. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. It could be Asto, depending on if you pronounce the H or not. So let me know. But Blitz, I'm glad you've got all that done. It always feels so good to have that done. Floating through space is scary. It's true. Like, I'm not even joking. I legitimately froze for a second the first time I got ejected into space because I literally was just like, I, I don't want to turn around. I don't want to move. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm in the open now. And that's the part that freaks me out. Because like, I went back and I was watching, um, I was watching the Daniel Matt play Subnautica yesterday. And I was like, man, I get the same feelings that I got in Subnautica that I do in Outer Wilds in terms of like exploration. Like I want to progress and I want to keep looking and, and stuff like that. But like you feel so vulnerable when you're just out in the open. And so like I was fine in Subnautica whenever I was like diving deeper and stuff as long as I was in a ship. But it was the second that I was like the warpers who would take you out of the ship and like you would just be exposed was like the freakiest feeling to me. And that's what Outer Wilds did to me. And I was just like, ugh, like, I don't know. It's it's a freaky feeling that, that like that's that was what bothered me. So CB Liberty, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Danny, thank you again for the 43 months. And thank you very much for bringing a dancing shark. I appreciate that. This is the last communication detachment imminent. Well, I hope not, Liberty, but you... <laughs> yeah, I'm never late or early. I arrive precisely when I mean to. Yeah. Zelda Gif, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Basically every 90, okay. I was going to say, there's been times where I feel like it's gone past the 90 mark, but like I, I do see your... Because that's slightly different than the last name. It's about as long, but <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Uh, good hunting. Thank you, Liberty. Thank you. I'm a serial lurker. So am I. In most cases, uh, Zelda Gif. Like, I only have so much time in the day, and so does everybody. And uh, especially in content creation, like, I lurk so many places because I really enjoy watching other people play games. But it doesn't mean I can interact all the time. And that that's what I fell into the trap of this morning. I started talking to, to a chat and to a streamer, and then I was like, I also had to dry my hair and I also woke up late, but I probably would have been earlier had I not uh, started talking. <laughs> Lars, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Yeah. What do you mean? How about them archives? The archive is already there. We'll have some real regular YouTube uh, content soon though. So that's exciting. Yes, no, this is Outer Wilds, not The Outer Worlds. Two completely different games. 10 bucks. Thank you for that follow yesterday or day before yesterday offline i appreciate it welcome in i did not spoil myself though i promise <laughs> uh, what's up deus how are you doing that is a lot of books but books are great books are great books are perfect hi casey 
I, I'm using the word ejected because I don't want people to get spoiled. I know I've said like a little bit here and there, but since I wasn't in the game yet, I didn't want to completely do that. It's a made up name, your preference, don't mind. Thank you, Hasso. I just wanted to make sure because I'm like, could be a silent H show. 800, 800 books. Your main breaker went bad? $900? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, PJs. That does sound like a hell of a day. I'm so sorry. Nobody likes a $900 bill. So, ugh. I'm sorry. You do have your satisfactory day. And Rube has been playing it a bunch lately. Hi, Briggy. I just realized I didn't respond to your message this morning after responding to the message yesterday. I was going to ask if you own Lethal Company. I know, very random. But that is what I messaged you for. <laughs> The Warpers. Yes, they don't do you any harm, but they put you in harm's way. It's so unsettling. They are the scariest thing in that game for me, Robco. Like, Leviathans? If I see them coming, fine. Perfectly fine. But, um, Warpers? Like, taking you out of, like, the safety of your ship is literally the scariest thing to me. So, yeah. You got about 27 hours a day. Oh, do you? 27 hours. That's impressive. So... You look very alike to one of my linear circuit professors. Well, I can tell you I have never taught. <laughs> you probably wouldn't want me to teach anything. Is that a... Okay, it looks like somebody designed that art based off of like Gravity Falls characters. That looks cool. 10 bucks. I hope you're doing well, though. Hello, Archimedes. Good afternoon. How are you doing? We're about to hop in the game. All right. Rube buzzed his head. He, he lost a lot of hair, it looks like. <laughs> I'm so glad I got a picture of the hair. <laughs> no idea. Okay, fair. You you might get it gifted to you today. <laughs> oh, Mirage. Nice. I do want to go back and and, uh, and uh, play some Mirage. I can teach you how not to be a streamer, Archimedes. I can teach you what not to do. All right, I have caught up with chat. I will, of course, continue to chat with chat. But let's go ahead and uh, start getting the game going so I can explore while chatting. So if you are trying to avoid spoilies, now is the time that you should lurk or vacate or whatever the case may be. And we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to go explore some wilds. Okay. This, out of wilds. This, this, this. Should still be set. Oops, I put this on the wrong monitor. Oh god. I should not do that whenever the game is loading. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. <laughs> if it does, that's fine. I don't even have a single achievement in Outer Wilds yet. Wow, okay. I don't even have an achievement in Outer Wilds. There we go. Don't even have an achievement. Sounds good, Deus. Enjoy your book. Absolution's been around for a while, I think. How's the hair look? All the hair's gone. <laughs> I know. I saw the, the we could build a second room with all that hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> uh. Oops. Ah, no, they got off the music. No. <laughs> He did not get fault. He was uh, buzzing his hair because he is living in Arkansas through the summer and realizes that having a lot of hair like this sucks in the heat. So, yeah. True, Archimedes, true. But I can tell people what not to do along the way to be even more successful. <laughs> All right. So, 
Thank you, Robco, for posting the first command. As a heads up, everybody, this is a first blind playthrough. So what does that mean? It means I have never played the game before until, well, Tuesday. Uh, and I've never watched a playthrough of it, which means that I don't know what's going on other than what is happening through my own personal experience. So please do not offer any hints, tips, tricks, advice, anything that can be found helpful verbatim from the command. Do not tell me what to do. Offer any advice and make foreshadowing comments because people love to do that too or any information that could ultimately help me. For anybody who missed the first stream, I'll try to kind of give you a little bit of recap. Well, we can take a look at the ship's uh, log so you can kind of see where I've been, what I've done so far. But uh, any comments that are like leading, trying to be helpful and stuff that's not asked for, the mods will delete. Do not take offense to it. I have asked the mods to keep this playthrough as blind as possible for me. So they will delete anything that seems like it's helpful. So that's, that's that. So. Yes, but cost of living PJs at Arkansas is the reason why I can even try full-time content creation. <laughs> so, yeah. Sherlock. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. You should, PJ. You should. I have been enjoying it quite a bit. So again, I, I'm a little nervous of going into like some of these freakier planets and stuff. And I'll kind of tell you what my thought process is. So we're about to launch again. I do have a launch command. Wake up. And for who, people who don't know, again, this is the point where you probably don't want spoilers and whatnot. But uh, you're on like a cycle system and... Uh, we're trying to research what happened to the Novi people, and like for us personally, we keep having our sun go in a supernova, and it sounds like a bunch of other um, stars are going into supernova by like the end. A bunch of the stars have all gone like supernova, and then it was talking about the world expand or the universe expanding and stuff. So yeah, we're trying to find out a couple different things. Gravity cannon, something, Hang City, Black Hole Forge. Anglerfish fossil. Okay, so we got some new stuff. So I should be paused in this menu. I hope so Yeah, this is this is our solar system and We're trying to figure out a couple different things So I have been to any of the places at any of these places here I have not been out really past that except for the white hole station so we've been on the ember twin and the ash twin and as far as the Ember Twin is concerned, we found out later there's an escape pod there. So maybe we can find that now, maybe, hopefully we can find that. I'm not so sure. Um, we know where the Sunless City is, but there's like cactus in the way, <laughs> for a lack of a better word. So I haven't figured out how to get in there yet. And we know that the Ember Twin fills up from the Ash Twin. So like some caves and stuff are, inaccessible um, whenever you wait too long. Uh, we know where the high energy lab is in the Sunless City, but again, we can't get to it currently, or at least that I can find a way. According to this, it says there's more stuff I can find in the quantum caves, but all we found was this rock that teleports, and we don't know where it teleports to and stuff, so we'll see. I don't know. Um, this I don't know. Oh yeah, they were talking about a disappearance, but I couldn't find which cave that was exactly. There's definitely more we could find on the Ember Twin. And then yes, apparently there was anglerfish. Studying anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. So maybe, maybe we should go back to Ember Twin earlier in today's run, we'll see. Uh, and then the Ash Twin, it's interesting because it like, all the ash goes away over time. And we did do some exploration here. I don't know if I found everything here. It looks like it says, yeah, there's more to explore. But there was the two towers on either side and then it has like this group of towers. And I know for a fact we've explored at least two of those. I feel like I'm missing the last one. But you have like almost no time left because uh, these are called the hourglass twins or something. And so it's kind of an indicator of how long until the sun explodes. So, or goes supernova. And so you really have not a lot of time left. But yeah, it seems like I could do some more exploring on those two. Uh, I did end up going to some other places. Adel Rock didn't really have that much. It had the eye signal locator. So we know that the Nomai came 
from a different place in the universe uh, and that there was a lot of Nomai people and it was a specific tribe that came out here because they were looking for something called the Eye of the Universe uh, and their big vessel uh, was snatched and stuffed by the Dark Bramble and then they had three escape pods, one of which landed on uh, Ember Twin, one landed on Brittle Hollow, and then one was still in the Dark Bramble. So yeah, we learned that. And yep. I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> I'm just trying to like recap everything from, from Tuesday that I can think of. I started going through Brittle Hollow quite a bit. But how to learn, yes. Everybody keeps talking about a final rule before landing on the quantum moon. So I've been trying to access that, but the way to get there is broken. And so apparently there's another way to get there. And we were exploring a lot of the hanging city and I want to go back there first. Cause I think there's one more level that I never went to maybe and explore that. Uh, the Nomai debated on how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core acquired for the Ash Twin project. And they were talking about, yeah, warp core and how their vessel had a warp core, but they couldn't go get it because it was in the Dark Bramble. Um, gravity Cannon. I still don't kind of understand that either. Because uh, you've got Gravity Cannons both on Brittle Hollow and you've got one on Ember Twin. And those like jettison a, one of the Nomai ships, but that's it. You can't really like control it. So it's really weird, but yeah. Aw, uh, sounds good. You should totally play it, Lod Cookies. You should absolutely play it. Have a good lurk. Hi, Matt. Yes, we keep getting Groundhog Day currently. So, uh, and then the Black Hole Forge, I haven't been there yet. So, so yeah. Like, straight out the gate, I was thinking about going to the Giant's Deep, but it looks like we have some other stuff that I can do on these first, so I think I'm going to look and see. Also, I love how this is just, like, no discoveries made about Hollow's Lantern, but we, like, orbited it, and, uh, yeah, it's just lava, so I don't really understand <laughs> what we're supposed to do about that, but okay. Uh, and then, yeah, Quantum Moon. So we like flew past the quantum moon at one point, not realizing what it was on Tuesday, but apparently you can land on it. Currently, according to the travelers, nobody's ever landed on it from our people, but apparently the Nomai did figure out a way to land on it. And Brittle Hollow is supposed to tell us the last thing we need to be able to land on quantum moon. So we'll see. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Landed a shuttle, um, research mints in the quantum moon that no uh, Hearthian has ever been able to land on. Uh, I know my name, Sol Solem, Solanum, landed a shuttle on the quantum moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to quantum moon always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. But we, we, don't, we don't really know about that yet. Um, and then, yes, warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. So we haven't been to Giant's Deep and we haven't been to Dark Bramble yet. Uh, we have been to White Hole because if you go to Brittle Hollow uh, and you fall in the black hole, you get jettisoned out into the space, which was what scared the shit out of me. Uh, and then, like, you make your way to the space because you start floating towards it. Thank goodness, because it like, just being in space would have sucked and then the interloper i don't even know what that is i think that has some maybe has something to do with the dlc i don't know all right so that's where we're at i also remember that there's like a station that's really close to the sun but uh, i like went into the sun once <laughs> so i don't know if i can get onto the station that's close to there i'm sure i can somehow but so yeah, we're 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 just gonna we're just gonna go and see what we can see. So I'm thinking we go back. I'm thinking we go back here for now. Oh, my headlights are off. Oh no, the lock-on thingy is not working. I hate. It doesn't seem to want to do that. Aligning trajectory. Whee. 
So yeah, I kind of gave you guys the down low, at least of what I know. Um... I am trying to remember the entry point. There was an entry point somewhere over here to the city. I think it's like here. Because I could go to the gentleman that's here, but... Alright, well at least I didn't forget how to fly. Isn't there an entrance around here somewhere? Is it right here? Yes! Haha! -ha! Look at all the stuff I remember. I remember all the things. Because this is where I was exploring last time. Yoop. Yoink. Yeah, I kind of flew into the sun like twice. Oh, I forgot to hit my launch button. I've launched my ship 12 times now. I have died to the sun a few times. <laughs> what was funny is I wasn't even going for like the station. I was trying to go for the, the twins and I just completely flew off course. I think this was all red, right? Maybe it's because since I restarted it, it like does that. Yeah, okay. I'd already read all of that. And I've read to the scrolls and stuff that were here. So. But I don't have much time, so we need to move. Yeah, so I already read all those scrolls and stuff. That's fine. Black Forge controls. I didn't use this. Controls. Do I go down? Oh, whoa! I didn't do this last time. I don't, I don't know where that's going. I, I don't know how to access that. We're gonna try to figure it out. Uh, it'll be fine. Yeah, definitely don't want to fly into the sun, so. Yeah, no, no, horse, horse emotes never mean anything ever, Jason, ever. Wait, is that like on the surface? Alright, how the fuck do I access that? Hang on. How do I how do I access that? Okay, well hang on. I don't actually know how to access that. Which level am I on right now? It says I'm on this level, the meltwater district. Did I explore this one? I don't remember. I think I went all the way to the bottom. Hi there. Hello. Oh, there was also another path that I forgot about until just now. Wah! Okay, I may have hit my head. It's fine. It's fine. Did you need to? No. Okay, do that looks kind of uncomfortable. Were they eating a person or did they die there? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I know I haven't been here. Or both. Oh. I know I haven't been here because I don't recognize any of this stuff. Okay, there's something over there. That leads up, which doesn't actually lead up. I feel, I hate kind of being like on a timer. Being on a timer like freaks me out. I know it's 22 minutes, it's not that bad, but man, a lot of people are dead here. And again, these guys all died like at the same time, it seems like, like that they were just chilling and then death came to them kind of situation. They're all just leading on life. Okay, this I haven't seen before. What's this? Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We discover the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to the possibilities. Okay, we, we knew that already. 
What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Why can't we hear it? Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Well, this also, we're like way later in the timeline, I think. Because they were like, the Nomai haven't been around for like a long time. Of note from the signal, we are able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps it's a lack of age. Okay. Oh boy. Oof. Just don't want to be jettisoned out, leave me be. It is an interesting way, but I've, we talked about it being close to like the arrival and I thought that was super interesting. I no longer believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The eye of the universe wants to harm us. Oh, so he th at one point he thought they did. So we know that the Nomai came here, and it sounds like they've had multiple generations of people here uh, because of the crash. And like we even, in this case, the writing's similar, but we actually found some writing that seemed a little bit more, I don't know, it didn't seem as clean and it was a lot larger than this. So it seemed like that would be like the next generations or a later generation of people. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were most cer almost certainly exactly that, a circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. I might have called out to any sentient species, or it might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This would be, wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. It's true. You don't know anything about it. Literally, they know nothing about it. They came here wanting to learn about it. But yeah, literally all other people just died all at once. So. It doesn't seem like those tablets are anything, but... Okay, and this just drops back down. Okay, so I guess that was everything here. Didn't really give us anything more than we already knew. Can we go up for any farther? No. I don't think we go up any farther. No, it looks like it's all broken. So we did raise the Black Forge, but I don't know how to get to that exactly. I'll see if I can figure it out. That was where we came from. I think we already explored the very bottom one. So let's drop off here. And then it looks like it went almost all the way to the surface. I don't know if we can access it or not, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I don't know how that is. It's the eye worshippers. Yeah, it seems like some people were much more, you know. And of course, like the Nomai people are known to be explorers. They talked about like their festival and everything. That was all like important to their tribe of people to like gain knowledge throughout the universe and then bring it back. So like, I've really enjoyed trying to like piece together what's happened from that perspective. But, yeah. What's sad is it does just seem like all the Nomai people that were here just tragically died at some point. Oh, 
like it happened in an instance, which is interesting. So that can imply a couple things. Let me see if I can see this black forge thing. I don't think the black forge goes. Hmm. Hi, Elsa. Uh, so far, we've been obviously starting planet, the twins. Uh, and then we're on Brittle Hollow, and there's still... Okay, this is where... Oh, hang on. Was that there before? Oh. Wait. No! Does this... Okay, now that's just the hanging... Shit! It looked like it came, like, up here. Ow. <laughs> no, because that's just going to take me to the... Whatchamacallit thing, so... Shoot, it looks like it goes right there. Oh no, I don't know how to get to the, the forge. Son of a beach. Okay, hang on. I don't know how to get to the forge. No. At least that didn't scare me this time. Yeah, 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 we already know about that. Shoot, I don't know how to get to the forge. But yeah, we've been to the twins. We've been to obviously the main planet, the moon. Let me see what this did, if it did anything. Yeah, see, it didn't even update anything in the log because we already knew all that stuff. Um, but yeah, we've been to the twins. We've been to Adel Rock. We are on Brittle Hollow and we're trying to figure out how to get to the quantum moon. So we haven't been for anything. We haven't been to either of these giant steep or um, dark bramble. Uh, and then Hollow's Lantern's literally just on fire. So I don't know how that's supposed to work, but that's okay. So how do I get to the fucking forge? <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder if I can tell that one guy any more information. Because he did say if we found anything to tell him. But I don't think we found any more information we didn't already know. So... But Ilsa, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Hi, Greencastle. Hope you're doing well. We're just putting the pieces together. Okay, so we've read everything here. Again, I read that stuff all last time. Um, we do about the forge, though. That just says the controls. time to like run out and jump on it or something. Hmm. How do I get to you, forge? Oh, well, I'm fucked up anyway. I feel like that's up to the I should be able to find that. Okay. Maybe it is up there and I just missed it or something. I'm going to look again. I was thinking about jumping it. And I think it's supposed to be up before you access it. Because it seems like it like opens up. Like it's... I don't know. I don't think I can jump it. If I end up getting blasted out to White Hole again, then so be it, but it looks like it like goes up and then it opens or something. Like it needs to be up to be able to access it. But maybe I'm just full of shit. But yeah. Translation for what, Casey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Translate the 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 stuff. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where is that? Over there. Okay. It's on the side of it. Ow! Fuck. Yeah, we haven't been to Giant's Deep yet. Oh, is it? Wait, is it this? No. So, 
It looks like it connects to something up top, but I guess I'm wrong. I guess I just need to jump for it, maybe. Because it looks like it like attaches to something above. Or maybe I can't access it because it needs to break open first. That could also be a possibility. Because Brittle Hollow eventually gets broken. Is that the quantum moon or a different moon? That's the quantum moon. <laughs> I'm curious of just like staying here and seeing if the oh don't break my ship. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I love how that works. That's so cool. Which planet even is that? Oh, that's Dark Bramble. It doesn't look like it from here. Oh wait, I forget all my stuff that I have. Yep, stars are going supernova. I wonder if like, I didn't really notice it in the night sky before. Is that the moon? I don't I can't tell. Or is that something else? Probably. Well, I know that quantum stuff moves around when you look at it. I've been trying to get the there's something here that like tells you about quantum stuff. See, I wonder if this is what it's connected to, but it can't actually go down. But this is broken, so... But that's just to the Hanging City. It doesn't say to the Forge. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh wait, no, that's Giant Steve. Um, but yeah, I know that like when you look at it, it jumps or whatever. And then... Or, sorry, when you look away, it moves. And I found like some of the rocks that do that. And then I was on, I'm on this planet trying to figure out how to Words are hard. Wait, why does it say that giant is so much farther away than Oh, because they're on different, wait. Oh, because it's just behind it. Okay, we're moving fast. That makes more sense. Um, words are hard. Oh, the interloper actually comes in. What is that? I don't know what that is. The interloper actually comes by at one point. I think the planet's already become too big to see the station anymore. I feel like if I want to go to that station, I have to do it immediately because the sun just gets bigger. How's the planets looking? See, I can use this as my timer. It's gotten pretty low already. I feel like Brittle Hollow hasn't... Uh, I guess it is maybe breaking apart. I was really hoping that my theory of like dropping down to it would be right once the planet started breaking up, but maybe because this side is more stable and that's why they built over here. Maybe I should go to Ryback. Uh, can I? But I don't really have anything different to tell him. Not that he doesn't already know. Okay, 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 hang on. I have ideas, but I don't know if any of them are accurate. But that's okay. I could just jump for that. But I don't think you'll be able to get in it otherwise. Mm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. 
the moving rocks scare the crap out of me. There's a lot that scares the crap out of me about this game. Like, I'm enjoying the exploration, but it's also just very, very scurry. Okay. I was really hoping like this part would break up somewhere and that you'd be able to access it. I also just think that like, maybe that would have led to it if you could do that. The only other option is jumping to it, which I could try, but I figured I wouldn't be able to go in it. But if it ejects me out into space, whatever. Um, okay, I'll try that. I'll just try it. But yeah, there's a lot of things I could look into. I was just really hoping to finish this like forge thingy for science. For science and for me to get the crap scared out of me. Because again, I really, really thought that, that would work. But it doesn't seem to. Because where is it? Because, like, why would there be controls for it? Yeah, you don't see that anywhere. I don't think this part of the city becomes broken. It's, yeah, it's all the other stuff. And again, that's why they built on this side. That actually makes a lot more sense. There was also one other place that I didn't go to that Rybeck mentioned. So I would need to start with the signal from Ryback and go from him to see where that leads. Also, why is that opposite? Yeah, this is probably gonna get me killed, but whatever. Whatever, for science. Most of the planet's gone anyway. We don't have that much time left. We don't have that much time left. Ow. Where did that barb fall? But yeah, what would be the point of having the controls for this if you... There's not a way to, I don't think, get into that. <sighs> I'm missing something with that. I don't know what. I actually just now realized the music changed for that. So that's the indicator. I actually didn't realize that on Tuesday, that there's a very specific track that plays when it's about to die. That's good to know. <laughs> Not like it helps me a lot because I think that was only like a minute long track or something, but I guess it's whenever it's about to happen, it plays that other track. Hi, Arcane. I got a little more information, but I didn't really get much out of that. Oh, I couldn't really resist the light, Sherlock. <laughs> I think anybody can resist the light at that point. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. I still don't know how to get in the forge, then. I want to go talk to Ryback. I'm gonna try to get to the station that I know is close to the sun. Uh, I'll probably end up dying doing it, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi, Snickle, how are you doing? I'm gonna try to get to the station that I know is close to the sun. I don't know if there's a lock on for it, but we're gonna try. 
And we're launching. I wonder if there's literally a lock on for it. Go, 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 go. I keep turning off my headlights. All right, where's the sun? There's the sun. Don't look right at the sun, Jesus. That. I don't want that. I want the... Can I not look at the station? Because there's no way I don't die going to the sun. How close is the sun? too close for comfort. I don't think I can get it. No, I don't know how to get to that. Nope, pull out, pull out. That did not work like I wanted it to at all. Shoot. Okay, so I don't think I can actually. I can't lock on to it anyway, and it's moving extremely fast around the sun. Come on, work with me here. Shoom. So I wonder where this goes then. Where does this go? If this is supposed to be something that lines up. I'm not that good of a ship pilot. <laughs> I definitely don't think I can get to that station that's around the sun. The gravity pull from that is way too strong. I thought maybe I could, but... Where does this take me? It said alignment, so maybe I just wait and see if it takes me someplace. Could take a minute to do that, but... Man, there's so many, like, ideas I have, but then, like, I don't know the timing of them and stuff. And this doesn't pop up for a minute. It takes you somewhere. Did I already figure out where this took me? Did this take me to the... back to, like, the Earthian place? Um, where is... No, where is the dude on this planet? He's around the edge of it somewhere. There. Is there not a way to lock on on that? Okay, quick question. It's a pineapple question. I can't lock on to like audio things from just the audio thing. I have to like select it in my ship log, don't I? I think so. Piloting the ship is very hard though. I might just go to the new planets and see what I find. Cause like the stuff that I found, I don't think matters that much for Rybeck's thing. I could go over to the Ash planet whenever it gets really close to the end. I was trying to see if this lights up because it says it aligns with something. So I wanted to see where this one goes. Where does this one go? And then yeah, that's... I was trying to go to that. I don't even really see a way to get into that anyway, so... It's rotating so quick. Because I was trying to see if I could land on that or get into it. I was going to eject out of my ship and try to get into it, but... Oh, the Q 
cave shard. I can hear that clearly. Gross. Oh yeah, wait a second. Wasn't there another pod on Ember? Shit, how do I... I know my whole point was like, I want to see where this goes, but... Maybe I'll see where it goes next time. Oh, the beacon of light. It's literally right there. How did I miss this last time? I'm not a fan of the distress beacon. It makes a horrible sound. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first is everyone unharmed. Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as this. Right, we already know that. We know there were three. Scanning external environment. Scan complete external temperatures prohibitively high. Uh, verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on the planet's surface. Alert collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Oh, oops. I guess I read them in a <laughs> backwards order. Uh, yes. Okay, we already know all that stuff too. All right. The heat from the star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. Uh, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming Im Variably, a very irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone, and be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. I can't see. Sh oh, this leads in here. <gasps> yes. Okay, that's good. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage. It appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter there. The cavern uh, found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? Uh, this is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. We must hurry as the pathways there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Okay. So I may not be able to reach it. This go around maybe. Oh. Yup. Okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-oh, three minutes of oxygen remaining. That's not good. Yeah, it's that freaky bitch. Okay. Uh-huh. I don't like anglerfish. Anglerfish are creepy. I also don't have very much oxygen because I'm a dingus. Do not follow this tunnel to the end. We'll examine the horror that lies at the terminus later, provided we live through this. Uh, maybe I should have read that first, but if I read that first, I probably would have went in there. <laughs> I'd been like, nah. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Well, nah. We, we don't have much air. Uh, I probably should go. Oh. Yep, the rocks are very super interesting. My ship's only 200 meters away. I should probably go back to my ship because at least I know how to get to this now or find this. If I found the city, I probably have oxygen, but ow. Wait, an unidentified signal nearby. What? What unidentified signal? I, wait, what do you, oh, did I not scan it close enough? I, that's I knew what it was. Okay, hang on. Where's my ship? We did this ever light up anywhere? No. I just wanted to see where it went. 
Okay, let's do that. Okay, where to go? Uh, was that where it was? Yes, this. I don't know how I missed this beacon of light last time. Whoops. I mean, I did say that there was more here to explore. I just didn't find everything yet. There we go. The life of a male anglerfish. What's up, Burnside? How are you doing? Oh, Peckbun, hi. Did I say hi? I might have missed that. I was like so focused on stuff, sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm like so in the zone right now. Oh, Peckbun, how are you doing too? I don't think I did. Uh, glad I explored those rocks. They were very important. Waffle fry nachos for lunch? What the hell is that? Waffle fry, oh, waffle fries. Waffle fry nachos, got it, yeah, yeah. Oh goodness. Well, at least you had good food, Nightcap Andrew. Welcome in, how are you doing? And Game Dragon, welcome in. I am, I am. Well, I say I've been, I, it is both interesting and kind of stressful arcade arbory escape patch oh that's just what popped off okay like it's very stressful honestly to be exploring okay i think this is the right way to go because like there's so many ways you could die It's scary. Oh, <laughs> well, that I should, I should have read all of these first. It's okay. I just clean kitchen stuff. Very nice. It's good to get stuff like that done. Like I'm enjoying it, but I'm also like scared of it. Like it is, it's a weird, like I'm intrigued to ex explore further, but there's definitely some things that I'm like concerned about. Have a good lurk, Rainy. <sighs> <sighs> but I want to go all the wrong ways first so that I see if there's anything unique. Because, like, the anglerfish was, was important. Oopsies, good lord, my bad. The anglerfish is important to know that it's there. Oh, wait, I didn't read all that. Uh, we can tell you how far the deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Okay. There's a pocket of air down here. Whoa! Refill your air supply quick, and then re return quickly. Oh, I remembered seeing this at one point. Oh yeah, it's already getting very full. So yeah, we're probably not gonna be able to get where I wanna go. I do owe Peckbun. Robco just listed some of them there. That's our, just like our upcoming list. Uh, there's other games. That's not an all encompassing list, but. Uh oh, uh oh. But that is quite a bit that we will be doing. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get buried alive. Which is not a fun way to go. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Oh no. Shit. Okay, so we gotta come back to this planet quickly. Ow. Okay, I can't. Damn it. Yeah, because it's just going to push us down everywhere. No. Where does this go? I am so going to die. I haven't seen any instructions at all. Wait. Did I just go in a circle? I think I just went in a circle. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, so next launch, I need to come here immediately to try to get to the the shelter. So next launch, this is where we're coming. Okay. So then the other thing I could do is I wanted to just try to get to the 
Ash twin. Whenever it was close to being done, so I can do that. Just gotta careful, 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 okay. Okay. I don't remember if we went into that building or not. I feel like maybe I did go in that building after all. went in here, but I was missing something I felt like. Where does this go? Anywhere? Does this go someplace? Oh god, nope. I don't want to go with the sand. No, I don't want to go with the sand. I said I don't. Does this take me anywhere? Does this do anything? Hey. Hey you. Oh! It does. Where did I go? Pfft. Where am I? Where am I? Uh-huh, the whole we arrived one second to- I don't even know where the fuck I am. H hello Uh, am I back home? Is this home? Yeah, this looks like home. Okay. Um... I wonder if that means I can teleport there with the sand still active? Um, I don't know. Oh no, I'm not making that. Wait, unknown on my planet? I just saw an unknown on my planet that I haven't found. Eek. Ah! Come on. Get me out of here. Okay, well that can take me back, but I don't know why I'd want to go back now. <laughs> Wait, does that take me back? It doesn't look like it's lined up with... Oh, nope, it did. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't help me at all. But that does take me between... Hello, sun. I can't tell which direction that's going. Okay. Okay. Was there anything else here that I haven't done? The planet's almost done. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus Christ, what? Have I read this? Here's our first delivery. One warp core fresh from the black hole forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. Okay. Fresh from black hole forge. Okay, you know, I never realized that they were like little black holes and that's how they're okay. 
I also didn't understand the whole black hole forge thing until just now. Okay. First delivery, one warp core. Yes. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is coiling. I'll return more materials soon. My gratitude with this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project. So a visit to the station would undoubtedly be useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Uh -huh. Yarrow, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in a romantic matters or density rivals a neuron star. <laughs> Go meet her on the White Hole Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Oh my god. Okay, well this one was like weirdly upside down. Okay. Okay, so does this take me to Brittle Hollow then? Wait, is this the way that I just was or was this the way I was? Shit, shit, shit. So I think this goes to Brittle Hollow then, right? Yeah, this goes back up. I don't think I want to go back up, right? I've already been here. So is Ash Twin just a bunch of portals then? Whoa! So where does this one take? Okay, I was expecting it to be there, but I guess not. Is this gonna take me someplace? dense to be flirting. <laughs> well, I was thinking this was going to take me someplace. Don't take me to the sun, please. Don't take me through the sun, either. Okay. Oh god, no, no. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that means I need to come here first. Oh my god, okay. Mm. Okay, so I need to come here first, raise the Black Forge. Go to Ash Twin. I don't even remember which teleport thing that was, because there's multiple on Ash Twin. Go there. And stay on the path. And that will take me to the forge. Oh, good lord. Okay. It makes sense that I would have to do stuff in a particular order to get the results that I need. Quantum moon. Oh, or not. Maybe that's giant steep. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's my plan for next time. Well, I say that and we were supposed to go to the Ember Twin, but now I have to see this through. And it gives you plenty of time because like that portal wasn't open on Ash Twin for a while, so. Okay, um, but I don't think there's anything else I could- uh, can I find Ryback real fast? I don't know if I can get to him. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. This way. This goes to Ryback. Oh. Yeah. 
cry back. I'll at least see you before we all die. Oh shit, no I won't. Oh I won't. No I won't. No! Right back! No! Shit, 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 ow, shit, shit. Sir, we're about to die! Right back, you should totally look at the sun. I'm in a hurry, can I ask you something? <laughs> Um, uh, uh, this! Escape pod! So there's no mind probably coming from somewhere outside the solar system! No, we already talked about that, never mind. Um, I learned something! Um, I, I saw this hanging city! You visit the hanging city, oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The hanging city is where the Nomai settlement permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to you, you know what is beyond me! Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to the Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Yeah, they did! Okay, Ryback. Um, I'll just listen to your music going into the night. Oops. I burned it. It's been a pleasure, Ryback. I was trying not to burn the marshmallow, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I love how your face changed when you put the puzzle pieces together. It scared the shit out of me. I'm like, why am I falling? Okay, so yes, go to Brittle Hollow, raise the controls for the forge, go to Ash Twin, find the right teleporter, go there. Right. Okay. We still need to go to Ember Twin for the other, the, the settlement, but that can wait. Launch, launch, launch. I'm glad all of the, the puzzle pieces. I'm glad the, the reactions have been good. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Alright. Alright, Brittle Hollow it is. I think it's this way, right off rip, right? Eh, close enough. Okay, I should be far enough off the planet. There you go. Go, 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 go. We got places to be. We don't have to move that quickly. Because again, I think the ash. There's a quantum moon. Um, I think the ash takes is going to take a while to get to what I want anyway. Hello, Brita Holo. That was where the original emergency thing was. Hopefully we don't get hit by a less than savory ejection from Hollow Lantern. Wait, I don't remember. Did that? Did that? Where does that one lead me? I don't remember. I don't remember where that one led me. It led me some place, of course. Maybe that actually leads. No, why would that one lead me? Do they both lead there? That would be interesting. I should probably be like writing down which teleporters take me where, but it seems like Ash Twin has teleporters to most places. I just gotta remember which one's which. Go ahead. I'm not going to have enough time to get to Ember Twin and look in the cave before doing Ash Twin. So. Okay, do that. Perfect. Lots of step in the right direction. Going to be some very toasty marshmallows. Supernova marshmallow. God damn it. Go up the staircase. <laughs> uh, okay. So then whenever I go through the teleporter, I just need to be careful not to run off. Dislodge myself. Wait, there is something. Do I need to go to Ash Twin immediately? Let me go back to Ryback real fast. There was, I don't remember how to get to 
I have an idea. I want to look at something. Hi, Campbell. How are you doing? On my next launch, I will... Or next place that I can pause, I will do that. How are you doing? Yeah, so this is the bridges, right? Yeah. Got more and more damaged as it goes on, which makes sense. Hi, Ryback. I wanted to look. I don't know this actually leads to something else, but I want to try. Have I been here before? Yes, this is the village. So wait, 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 wait. I was trying to see, there was a, there was a path. Was that in the actual village itself? Am I missing? Did I go to the wrong spot? Yeah, cause that leads to the village. There was an, a thing on the ceiling though, where was that? I'm convinced that'll lead to something I haven't been to before. It'll just drop for me. Oh, where was that? I don't think it's where Ryback is. I might not even be able to do it now because half the ceiling's already gone. I don't even see it. Where was that? <laughs> was in the initial settlement. Maybe I had to get to it from the ship. Okay. This might be a busted idea. I'll have to do, try that at some point. There was a part where you could walk along the ceiling in Brittle Hollow and I never did it. Mainly because the first time I found it I ran out of time and then I forgot about it. But it wasn't here. It was, it was not the official settlement. It was the Okay, fine. I'll just go to the Ash Twin. I was thinking since I had time, I would look around here. I wonder if I can go there. Hello, Fairly Okay. How are you doing? No such idea. No such thing as a busted idea in this game. That's fair. Yeah, because I, <laughs> of course, I don't know. I don't know the answers. And that's why a lot of people were like, no, you need to play this game without watching someone else play it. Because of course, if you, you know, if you know the answers, then it's not gonna be all about the exploration and stuff. I feel like I'm doing an okay job. I haven't gotten truly stuck yet. We haven't even been to some of the places yet. So I guess I should feel good about that. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ah! Thank you. I was trying to get to the mute button. I couldn't hold it. Sorry. <laughs> I think I made I think I made it worse by sneezing right on the microphone because I was trying to get the mute button. <laughs> Thank you for the plus use. Oh goodness. Uh, fairly okay. Welcome in, by the way. <sighs> Paco's Modern Life. I like your name. Welcome in. Thank you for the plus use. Wow. Well. I'm so sorry because I literally <laughs> went to go reach for them. And I just went right in the microphone. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> My bad, everybody. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and send Novi her, her hug real quick. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, where, where? <laughs> where's Novi's TM real fast? Oh, God. Hugs from me, Campbell, and chat. There we go. All right. Hugs been sent to Novi while I was at it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So we need to go to Ash 
twin. <sighs> what? Hang on. I want to. I want to try something real quick. Hang on. 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 I want to try something. We're still here. I want to try something. Uh, this. How do I? That. Go. 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 I've got time. I think. I think I've got time. I don't know if I have time. Maybe. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to go down the rickety ass staircase. It's fine. I've got time. I've got time. If I don't have time, then I'll just have to do it again next time. It's fine. Go, go, go. Oh god. I did almost get stuck under my ship the very first time we got out of my ship. <laughs> Literally the very first time we got out of my ship, I, I almost got stuck. By almost, I mean I did. No, 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 no. Yeah, leave it to me to do something like unheard of. Okay, these are the things that I was thinking of. Oh god. It, but does that just lead me to the same place that I just came from? Fuck it, we're gonna find out. As long as it doesn't like break <laughs> by the time I get there. <laughs> uh oh. could just fall into the black hole. Almost might be easier. No, because then I have to run across the planet's surface. Hopefully my ship doesn't get ejected. Wah! Okay, I went a little overboard. I apparently didn't knock on wood. I am a dingus. That's at this escape pod. So both things we need are in our escape pods. Okay, go to Ash Twin. Go, 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 go. Again, I may not even need to take my ship because I bet you you can get there from Brittle Hollow in a different way, but I'm going to go my ship because I'm not confident in that because I don't remember where all the teleports go. Ooh, don't get that close to me, please, new. Can I engage an autopilot? Will it get me killed? I feel like an autopilot will definitely get me killed at some point. Because I feel like it almost took me into a planet at one point. Okay, yeah, we, we have plenty of time. Unfortunately, we didn't have plenty of time on Brittle Hollow being the ass that it was. Turn up right there. We go. Okay. Yeah, cause that just always goes up that line, and I've been in that before, and then we just kind of followed it around. So I don't know which one it is that leads to that. I think I know which one, but I don't think it's uncovered yet. Which also means that's why you can't go backwards through it though, because you would be under sand. There goes my platform. Watch it as it goes. <laughs> Sorry, Living. <laughs> you did see someone get truly stuck on this planet? Wait, how though? If Because that was on Brittle Hollow, right? So how? How would you have gotten stuck there? You just yeet yourself into the black hole. I don't personally like doing it, but <laughs> you do or can. So this takes me back home, I think. This takes me to... Which, there was an unknown freaking thing on my home planet. Now that I think about it. Okay, is there anything else on this planet? Mm, there 
there's a cave shard here. It's interesting that there's cave sh or there's shards everywhere. Okay, that's just stress speaking. Okay. Whoa. I think it's this one. Is it this one? No. I think is it the next one? Shit. I don't think it's this one. I think. Was it that one or was it that one? I don't know which one it was. Shit. I think it was that one. Go, go. I think it was this one? Maybe? I forgot how to still have the escape pod one. Well, I guess we'll find out when this scares the shit out of me. We'll see. Cave shart. Sometimes you just gotta shart yourself when you're in scary caves, okay? You saw that fairly okay? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Don't know how I managed that. Literally first voyage ever and I get stuck under my ship. So I don't think anybody can be that bad at the game like I was. Okay. jump. Do not jump. Do not be an idiot. Hey, one of those little tablet thingies. I'm so scared of everything right now. Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Holge Forge is in operation. Well, I don't think it'll be in operation, but I could be wrong. Hey, it's one of those statues. Okay, we got a scroll. We got that scroll. We got lots of things to look at. We got a creepy statue looking at me. We got one of those. Don't know where that sends me. Okay. I don't know what that does. All right. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it is attuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will immediately be warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. I don't know what that's for. It kind of makes me scared. Um, all right, let's see what this is. Where am I taking this black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poe Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. 
Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ashtwin just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. So then that means there should be warps from each of those to each planet, maybe? Possibly from Giant's Deep? I doubt Dark Bramble. They really haven't mentioned that since the first, uh, first thing. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be greater pain in your cervical spine. The white hole instead of a black hole. I don't even know what a white hole is. For the warp receivers, each of these six receivers are being constructed. Okay. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow. He is familiar with them. I'm hoping we can get to the high energy lab by going through that escape tunnel and all of that good jazz. So that'll probably be our next our next exploration. Hello. Oh, do you not open your eyes? No, you just look creepily. Why why even have that? Why even have that? This one says. Yarrow of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? This isn't an unreasonable belief given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Does that mean we can teleport to that station that's on the sun? So basically we should go to Ash Tower and like just stand in each of the warp thingies until we figure out where all of them go. <sighs> At least we remember where this one goes. I seem to recall that was your understanding of work technology at first. No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and then remember where they go. Well, I at least apparently remembered where this one was. Okay. So I think that's the information we needed from here. I don't know what this does. Can I click it when it aligns? Or is this just showing? I don't know what that's doing. Um, wait a second, there was a little tablet thingy. Where the hell was, oh. Yeah. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. No, it isn't. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, Love Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Okay. Oh, is this because it's still under sand, maybe? We've done this a couple times where it hasn't really shown us something. And I wonder if that's because it's not accessible at that exact moment. Is my guess, but I don't actually know. I'll take that. I still don't quite understand those.
Because, like, it shows a projection of whatever you're looking at. So I got that. But sometimes it just shows, yeah, it just shows that. Just shows nothing. Black hole forge, yeah, kind of am aware of that. Okay, this is the broken thing. Ah, because that would have originally led up here, but it broke. Okay. I see, I see, I see. What is this there? Exit to the surface. Ah, and that's going to bring me right to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that leads me back down. That leads me to the surface. Um, if I'm not mistaken... Actually, I, I shouldn't have gone this way. I should have went the other way. Shit! No, I shouldn't have come up here. Damn it! No, I should have went back. <laughs> I'm such a dinkus. God damn it. I should have went back to Ashwin. I don't have my ship. Um, well, this is awkward. Um, hmm. <laughs> I should have went back. Um, yeah, we're a bit stranded at the moment. Like I can hear the hear the thing going off. Well, is this different than the one that we put in here originally? Oh yeah, it doesn't even bring anything up. Interesting, because there was another plate we found here. I think that was different. Well, shit. Um, yeah, I'm dumb because. I don't know why I had it in my head, but the thing that's over here, the, this thing is for the white station, the white hole station. So that doesn't help me. I can't go look at that one thing because it's broken. So yeah. Um, Oh no, that's giant deep then. I can't tell sometimes if it's giant deep or if it's the the quantum moon. Well, this is awkward, everybody. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do on this planet. I don't think so. Not that I can think of. I guess we'll just go hang out with Ryback because I can't do the one thing that I want to do on this planet because I because it's already broken. It's exploration. Hi, Emo. How are you doing? Were those Nomai? Wait, were what Nomai? The goat looking dude? Or are you talking about the like thing? The the sorry the the faces. Actually, wait a second. Hang on, before I go back away from that, I want to go look at something real fast. Because wait, yeah. All we know is that's what we see every time we reset. So I don't know if that's necessarily Nomai. Or if that's something that predated the Nomai. We don't actually know yet. So. Hi Watery, how are you doing? Oh wait, I just realized the, the music that's playing. So we're about to die anyway. It's fine. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but... Yeah, so we don't know what these guys are. They have three eyes, like the Nomai. But yeah, it doesn't really... And certain of these don't show anything. Wait, I want to see the sun actually explode. Hang on. Get a good view for it at least. If we're gonna die, let's, let's die in style. Okay, well, at least I wasn't trapped for very long. <laughs> I forgot we had done like all the steps to get there. Okay, goodness. So I have a couple things that I could do. Sorry, I'll catch up with chat here in a second. I feel like I've missed quite a bit. Okay. So... I can go immediately to the Ember Twin. 
to check the cave system. I could go back to the Ash Twin now that we understand how that works. There are different teleporters that take us to different places. I want to see what my ship log says and see what else we can explore. And then there's also an unknown thing on our home planet that I apparently didn't find. So... I don't think so fairly okay. Here, let me get to the ship log and then I'm going to catch up with chat because I know I've missed quite a bit in saying hi to people. So give me one second. Zoom. Okay, so we have some we have some leads. We have some stuff to go off of. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna leave that there for a second so I can tab over and say hi and what because I feel like I missed a lot. So my bad. But hi, Emo. It's good to see you. The game has been good. It's so... Have you ever played Subnautica? Because, like, I keep relating it to that. Not because of, like, the crafting element. Because there's zero crafting in the game. It's just exploration. But, like, the game gives me this horrible, like, scared feeling because of, like, how open everything is. So, like, I'm driven and I'm motivated to find out what's going on in the world. But it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> like, it's so weird. I don't know how to explain it. Watery, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Happy, happy weekend, everyone. Mihoi, minioi. The wilding is going well. Then we we had quite a bit of revelation there with the, with the the. Oh, it won't let me. <sighs> fine, you just don't get ship noises in the background. It's fine. Uh, but we did just have a good revelation with the whole Ash Twin Tower thing, the teleporting and the Black Hole Forge. So that's good. That was a pretty, pretty big step. And we have a couple things we can look into now, which is good. So, Hick Daddy, welcome in. Patty, welcome in. Wait, does that mean Danger's done streaming? <laughs> yes, Danger's done streaming. I still had her up in as a lurk, so. Uh, there we go. I was just fixing that. Patty, how are you doing? Avnam, welcome in. It's a really cool game. But honestly, it gives me, like, a horrible feeling in my spine, like, anytime that I'm like teleported or transported somewhere or ejected into space because it's just like that immediate feeling of what like what's around me and like a disconnection it's so weird and uh, it's nearly identical the song uh, the sun's gone oh that's really cool i like that that's a cool fun fact i'm glad you're doing well sherlock i i am doing well but this game does scare me like legitimately it does but if you ever played if you've ever played Subnautica Emo and like that sense of like open exploration and feeling, it's a lot like that, which can be a good thing, but it also scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Hi, Insaniac. How are you doing, Madge? Yeah, it's a very odd anxiety that I can't explain very well because like I'm not scared of the ocean and I never have been. And Subnautica as a whole, I've played it a couple times now. And the first time I played it, it didn't, it didn't scare me. Like, it, like don't get me wrong. There was jump scares. Um, and some Leviathans were freaky. But I still scanned every Leviathan in the game. Like, they didn't bother me. The only thing that ever bothered me is if a warper took me out of a ship. And, like, put me in open ocean. That was the part that freaked me out. So when the game ejected me into space the first time, it scared the fuck out of me. Because, like, immediately I was just, like, nothing. Like, nothingness. Like, that freaks me out. So, so the game gives me, like, this weird anxiety I've not felt before. Uh, other than in, the, in Subnautica. But I'm so driven forward by, like, wanting to find out what's going on. So, thank you for the follow, by the way, Fakos. I'm glad you're enjoying your time around here. If you're not clinching in space, then you're probably not spacing correctly. It's true, Ben, but it's it's sometimes it's hard to make me like push forward and find the right thing because I'm like, man, is this gonna like pop me out someplace scary or something? But I, I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Hi, you Blackbird. How are you doing? Needs space, George Bob. It does. It does need a space, George Bob. Okay, let's continue. I just wanted to make sure I caught up in chat. But Emo, I would definitely recommend this game. And I'd recommend this game to anybody that likes exploration. And the music is incredible. I am loving, loving the music. Dice. W what, are we, what are we rolling for, Caro? Shit, I dropped a maraca. You guys didn't see it, though, so it's fine. Dice. Dice. <laughs> what? what? Dice for what? I don't have a die on me. 
or I would roll it for you and let you know what the number is, but I don't think I have a die for it. Okay, sorry. Kara, thank you for the 18 month resub. How are you doing today? Oh shit, now it's on the. Yeah, because I messed with. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at some stuff. We found Escape Pod 2, and we need to select that because we want to use that to find entrance into the caves as fast as possible so that we can get to the settlement, because I haven't been there yet, which I'm assuming leads to the Sunless City. The Nomai survivors who crashed on Ember Twin decided to seek shelter in the caves beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai discovered a promising long-term shelter site at the end of one of the passages beneath the escape pod, so we need to find that, and that will lead us to the High Energy Lab, which will lead us to the Ash Twin Tower designs, which will probably also give us the information that lets us know which warp goes where. At least that's my guess, but maybe not. Um, apparently we still need to find more in the quantum caves, which doesn't make much sense to me, but probably just because I haven't explored the quantum caves. Like we found this rock and then like it, everything just kept getting filled in with sand. So I could never like explore more. So there's definitely still a lot more in Ember Twin we could find. Uh, we didn't find this cave yet. Cause I don't know where it is. Um, and then the anglerfish fossil. I found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout, which we did see some writing in there, so I'm sure we'll find a back way into that. So, yeah. Hello, Huxley Alice. We did. Actually, I forgot to... Yay, 8200. I forgot to upgrade or upgrade update that. One second. That happened while I was off stream, so I didn't actually, I, I, I'm not very good about like uh, mentioning it or celebrating it because uh, I, I kind of forgot. So yay, we did it. Woo. You know what? That deserves some maracas. 8,200 followers. Woo. Our goal for the end of the year is 10,000. We'll see if that happens. So we did it. We'll continue chipping away and seeing if it works. Alice, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, we got some more information about the Ash Twin project. As Advanced Warp Core was approved for four, uh, sorry, approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin projects. Yes, we know all of that stuff. Okay. There is something on this planet, but I have to move quickly to get to the stuff that I really want. Because, yeah, it looks like on the Ash Twin, at least from here, as it goes down, it actually looks like there are two, four, six towers, potentially. I don't know if every one of those... Well, it said six. They said six from the information we got from Brittle Hollow. It said six. So... I don't think one of them will be going to the quantum moon, but one, two, three, four, five. I don't know where all of them are gonna go or if there is actually six on there. I guess we'll find out. Or it even said that it might be like a central body and something rotating outside of it. I wonder if one of those is gonna lead to the, the station that's surrounding the sun. That's one of my guesses. And then we need to find the, the mysterious thing that I haven't found on this on our home planet. So here's my game plan. Assuming that the game has still been paused, we haven't lost any time, I'm going to go immediately to the Ember Twin, and I'm going to go to the Escape Pod and try to f get to the Sunless City. So that's that's priority number one, and we'll see if we can get there um, and explore any of the other cave systems, if possible, if we can't do the first thing. The next launch after that, because I don't have enough time, is I'm going to find the other thing that I'm missing on our home planet. Because apparently I'm missing an audio thing from the home planet. And then after that, we'll go to the Ash Twin and figure out the other stuff. So this launch, all about the Ember Twin. Next launch, the thing here, and then Ash Twin. That's my game plan. <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining it in such detail, but that is my game plan. That is my game plan. We're, we're, we're doing it. Hi, Jackio. What are you doing? Just popping in and out and gifting subs. You absolute lovely being you. Jackio, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Diphirion. That's what I'm going with, except there's an L at the end. Shit, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you're doing well today. I just woke up super early. By my vampire standards, no, that's fair. Go to an appointment, so I'm just a bit sleepy right now. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, hopefully you get some rest later. Lars, thank you for the praise the sun. Needed a good stretch there. 
Uh, one thing I need to do is heat up the oven so that I can uh, get my pizza, my leftover pizza on. I'll do that here in a second. Uh, a warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. Got it. So, just has to be the central of, yeah. Okay, I don't think that really matters to me so much. I guess that'll, that indicates when I'm going to warp, I guess. Uh, the warp receiver must be located on or close orbit around. See, I think they're mentioning that specifically for the sun thing. Okay. The relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together, they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. We have noticed that. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers are being constructed at different locations. And so far we've figured a couple of those out. A know my name poke, or poke, uh, successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin projects. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp to a tower and its corresponding astral body. Okay, so it just has to, I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. Uh, I didn't know if that actually did something. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degree of the astral body's center. This results in slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. Okay, so then if I ever see a warp, it is going to take me to Ash. Yeah. Ash twin. I keep saying Ash tower. Okay. I still don't know how to get in there. Oh yeah, and then we also have Brittle Hollow. Fuck, I forgot about that too. Cause I need to go across that thing and see if that leads somewhere. Whew. Yeah. Okay. All right, <laughs> we have lots of plans. To Ember Twin, go, 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 go. Ember Twin, Ember Twin, Ember Twin. We're gonna run into Ash Twin. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Turn off the autopilot. I don't trust that. I don't know how to roll. There we go. I'm in orbit on it, right? Kinda. Kinda maybe. Kinda maybe. Okay. It's very awkward. Barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Go, go, go. Go quickly. Go. Yeah. It's okay if we bonk something. There we go. Get out! Go, go, go! Go quickly! I need all the time I can get. Go. Yes, 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 yes. This is the right way to go, right? Yes, go. I don't want to drop all the way down there though, because I don't know. I'm assuming. Yeah, this says, oh, oh, see, I couldn't even see that last time. Where's this go? So reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formation and climb upward through the open. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall. Turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formation and climb upward through the opening above them. Okay. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Okay. Climb up, up, up. I see it. God, I'm gonna have to explore all these caves anyway. I gotta find the lake bed cave and I've gotta find this stupid angler fish ass hat. 
Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead of the bridge. Eh, crafted will do the job, but it isn't strong. Uh, once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. You're doing well. There's only a little farther. What do you mean it said it would take me there? Uh, a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Ugh. You're stressing me out. Like up there? Am I supposed to go up there? You didn't really tell me where to go. Is this it? Oh, this is dark as fuck. I can't see anything. Oh. What? Dead. What? <laughs> oh. Angler fish overlook. Hang on. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update, we need to find a way inside quickly. Uh, Melore because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. <laughs> okay, it looks like they built a thing to get to it. I don't want to go in there, honestly. Why were children playing on it? Whose children are these people? Who thought it was a good idea to let children play on a freaking angler fish? Another instance where everybody here just died all of a sudden. It's like a supernova happened except it didn't destroy anything. People just died. I'm kind of confused at why they decided to build down here if they knew the sand was coming in. <laughs> the music sounds so weird. I see a scroll wall. How do I get in there? This way? Okay. Okay, what? How do I get in there? I can't. I still know how to get through this stuff. No. <laughs> There's another thing over there. I must have to go around somehow. Is the sand gonna suffocate me in here? Probably. There's no other way around there. No. Shit. Okay, well there is a door opening, so... Maybe that's just supposed to block you and you're not actually supposed to get through those no matter what, so... They don't get shit out of it. Hi, Scarlet. How are you? They don't get shit out of it. <laughs> Scarlet, how are you doing today? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing better than the scouts are. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, you just got home. Like, actually home? Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Whoops, wrong button. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? 
Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ashton project. I almost can't comprehend this being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Why? Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That is, that in my experience is defining characteristic of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not significant or insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. So what they were powering, they were taking away from the sun? They were exhausting the sun as fuel for their warping, maybe? Which is why it's going supernova much quicker. And maybe they shared that technology with their species, and that's why everything's going supernova at the same time, because they exhausted the fuel sources? Mm. That's kind of what it sounds like here, because I was like, why would the sun station be a bad thing? But if they're using it for power, then and they could exhaust it much quicker and that's why it would go through those phases much quicker. Hell, we could actually be expediting it by using them. I don't know that to be certain. These are all just speculations at this point. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in pie. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Yudea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we built it, then I won't I won't support the station's use. It will not cause destruction. Right. Okay. Interesting. So we need to find out about the sun station, which we kind of already figured that out. Anglerfish? Stepping stone, high energy, eye shrine. Got so dark in here. Chances are this place is also filling up with sand. Although that doesn't really make sense if they lived here and it was still doing that, but. See, this, this was the writing I was talking about, is that the writing looks different. It looks not necessarily more sporadic, but it's just like thicker and like different things. So I feel like that's a different generation of people speaking. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of no, my died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? So, this is, okay, maybe it's always indica indicative, indicative? Maybe it always indicates a child's writing then, which is a lot more scrawled. We know from the writing we read in Brittle Hollow that Solenum uh, was a kid on Ember Twin before. So this must actually be a kid's writing. I thought it just indicated a second generation, but his writing got neater. So I guess that's just a kid is what that's showing. And we have read other kid writing too. Oh, ghost rock stuff. that is either ghost matter that has not been explained at all what that is okay I didn't see anything in there yeah, nothing 
looks like we're gonna have to come back here several times to get everything we need. Gravity cannon. Doctor's handwriting, yes. Oh, goodness. Right. It says ghost matter, but it says it shows up on... There's a hole by the gravity cannon on the back side of the gravity cannon that leads in here. And at least according to my scout, even though it says ghost matter is detected, it's not actually bad. Huh. It was funny because for the longest time I never used that to check it because I just automatically assumed that that indicated that it would be present. But maybe not. I know there is some. Yeah, there's some. Okay. So I always thought the crystals just automatically meant that it was, yeah, bad. But apparently not. So I probably could have gone through some areas before. So that's a good thing to keep in mind for the future then. Oh, yep. The sand is filling up. But that doesn't make any sense. Why, why, would, why would the sand fill up in a place that they lived? They would have just suffocated from the sand. I knew I probably should have checked a lower level first. How does this work? I'm probably going to get suffocated now. I think that's where I'm at right now, right? Oh. That's light. That would have been nice to do in the first place, yeah. Friggin' dingus. I shrine district. Wait, I didn't go. Wait, did I go up through that? I did not. Must be deeper than that. Hello, Fly Race Stream. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. How are y'all doing today? What does that lead to? Ow. Ew. Oh, wait. Did I not go up through here? I didn't go all the way up. No, it doesn't really lead to anything. Okay, fair enough. Hi, Fly Race Stream. How are you doing today? Okay, so I need to come back here. I could go to the gravity cannon and drop down so I don't have to go through all the caves and figure out a way to get back up here. So if I just mark the gravity cannon, it's at the back of the gravity cannon, I can make my way here. Assuming that this doesn't reset or something, because this says like to worry about it, but I don't need it. Whoop, I accidentally fucked up. <laughs> hi, Patty, hi, Magoo, hi, Emmy. Hello, Fly Ray Stream. How are you doing? Welcome in. Uh, pro tip, don't mess with the sun. Yes, don't mess with the sun. Would not recommend. What were you doing today? Playing some race room racing experience. Is that something like in VR or is that just like a setup where it does like multiple screens or something? 
How are you, Fly Ray Stream? Thank you so much for raiding in. Welcome in, raiders. My name is CD. We're playing a game called Outer Wilds, and it is an indie game all about exploration and mystery. And let me tell you, I have no freaking clue <laughs> of what all is going on in the game. I feel like I've picked up on some... Oh, whoops, I forgot to reset my oxygen. That's not good. Hang on. Uh, I feel like I've picked up on quite a few things. And I'm starting to understand stuff, but there's still a lot of mystery around this game and what I'm supposed to be doing and all that good jazz, so. But welcome in! How are y'all doing? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for choosing me to raid today. What were you getting up to? Give me oxygen so I don't die, at least from oxygen. I'm thinking about just shooting myself straight into space. See if we line up with anything. And I'll just just go for it. I'm not gonna shoot straight into the sun. That would just be rude. <laughs> but why not? I think about that every day. Into the sun. I could. Do I let the intrusive thoughts win? Not today, Satan. Not today. I don't know. What's worse? Going into the infinite abyss? Or going into the sun. Oh. Or death. <laughs> I don't know what. Um. I guess we'll never know the answer to that question. I don't know. I've done that a couple times. And I've never died. <laughs> so I don't know. Wow, it takes, you know, I'm a truly special individual when it comes to this game. <laughs> I'm having a lot of things that people haven't seen before. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back to the Ember Twin. Okay, I'm gonna do this so it pauses me for a second. Okay, I'm gonna do this for a second. I'm gonna go turn on the oven so that I can heat up some pizza. Fly Ray Stream, I am glad that you're doing good. If you do need a raid and run or anything, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for choosing me to raid today. Everybody, please go check out Fly Ray Stream. Does a lot of iRacing stuff, but also plays a variety of other games as well. So please go check them out. Thank you, thank you. Not floor pizza, Emmy. Well, I mean, technically, I guess it could have been. Well, no, it's refrigerator pizza, so no. No clue what happened there. I have no idea what I crashed into. I don't think I saw anything. So give me one second. Um, I'm going to do that terrible streamer thing and run an ad real quick so that it gets rid of pre-rolls for anybody that's coming in. But don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. I'm going to go turn on the oven. Uh, I'm going to fill up with fresh water. So I swear you won't miss anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that so it's so it's out of the way. So don't worry, you won't miss anything. I appreciate you, and I will be right back after I do this. Boop, there we go. Be right back, go get yourself some water or food or something. I'll still need to put the pizza in, but that'll be in a minute.
Hi, Mick and, and Carly. Whichever kitty decided to grace us with a hello, I'm happy with it. <sighs> Sad no floor pizza. What do you mean? It's going to be reheated pizza. That is far superior to floor pizza, Emmy. How are you doing? How is everybody's weekend going? Sorry, I feel like I've been less interactive than usual because I've just been so like... Like trying to figure things out. So I apologize. I'm usually a little bit more engaged, but I've been just like so, I don't know. Quantum mechanics are going up on the brain right now, which I know does not make any sense. It's fine. Floor pizza is not the best pizza, fuck off. <laughs> Rube is good. He just got a haircut. And by got a haircut, I mean he literally just went and like just shaved a whole bunch of his head. It's not shaved like all the way down, but he just like went so. He's a lot less hairy than he was. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm in focus mode. And I just, like, realized that I've been, like, zoning into the game a little bit harder than usual. So, my bad. Uh, not my intention. Fridge pizza is clearly superior. But I keep mine up. Like, I, I don't like cold pizza, personally. So, no. Not with the side shave. It's, like, completely shorter. Do you want to come show off your do? Because you're getting questions. Yeah. All, all the curly hair is gone. All the curls are gone. All yeah. the curls are gone. He's it's nice, and, nice just, and short. Just short hair now. That's it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Necessary. In, mm, it in, was In necessary. hot weather. Yeah. Well, you should have shaved it a while ago. You even said that. I did, but yeah. I... He's not bald. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not, no, you're not bald at all. You can grow a lot of hair. That's fair. Uh, I can. Yep. 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 All right. Well, now we'll go back to exploring. Okay. Aperture science. We do, we do, we we do what we must. Because. Because we, we can. We can. For the good of all of us. Except the ones who are dead. But there's no nope. sense crying over, over every mistake. mistake. We'll just keep on trying. <laughs> Till we run out of cake. The cake is a lie. The Nomai <laughs> debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Okay. Wait, debated. But they did. Okay. So in the city, I know there's more to explore. That's why we're going to go right back there. Even though I was like, oh, we need to go here. We need to go here. We know to go here. I do still have my checklist in my head. But uh, I know my city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, and we do still have that marked, right? Yes. Do I have anything else marked on my hood? I don't think so. Did I accidentally leave? I felt like I left another. No, okay, it's just that. Okay. And then hopefully we'll be able to head to the sun station with that. Go, go, go! It is indeed shorter. Yes, weather appropriate. He, he definitely needed it. I, I thought he was going to uh, cut his hair before he even came to the States, and he didn't. Oops, I don't, I was thinking of that. Don't want to accidentally fly into the moon. Now we can engage the autopilot. <laughs> now I think we'll be good. <laughs> squirrely there for a second. I didn't like it. Ah, we're fine. Woo! Like a freaking glove. No, no, no. I didn't want to go here, actually. Shit. No, I wanted to go to the grab cannon. Fuck. I forgot. I wanted to go to the grab cannon. We're good. We're good. Here's the grab cannon. 
Where's where's the hole? Where's the hole? Is it like over here? Is this the hole? This is the hole. Here's the hole, chat. We need the hole. Bonk. Eject me. Eject me. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna double check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, see, there is some there now. That's interesting. There is at least some there. Okay. Well, we learned. Hi, Grillian. How are you doing? Welcome in. Yes, the news. The news. I am officially leaving my corporate job after five years of doing both that and a lot of content creation. I have decided, due to the support of the community, that I am going to try full-time content creation, at least till the end of this year, and just see how it goes. I've been working 80 plus hours basically for weeks and weeks at this point in my life and it would just be very nice to, you know, actually focus on something I'm passionate about. So, uh, fuck it, we're just gonna go for it. So, yeah, so TikToks and YouTube shorts will be back very soon. That's gonna be a lot sooner than the actual YouTube content, but then uh, I'll be making actual YouTube videos as well of like exclusive content that's not on Twitch and then I'll be having the live streams so lots of things lots and lots and lots of things what does this say high energy lab yes give me the answers I so much seek GG on finding the hole thank you I felt like I did a pretty good job oh I like the pretty music Can I make it through this without it, like, hating me? Oh. Eh-ho! Do I have to wait until I can go over it? Come on. Yeah, I think it's too early. I can't go over it until it lets me go over it, maybe. There might be another way around, but like I don't want to get lost trying to see if there actually is, if I can just go over this. But that makes me kind of nervous, but we'll try it. We'll try it this way first, because I don't want to get lost trying to find this, because it looks like a bunch of cave system. No, <gasps> oh, excuse me. Come on, 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 come on. I love and hate the concept of this planet. Mostly hate it, but. I need to stop using my fuel. Stupid little spiky things. At least I didn't get run right into those. Damn it. Oh, come. Come on. Oh, come on. So silly. Oh, you've got to be. You're joking me! Okay, never mind. Go this way. I was like, do not tell me that I couldn't make it. You. Yeah, this is. So no! I hate everything about this. <laughs> Out of spoons for IRL socializing today, watching Outer Wilds is relaxing for me. Yeah, it's relaxing, but also horrifying. It's a little of both.
fuck, okay. Where is this leading? Oh, fuck. This better lead me to the thing. I know, I know, I know. Thanks, game. There we go. I figured it would be something like that. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm just checking if there's anything around. That's clearly something really big we should take a look at. Okay, that'll pause it for a second. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we got someplace new. I was a little worried, so. But that's fair, Grolian. You hang out as much as you'd like. You can chat as much as you like, or just chill if you're just wanting to relax. I wish the pleasant music was playing all the time. <laughs> Instead of the creepy, somewhat space horror -y music that starts playing every once in a while that I'm just like, nope, I don't like this at all. So. All right, so records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow ever, uh, very slightly before departing from the White Hole station. Uh, Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Okay. Oh, there's a scroll right there. The scroll just chilling right here. Oh. There's lots of things here. Hi, Dina. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, thank you. I've got some pizza heating up in the oven, and Outer Wilds has been great. I It still scares the unholy god out of me, but, you know, it's it's going well. I'm enjoying it. It's good to see you. Any plans for the weekend? An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eye. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Rami, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark, literally and figuratively. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they can officially time travel in the slightest way. The different towers that correspond which where they go. I think. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you. These tell you where they're gonna take you. Sun station, I'm assuming. The twins, but you're already on the twins, so maybe it takes you to the Ember twin when it's on the Ash twin. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think that's what those are supposed to represent is each each place you go okay next the southern observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible that is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp well now that we already know that the cycle is 22 minutes We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. 
creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. We'd also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. Okay. My pun was unintended, Rami, so I believe it's you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We gotta get all the information we can. The Ash Twin Project will be one of the biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically, to build it. We need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. Oh, good lord. So by the end of this, we need to do, like, X amount of things, like, on each planet. And usually Ash Twin is the connection point. I'm glad you're doing well, TNA. Playing some Boulder's Gate for the first time? Nice! Are you playing the newest one, 3? I've never played a Baldur's Gate myself, and we plan on playing three at some point. It should be good. Get my leftover pizza who brought to me. Hi, Infinity Simplex. How are you doing? What if we used warp towers, like the ones we have on the White Hole Station, to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has sufficiently clarified. Just kindly stop reminding me. <laughs> nice. Well, I hope you like it, Tina. I've heard nothing but good things. I do look forward to playing it at some point. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. Why? I haven't been there yet, and that's concerning. A cyclone. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys are in the mountain. Okay. Well, that 100% confirmed what I already thought with what they look like so the very first tower is the sun so we should be able to get to the sun station then and then that's the twins which doesn't really make sense it has to be like ash to ember then um that is the geyser that is a cyclone and that was the forge so we can go to the sun station this takes you somewhere in the ember twin i guess and then this takes you to Giant's Deep. I'm wondering if I should fly to Giant's Deep first. The cyclone thing has me concerned because I have no idea what that means. I thought it was a water planet. The store wouldn't need to remain closed for some time by our running experiments. Oh yeah, because you couldn't open it from the outside, could you? Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So hang on. So we, oh wait. Oh, I missed one. Ah, I missed one. Poke roots and I begin work on this immediately in the black hole forge. This will keep us busy. All right. Black hole forge is still orange for some reason, which means I'm missing something there. What does this do? Is this showing which ones are active right now? Or? I 
don't understand the point of that. Okay, hang on. Wasn't there another one? Yeah, this one. What does this do? I don't know what that did. What did that do? Shit. I have no idea what that did. It, it made sounds, and that's all I know. <laughs> it made, made woo sounds, and that's it. I did read both of these, right? I'm not just crazy. Right, it did a thing, and a place and a time, but I don't know what. Oh yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, yep, I know all that. I have no idea what it did though. I have no idea what it did. What did it do? Is the sand still coming? Yeah, I hear it. What did this do? The power. The power to and from the city. They talked about diverting the power to run their experiment. There's no warp core in there. The death I had recently where I just blew up was kind of interesting. <laughs> we don't know what caused it. Yeah, that one. We literally don't know what caused it. I have no idea what this is. It's gotta be important for something. So they're, they're alluding, this was probably for the experiment. I'm guessing, I don't know. They're alluding to the fact that you'll need to go to each place. Which is kind of obvious. I'm not actually done with the city yet though. I need to go back down there. I just wanted to get to the to the lab because I knew I was getting close to being able to get to the lab. I was finally able to get to the lab. Oof, very hazardous. Don't go that way. Feel critical. Yeah, that one indeed was very interesting. Like, I don't even know what caused it. I 
I honestly don't know. Um, okay, hang on. We can't do a whole lot right now. There's a lot that I want to do, but it requires another launch. Because I want to go back into the city. Need to go into the city. Need to go back to the Ash Twin. Go to the Sun Station. I'm very curious about freaking uh, Giant's Deep now. Since the whole, you know, cyclone thing. Don't know what the hell that means. Uh, I'm right here. I'm right here. It's fine. What's up, Daniel? Matt, how are you doing? Yeah, it was certainly one way to die. Come on. Eh. Let me up here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm right here. Let me up. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Chertz. I think we're just going to be sitting here dying with you today. At least it appears that way. It's not too long from dying anyway. That gives me a chance to eat my pizza. What's up, Daniel? How are you doing? Good to see you. I was hanging out with Daniel quite a bit yesterday. Uh, if I could get a shout out for him. Somebody that I got introduced to, oh God, a couple, I think two months ago now, and I hadn't really gotten a chance to go watch his streams, but he's playing through Subnautica for the first time and doing it with kind of a different rule set in mind that uh, if he dies, then he has to flip coins to see if he can continue on or and make like a backstory for how he escaped his death or keep going or or have to start over so but yeah it was really interesting and it just it, like there was so many parallels between subnautica and outer wilds in terms of exploration again i know subnautica is a completely different game with the crafting elements and stuff but the goons themselves definitely left me with that like sense of terror of being like so exposed and stuff but he's been playing subnautica for the first time so you guys should go check him out. He's good people. Very interactive. A lot of fun to, a lot of fun to watch. I'm glad you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying your day off. I'm doing well. I'm eating some leftover pizza. And we've made a lot of discoveries today. Like going into today, I was worried like that I was gonna get stuck somewhere, like not understand how to progress. But now we've got like six places that I need to go and explore and figure out and stuff. So Lots of things to do with warp cores and what have you, so I guess we'll keep going. So. Jackio, do you seriously just like, are you on like a timer right now? Every like 30 minutes or something, hour, you pop in and you get to subbed and then you go back to lurking. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Jackio, thank you so much for another gifted sub to the community. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad it's been a good time. The feeling of discovery has a lot of similarities, even if they're ultimately play quite different. Yes, it's it's that sense of exploration that drives you forward, but also scares the hell out of you. And I don't think I've ever had another game do that until now. And I think you kind of had a similar thing when you said you were playing Subnautica, so yeah. But yeah, so that was probably the most interesting death, Gerulian. I've flown in the sun twice. Because I severely underestimated the pull of gravity. <laughs> um, mostly just died to supernovas. I really haven't had any like creative deaths yet. Um, my ship did crash once. I, I came in a little too hot. And what was funny is I lived through the initial like landing. And then I tried to get out of the vehicle and I got out of it a little bit and then it exploded and people said that wasn't supposed to happen, so I don't know. The exploding was supposed to happen, but the, um, it was supposed to happen like quicker, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What? What? Oh, I have a question for you. Why are so many stars going supernova? I never asked him this dialogue before. Sorry, I should have been reading it out loud, but I was too busy eating pizza. I didn't actually expect him to have different dialogue here. I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. Mm-hmm. I found something. I found your notes. Oh wait, no, we already, yeah, we 
already know that. Okay, so that was the only bit of dialogue we hadn't had. All right, so I'm gonna take a minute to eat my... Oh, we still got a little bit of time. I could try to go over to Ash. Hmm. Could go over to Ash Twin. I still have a little bit of time. See if I can make it over there. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not my ship. I'm an idiot! I'm a big old dingus. For some reason I was thinking that was my ship. No, you absolute goof nugget. It's fine, I'm a big old dingus, it's fine. Hi, ship. This is going to be very dangerous without actually... I might die going into the sun here. It is a high probability that I die here because I'm stupid. Uh... Alright, let's see if we can position ourselves fortuitously and not die. Trying to get to Ash Twin. Beautiful. Perfect. Just what I wanted ish. So I don't know which one this one is. See the- oh, this is broken now. The one to go to the sun. Okay, well you can get to it somehow. Hi, sun. Okay, so you can get to it somehow from underneath. So that's something to keep in mind. Underneath where exactly? This is a very tall fucking building. from the court. That would be kind of crazy though. It's trying to pick me up but I won't let it. <laughs> Okay, well there's the one for Cyclone. Giant Steep, we haven't been there yet. How do I get to the sun then? There has to be a way up to it, but I can't find any way that takes us up to it. Mm -hmm. The big thumbs. Sun's about to explode. How the dickens do I get to you? Because there's clearly a gravity thing. Oh my god. Did I just need to know? I just needed to go backwards? What is this? Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time. Fuck. Uh, some time has passed since I checked in with the UPI. How are you doing in the idea of progress on association plans? Uh, presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. 
Uh, how curious, Rami thinks I'm a gas and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. I don't see what state of matter you have to do with this. I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Uh, time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That at least we can agree on. Shit. See, that's okay. That's where I need to be. I need to go there, but I don't think I can... I still don't know how to get to that. But the bottom is plugged, so... Um, is there a way... How, how do you get to it? That's the thing I need. Shit! <laughs> okay. I didn't get any more information there that I wanted. Well, we did again. Actually, did we really die? You know what? I'm not even gonna look. Rip the band-aid off. Let's go. I want to know why there was cyclones depicted. There also appears to be a little moon. Oh, it's just on the back side. It's a gravity cannon. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know that I want to go in there. But I guess I can if I want to. Alright. confused um, um, okay um, can see why it's depicted by cyclones now um, hey there's land let's let's see yeah wow okay wow that was a horrifying entrance Okay, please tell me the dude's around here. He's not. Oh, he is. Thank God. <laughs> I did not like that. I see now why it has cyclones. Hi, Gabro. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? More than you know. So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Ha! Okay, the dude that everybody's like, it's just Gabbro. He understands, so. We discovered the Oklahoma planet, it seems. <laughs> I'm so glad somebody else has been having this experience. Now 
Oh, it's me too. We're in a time loop. I love how just nonchalant we are about it. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Yeah, right back at you. Okay, fair. <laughs> Personally, I like the new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radio in Hornfell and asking if, he'd die if they'd died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornsfell about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. Pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. Yep, nope, that makes perfect sense. So, yeah, Gabro the bro. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Gerlian. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. That happened to me too with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. If you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Well, I found another statue. Anyway, that's what's new with me. <laughs> But hey, this is your first solo voyage. Kind of. Clever. Let's talk about, you know, you know. Yeah, let's talk about you, you know. Okay, so real talk. Quick question. This is a pineapple question. What if you find him first? What if you come here before anything's happened? What's his dialogue then? I mean, obviously that's only the first time. And I don't actually anticipate a lot of people going to Giant Deep as their first planet, but maybe. I'd be curious what the dialogue is. Yeah, apparently there's a thing as being too chill, sir. Too chill. So what are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and it's peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then less peaceful. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. So, um, yeah. Apparently the islands can be displaced. That's very concerning, actually. Okay. Do you think we started the loop at the same time as Gabro? Or one of us made more cycles than the other? Oh, that's a very good question, Grillian. I don't know. That's a very good question. Where should I explore in Giant's Re Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the cab relaxation scale. Uh huh. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Okay. So I have, like, it shows that as, like, a, a point in time. Every single time you wake up, you're looking at Giant's Deep. And you're also looking at the explosion, which has got to be the gravity cannon out in space. I didn't really feel like ejecting myself out of my spaceship to look at it because I didn't think my spaceship would continue orbiting. But I guess we should do that at some point. Just suck it up and do it. <laughs> we'll see. What's with this planet? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant like, I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a waves beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Weird. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current. And neither idea worked. And neither idea worked. Uh-huh. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. Uh, you've seen the cyclones, yeah. They're pretty hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their lo in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Makes sense. Okay. 
So if you get picked up by a cyclone, it's not going to take you out to space. I don't necessarily want to land in open ocean either, but, um, got it. He says nothing can go below the surface anyway, right? Yeah, this is my first time using Gabbro, yes. This is my first time on Giant Deep. <laughs> I did not, like, that, that was freaky. I did not like entering space and just seeing cyclones. Um, yeah. Where's your ship? <laughs> That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Have you watched the cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. I found something. I found your quantum poem. Yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture that just like shows up and scares the daylights out of you. Oh god, that sounds horrifying. <laughs> uh-huh. That's a dick move, Gabro. That is an actual dick move. Cause you know, you don't look at don't make it an angel, please. That sounds uncharacteristically dickish. <laughs> like Right. Gabro seems like a chill dude and he's like, you know what would really be funny? Sculpting uh, something out of the quantum rocks to scare the shit out of somebody. Oh my god. If I if that was like the first thing I came across in this game, I probably would have been like, sorry guys, y'all said that Outer Wilds is great, but I don't give a fuck. I'm out of here. Jesus. Uh-huh. I found a photo of you inside an old radio tower. Did I look busy in it? <laughs> I hope I looked busy. Must have been from the time Horns fell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. They thought old spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how it got a shot of my beautiful bee helmet face. Come to think of it. I always thought it was kind of sweet that the best kind or best way to find old spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite, always making sure we know where we're going. That's the DLC stuff, I think. Why did Hornsfell think it was broken? Don't know. Hornsfell probably told me why, but Hornsfell tells me lots of things. And I'm sure sometimes I tune out. Or pretend that the signal's interference and I can't hear them. Best guess, as the deep space satellite must have sent Timberhurst some weird pictures, but like what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, if you ever want to visit Old Space, the fastest way is to jump into your ship and use your solar system map to lock on to the satellite. Same as you would any astral body. Oh, you can lock on from the map? Or is it just talking? I can't lock on from here, unless it's talking about the enter, enter whatever thing. Well, that's just it. I can't actually lock on. I guess he said from the ship. Well, there was also, besides that orbiting, I saw a little planet, unless that was the quantum moon, and I just completely missed it. The interloper. I can try to get on that at some point. We haven't heard any information about that, I don't think at all. There it is. There's the little moon looking thing. So there's an actual moon on Giant's Deep as well. For whatever reason, it doesn't show an orbit for it, which is kind of weird. Okay, so um, anything else? I think that was everything, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a second. He actually, he said something else here, though. Old spacey. I mean, the satellite's not super old, but it's hardly brand new. Old is a term of, aff of affection. You're, uh, you're being very literal-minded about this. Old spacey likes visitors, you know. Fastest way to find a jump in a ship and use the solar system. Now. <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah, um, the one that's standard with all our spacesuits, the one you have with you at all times that opens up with the press of a button, that map. You didn't get conked on the head by a rock or a meteorite or something on your way here, did you? No shame in that. It happens to me all the time. In case you were hit especially hard, don't forget that you can jump into your ship and use your solar system map to lock on any celestial body or astral body. It's the easiest way. I think I messed that up. Okay, well we are not going in there. I do not like the sound of that. I do really don't want to get picked up by a cyclone, preferably. Really, really, really don't want to. This planet's horrifying. Oh, we're going for a ride. It actually ejects you into space. Oh, that's f fucking horrifying. Uh huh. I see. Okay. Well, I hate that. I hate everything about that. Wow. Oh wow, gravity here sucks. Okay. So the gravity is gonna drop you like a rock. Wait, unidentified, oh, because I didn't. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, I hate this planet. It sucks. This planet is actually god awful. That was a horrifying, horrifying event. Okay, was there nothing up here? This is just it. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see if I can find any other uh, any other islands. That's um, yeah. That was something. Hang on. I want to look at this real quick because he said view map. Oh, I can actually just well, I can lock on I guess once I'm out and about. There's definitely something unique there. Maybe you're supposed to go to the interloper and it takes you out there. Where am I? I'm over here. Oh, where to go? Where to go? There was a thingy. Is that one of the i? That is fucking one of the islands, isn't it? That is one of the islands. Huh. Okay. Where's... Where did the fucking circle go? Where did the moon go? I'm gonna get thrown in the air soon, aren't I? Um... I don't see where the moon went. Is it just gone? Is that just one of those things where it, it can just be gone? Because I don't see it anymore. There was definitely a moon here. There was 100% a moon here. I have a feeling one of the islands got shot up in the air and broke the moon. Because I don't see it anymore. <laughs> I hate this place. I think I hate this place the most because you can't actually see the surface from the outer part of it. Which is, is different than any of the other places. I'm currently in my ship, so at least if I get launched, we're going together. Right, the debris, that's the that's the gravity cannon, though. Yeah, I actually don't see the moon anymore. Um, oh, wait, what? Is that not a moon? What are you? 
You don't orbit like a moon. Okay, how do I get to that? Oh god, my ship's all kind of fucked up right now. Hang on. Oh god. Oh, what is happening, ship? Ugh. Okay, it keeps unlocking off of that, though. And now I don't see it again. I think it's coming from the... I don't think it's actually a moon. I think it's coming from the planet, then. I can't get off the ground. Ship, you... Eh. Sure. That is a very big cyclone. We're definitely gonna get scooped up at some point. It's gonna be horrifying. Oh, that looks like Bramble. That doesn't look fun at all. This looks horrifying too. What is this? Oh, I can walk in it. Fuck it, why not? Let's just keep being horrified. Oh, damn it. Okay, some of it's hazardous. Ah, oh, damn it. Yep, hate this. Hate everything about this. <laughs> I keep forgetting the gravity is terrible here. I think I can make it. Why are we trying to do that? Can I just swim over here? We're gonna get shot in space. Yes, I'm aware of the ghost matter. So yeah, I definitely can't go this way, right? Yeah, there's like a whole section right here that I can't. Yeah. Okay. I've got to be able to make this jump. There we go. I'm just bad. Okay, I think we're good now. Until a cyclone scoops us up. Scoops the shit out of me. Only sounds like one's coming. Uh oh. Uh huh. I think we're about to go for a ride, Chef. Yep. Oh, my ship. I hope you come back down with me. <laughs> Jump without falling in the water. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Oh, 
not recording. Trip number four, entry number whatever. Two crashes, boring crashes, zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got fell sparred. That was one of the more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can't wait to tell Hornsfell and Gosen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right. So that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. So, okay. Um, Felspar was able to go to the center. What is this thing? The fuck is this? I didn't give me any new information whatsoever. I'm doing pretty good project. Other than getting the crap scared out of me by this game. I do not like this planet. new information. Oh, this is the one I came out of. Yeah, because gravity is two times on this planet. Still good. How are trees to tip? Where's my ship? Wait, where is my ship? Oh, my ship's like, wait. How the fuck do I get to my ship? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hey, another island. Shit, I can't get to that island. Um. Huh. I've got an idea, but I'm gonna have to wait until we're in space again. Which hopefully will be soon. I saw another island that I haven't been to. This is island number two. He said there was four. Felspar makes it sound like you can go all the way to the core of this planet. I don't think I want to. Why would I want to go to the core of a scary watery planet? I can already do that in Subnautica. <laughs> okay, well I was hoping we would get ejected in space again. I can't really do anything because the gravity is too low. I can't, I literally can't get on top of this. So I'm waiting until we get ejected into space. And then I was gonna try to get to my ship when we get zero G. What do you mean what's wrong with the watery planet? Do you see this place? I don't really have anything else I can do. Oh, well, there goes another island. That must be the island What's his nuts is on. Yep. Oh, speaking of things, is there any... There we go. Got another quantum thing here. That's probably on one of the islands and then the statues on the... Well, one of these has to have the, the fast travel too to Ash Twin. Is this not going to get ejected into space again? I need it to get ejected into space. I literally can't get to my ship otherwise. There we go. 
Okay, this is a terrible idea. Terrible idea, but we're doing it anyway. Go. Ow. Get in the ship. All right. We did it! Okay. Alright, we might get ejected into space again from it. Why does it turn like that? What is that? Oh, hey, his ship! Well, his ship is here. I wonder if I can tell him that. I wonder what's in the big cyclone. To, oh, oh. Hang on, this is another one. Okay, this is the one that has the teleporter. That's fine. Ow. So this has the teleporter back to Ash Twin. I hate not being able to like jump very well. I actually had a settlement here it looks like. Oh god, okay. I wonder if we can do that when the thing is airborne. Why? Oh shit. Oh. Oh, maybe I can get in there. Lamy, they're going to test the memory statues tonight. Fallock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anybody want to? Fallock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too. All right, that, uh, that that's, but that's a huge risk to take. Probably shouldn't, maybe Fallock will let us test later. Okay, so those are kids talking. The memory thing. Okay, so what if I went underneath? Can I walk the whole way? Hang on. I don't know how much time I have left. So I feel like I probably don't have that much time left. Because of how long I was waiting to. It, hello? Thank you. Oh, it's broken! Statue workshop. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way to get to it, though. Probably whenever it's in space. Is that supposed to be like a suction down for my, my ship? Cause, um, probably should have landed there. <laughs> Oh shit, it's time anyway. I knew we were getting close. Yeah! I didn't make it. It's a cool game project, but at the same time it freaks me the hell out. In a way I didn't know possible. doing that it's like it's not taking my jump input it doesn't matter I ran out of time anyway but I just wanted to rip the band-aid off and go to giant steep after the cyclone thing I'm gonna hate coming into orbit of it every time and then you've got that big cyclone I wonder if I should go in there and then there's still the, the like moon looking thing this planet is very scary I do not like it Yes, being launched into space. Oh, that's a cool effect. Because of the cloud cover.
you actually I haven't read what it said it says something about like memory being recalled or something okay now where do I want to go first this time I need to go back to Ember City or Ember City Ember Twin <sighs> but yes being launched in space very scary do not like that concept so yeah, you see the gravity cannon blow up right there. Every time, and that's outside of Giant's reach. And then there's also, there's also like a, a little moon thing, but. Oh damn, are those like pieces of the gravity cannon that are breaking off that go past us? I don't know. Okay. We're gonna Ember Twin real fast. The faster we can get to that, the greater chance we have of actually getting some stuff done. Oop, I forgot to hit the launch button. Launch! For sure, KZ completely agree. To disengage the autopilot because I'm going to run into the fucking name. Yo! We're fine. Everything's fine. Had a little bit too much juice on that one. Uh, go to the escape pod. No, we don't want to go to the escape I need to unmark the escape pod. I need to mark the gravity cannon is what I need to mark. We're fine. Everything's fine. We didn't just crash. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We didn't crash. It's fine. See? We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ah! See? It's fine. It's fine. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? Oh, I can actually jump again. Give me the... Give me the lighter gravity any day. I am not a fan. The watery planet is scary for many different reasons. One, it's all water. <laughs> so you don't know what's below you. Two, you can't see the surface when you're coming down, which is very freaky as well. Three, you've got the cyclones. Four, there's no gravity so you can't jump. And five, you get shot into space from the cyclones. That's, ugh, that's a whole different level of freaky. Cause then even if you, like, what if you got shot into space and you weren't near an island or like close to an island, then yeah. Okay, so that's, we went down there and followed the trail to that. Um, what's this one? Stepping Stone District. Sure, we haven't actually really been to the Stepping Stone District. That's this one. That's where we went up originally. That was where we came from, and that's the overlook and, and stuff. Okay. Okay. So yeah, plenty to explore. Plenty, plenty, plenty to explore. Giant's Deep, we only found two of the four islands. We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the angler fish overlook hole, you'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to stepping stone cave and then up into the fossil fish cave. I don't know where stepping stone cave is either. Tried to get to the fossil through stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Thank you, other kid. Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go into the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Go into the overlook and throw a light into his mouth. He'll show you the way. What? Okay. Oh, because it's dark and like if you see the light, maybe? Guess so. Oh, goodness. Yeah, totally know what I'm doing. I totally understand everything that's happening in this game. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing wonderful, Jamie. I am doing well, thank you for asking. 
I'm doing well. This game is quite something. Have you ever played this before? Okay, so we need to go and throw a light in its mouth. Uh, Taggett couldn't fit through the anglerfish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. Who cares? Alex is still tallest. Leave it to kids. Okay, so hang on. But wait, how do I... Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go stepping stone cave to entrance, the entrance to the fossil uh, fish cave is easy to see. Gratitude. It's good that you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the anglerfish lookout. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and dad are tall, so <laughs> and you will be tall too. All the kids. Well, now I'm glad I deciphered the like kid writing. Okay, can't go this way. Okay, so hang on. Do I have to go back? Is there a staircase up from here? I think I can go up from here. Go to the overlook first. Where's the overlook? Nope, it's not here. Asshole, let me go. Oh, come on. I should be able to get out of that. Oh, you dick. I wasted so much of my time. I barely touched it. Damn it. Now I'm so far down. Oh, that is as high as you can go. Damn you, sand. You're coarse and you get everywhere. Dang it. That's wasting so much of my time. I haven't checked my ship log in a while for all the discoveries we've made. I'll do that here in a, on the next one. I have so many leads I could follow right now. Was this where, just where I was? Yes. Damn it. Yeah, I'm wasting so much time getting all the way back up here. Ugh, oh, that sucks. Time is so crucial in this game. Oof, that was close. Wait, where's the anglerfish fish? That leads to the gravity cannon, which is where it came from. Oh, is it that thing? Ah, I did it again. Whoopsies. Three minutes oxygen remain. I should probably go dip my toes into that. That's horrifying, <laughs> but sure. Okay, now it says go find the stepping stone cave or whatever. I don't know which one is the stepping stone cave. Yeah, that looks horrifying. I might have already missed my opportunity because this is already getting full. I don't know what caves lead where. Yeah, we probably already missed our opportunity. Because I do know I need to check out the fossil. Because they said it's important to check out the fossil. So that said, stepping stone cave to whatever. 
Oh, this is the stuff in stone cave. Okay, I might still have a little bit of time, we'll see. We shall see if I have enough time. Probably not, though. There's lights over here. I haven't died to suffocation yet. Did it tell me where to go? No. Oh, god damn it. This just led me back to this where the door was broken. Fuck's sake. No, I'm not finding the anglerfish this time. It's like go through stepping stone and go up, I think. Oh yeah, there's this guy. Oh. How the dickens are the kids supposed to get up there? How am I even supposed to get up here? Well, I am going to suffocate this time, but I will. <laughs> well, when I wait for the sand to rise, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Because <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a way back out afterwards. So... Yeah. Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold. And do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Ant Pie says real anglerfish are blind. So you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Anglerfish are blind. Okay. Uh-huh. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Yay! Thanks, Jackio. <laughs> what are you even doing, you beautiful? Jackio, thank you so much for the gifted sub and words of encouragement. Thank you for the gifted sub to Goody. And Goody, enjoy your gifted sub courtesy of Jackio. Thank you so much. Hi, Alt. How are you doing today? Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish. Wait, why would it be the last little fish to be caught? Should it be the first one? Because, like, that, like, well, unless people want to play as the anglerfish. I don't know. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes the little fish. Okay, there is an exit. Okay, so you don't get completely fucked over. Interesting. Okay, so we learned that anglerfish are blind. I don't know how that helps us too much because we still make a shit ton of noise when we're doing stuff. Oh no, oh no, no! Yeah, I know, it's fine. We're gonna die some way, it'll be fine. Anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescence. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey, allure. Update. While I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. 
Oh, for a second I thought it meant that if you got eight, that you were gonna die just so long that you died of starvation. Never mind, that sounded horrifying. I mean, everything about these anglerfish sound horrifying, and I'm assuming they're the big bad that's gonna jump scare the shit out of me at some point. I'm glad you're doing pretty decent today, Alts. Have you been feeling better then? I had a joke, but I don't trust it being okay. Fair enough. <laughs> you can DM it to me. Uh, visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble. We don't believe it's originated from this planet. Right. Oh, good. We just got ejected all the way out. Okay. So I feel like I found most everything in in the town there then. I guess I can try to go to Ashtwin real quick. Whoa, I'm dead. No, I was literally right there. Damn it. I died to lack of oxygen this time. That's the first time I've done that. I was literally right there too. Damn it. Oh, good God. What? <gasps> oh, I think the alarm is about to go off. Uh huh. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, there it is. Uh huh. Yeah. Is it, is it about to go off? Mm-hmm. Yep. Rube, thank you for the 100 bits. Well, that's good. At least the fever's pretty much gone alt. The fever's like the worst. Yeah, bouncing off the walls, not necessarily. I mean, it depends. The sun's going supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornsfell's domain. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Okay. Thanks, Light. Um, can I just go back to sleep? Oh. I actually didn't realize this would be a mechanic like this. I wonder if there's an achievement for this. That way you could speed up time to get to certain things, but I feel like everything that I need to get to is like so quick. Well, at least for now. I guess this could have been the way to find out how many minutes we had originally until it was told to us. Right, imagine that, Robco. Like, I'm so jealous of this person. This person's ability to just fall asleep in a split second is incredible. And I am extremely jealous. Nice, Alt. Well, that's good. Yeah, I am very jealous of that. Rube kind of has that ability. Rube can just pass out. Like, I was like, oh, I'm going to turn off the sound to my, my Switch last night and play my Switch a little bit. Um, then I was like, oh, I'll just wait until, like, yeah, he's completely out, and then I'll turn my my sound back on. And it was like a minute or two flat, and he's already asleep. And I'm like, guess I didn't need to wait long, did I? Yes, I am doing this. Does this count as a launch? Because I'm not actually launching what? Why are you looking at me all grumpy? You have the ability to fall asleep in like a minute flat. That's a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what? Wait, I dozed off. What time did that say? Does it make me wake up before the supernova goes off? That's a dick move. It does. Oh, that's a dick move. 
damn it. No, it's, I'm gonna die either way, so it's okay. Tank stove. Trying to get to the observatory as fast as possible. Tanks. Dang it, at least I could have found that frequency that was on the planet that I needed to. Dang, it still wakes you up. That's just mean. I wanted to sleep all the way to the supernova. Technically, I didn't launch. Well, I tried to see it. I tried to cheat the system by sleeping through it, and I could not, unfortunately. Most of the memory is just gonna be, yeah, <laughs> just, just darkness as I tried to sleep through the end of the world. Tried, it didn't let me. <laughs> Where does that go? What even is that? Little things that fly around. Okay. It says there's one of these on the planet that I didn't get before. Wait. What? It's here? Hang on, give me my spacesuit. Have it in the museum and I just didn't notice it? That would make sense for how I missed it, because... No, it's showing... Oh yeah. I didn't even see this last time I missed it. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Agreed. Okay, well that's the one that I missed. So that makes sense. Hi, Makerish. How are you doing today? Thank you for the raid. Ooh, some Hollow Knight. Oh, I love Hollow Knight. Oh, I just want to stay here and listen to the nice music. That'd be nice. Can I fall on the geyser? Would that be smart? Would this kill me? Probably. Hi, Makerish! How are you doing? Oh, I already missed the music. I, I want to listen to the music. Oh, I wonder if I can try to get to the inner lover. Let me see if I can try that. Let me see if I can try that. Go, 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 go! I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try! Dude, oh, stay suit. Get on. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Where is it? Oh, shit. I'm still controlling this, though, aren't I? Can I like, yeah, do that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where, where, where do I have that at? 
There's no way I'm gonna be able to get this, is there? I'm gonna try. Oh wait, I can engage the autopilot on the interloper? Really? I'm so gonna go into the sun, aren't I? I'm 100% gonna go into the sun. Oh god, I haven't been to the interloper. I don't even know what that means. Why do I have a sneaky suspicion I'm gonna go in the sun? Or die? Or anything? I don't know. What is the interloper? What is this? Why does it look like a brain? I'm just gonna land here for a second. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna land here for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, it's melting. Because we're getting closer to the sun, I think. Anyway, sorry. I wanted to take a moment to say hi, but I don't know why. I was just like, oh, let's just go land on the interloper because I see it's coming. So. Oh, you're actually playing Celeste. <laughs> Fair enough. And absolute radiance attempts. Oof. Absolute radiance attempts. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... Absolute radiance is, is a thing. Oof. What's up, Flo? How are you doing? Good to see you back. Space has been treating me relatively well today. I say that because we have learned a lot. We figured out the whole Ash Tower transport system and how each one corresponds to a different location. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get to the Sun Station right now because I know there's one on the Ash Twin, but like I can't access the door. And I can see inside and see like a little little elevator thing, but I don't know how to get in there yet. So trying to figure that out. Um, yeah, we we learned about the Black Forge and we got to the Black Forge. And we did a lot more in Ember Twin. We discovered the village, Sunless Village, and went to the high energy whatever and stuff. Um, and then I went to Giant's Deep. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. 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 I do not like it. <laughs> But I know there's so much more that we need to explore there. Um, I've only been on two islands. I have not been to Dark Bramble yet, no. Um, it's really cool, Flo, but I hate it, okay? I don't like being ejected into nothingness. It's very scary. So, yeah, we've only been to Giant's Deep once. Um, I was just like, you know what? Screw it. We're, we're going to launch. I forgot to launch again. Boop. We're going to launch and we're going to go into Giant's Deep and just see what it is. Because, oh, it was whenever I learned about the different stations. I'm like, oh, those seem to correspond with different places. And then it confirmed that. And it's like, oh, we'll use a cyclone for Giant's Deep. And I'm like, why? That doesn't make any sense. I've been told it's a water planet by, like, the game. So, yeah. Then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I want to know why it's called that. And I hadn't been to Giant's Deep yet. And then, yeah, we go to Giant's Deep, and it's, it, it was so scary going through the atmosphere and then seeing just nothing but cyclones. Um, we've been on two islands, but we didn't get to fully explore them. And I understand the whole concept of, like, the stuff getting blown into space so that you can you can see, see things. Oh, God. Is this... Oh, God. Is this gonna suck my spacecraft off? Yes, it is. Um. Okay, I didn't want to explore that anyway. <laughs> the pull of the sun just pulled me off the damn thing. Oh! Ow! Okay, could have been worse. Stay. Could have been worse. 
But anyway, yes. Also, welcome in Raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety game streamer from Arkansas in the U.S. And we are currently playing all the games. Uh, we play a little bit of everything from AAA to indie, from old games to new games, from Soulsborne to FPS and puzzle and everything else. Um, I don't know what this thing is. At least we don't have to deal with heat. Eh. It's not a body, so like... I'm gonna do this just to see if we can see anything. But I'm trying to make sure I stay close enough that it's... We're not gonna leave it. I don't actually know what the interloper is doing. It has a really weird path. There might not actually be anything on it. It's taking us close to this. Whatever this is. I'm not going into anything DLC related, right? <laughs> It is taking us close to whatever this is. Which actually, instead of a black hole, looks like a white hole. Which concerns me, because now I see like the distortion around it. Hmm. Which way is that? Oh, we should be looking at it, or going to be looking at it. Oh, there it is. Oh no, that's an exploding supernova. Where is it? We're coming up to it. It won't let me lock onto it. Oh, no, I get it. Oh, oh, it all just clicked. I get it. Oh, got it. This is the, I'm such an idiot. I get it all now. It all makes sense now. This is the white hole that's opposite. Uh, yeah, of the black hole from Ho Brito Hollow. I thought this was something completely different. Uh, I get it now. Oh, it all makes sense. Oh, hey, there's the quantum moon. I don't think I can get you. Oh, never mind. That's not the quantum moon. Just kidding. Right. That makes so much sense. Right. And that's why we get ejected. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. That I don't know why it took me that long to figure that one out. Okay. Let me look at this, because we haven't actually looked at this for a bit. Oh, we were on Statue Island. Ocean Depths. Nah, fuck that. I don't want to go to the Ocean Depths. I do not want to go to the Ocean Depths. The Nomai built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. Correct. We have not figured out a way to get there yet. Um, remove that because we don't actually want to go to the escape pod. If we want to go back here, we want to go to the gravity cannon. Um, there's still more to explore in the Sunless City. I'm not surprised by that. We still need to explore more in the Quantum Caves. Basically, I just need to do more exploring all around, like Ember Twins cave system. Um, because we still haven't found the Lake Bed Cave either. Angler fish fossil. Uh, blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adults know my were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into the game's rules. And apparently that is a hint for us when we inevitably come across anglerfish, which inevitably is going to happen when we go to Dark Bramble, because everything's pointing at that. Mm -hmm. So even though I hate Giants Deep right now, I think Dark Bramble's going to be way worse. I like the beginning of this game. <laughs> Orbital probe cannon 
See, I can probably get, I can get inside of that. Okay, so there's still so much stuff I need to do. Okay. Um, right, right, right. Okay, Gabbro is lounging in a hammock near the island shore. Gabbro found a Nomai statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing and Gabbro saw their memories flash before their eyes. Gabber remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes, just like the time with the, uh, just like the time with the statue. Gabber and I seem to be the only ones aware that we're in a time loop. Uh, there's a quantum signal somewhere on there. Um, statue Island is the island I was on, and I couldn't figure out how I I can't. I'm assuming I have to wait until it gets launched into space and then go underneath it. Is my guess to get to where I want to go. Uh, I, was, uh, da -da, I found no my statue lying on the beach. It looks, oh, did I? I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some know my children debated bypassing the statue workshop door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route, which is probably when it gets launched into space, so. I'm getting it. All the things are coming together. What's my favorite astral body, though? Any of them that I'm not dying. I don't know, actually. They all have... <laughs> they all have their pluses and minuses. I think Giant Deep's concept is awesome. It scares the shit out of me. So none. I like the home place. The home place is nice and cozy and has the forest and stuff. Let's, let's stay there. Let's stay there. <laughs> Gabra says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. But Felspar found a way to reach the core. I wonder if it has to do with that giant cyclone. Bramble Island. And the Thorny Vives appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Felspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Yes, yes it does. Okay, so we're still missing one island. Gabbro sees a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening at orbits. Yes, I also need to check that. Dark Bramble. Felspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. I have not been there yet. I'm scared to death to go there. Now the interloper makes more sense. It says there's something. Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after descending below the interloper's surface. I don't see a way to get into the surface, though. Equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface, too. The Nomai located a fissure in the ice. Oh, okay. On the interloper's sunward side. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's giant steep. I can never tell. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, okay, on the sunward side. This fissure. Okay. I don't have any quantum malfunctions though. Junk. Definitely an icy fissure. Maybe it only lessens when I get closer to the sun. But the sun's gravity took me flying off of it. Did I read that properly? Wait, is this the sun face inside? Maybe I do have to be closer to it because it like refreezes as we go away. It, it does look like it was less than it was before. Is this considered the sun facing side? I don't think it is. Which side is considered the sun facing side? Where's the sun? No, we are on the sun facing side. 
Maybe if we make another pass, it'll get less icy. We can try. Can I land normally? Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying ideas here. Because it says you can access this. Fissure in the ice, right. Okay. I'm not crazy, I don't... Jesus, okay. We don't need to go that crazy. Oh wait, oh wait, there's some more ice over here. But this isn't the sunward facing sign, right? There. I'm looking, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. This nothing none of this looks like a fissure. And it's like this is the sunward facing side. Like this looks like a fissure to me. An actual crack. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna wait and see if it launches us off of here again. Probably will due to the gravity pull. And... Oh, see, I hear stuff melting. More stuff's melting. I had the right idea. It's gonna fling us off of here, I think, again. Jeebus. Okay, are we good? We're bypassed it. Okay, we're bypassed it. Go, go, go. Okay, sun facing side. There's a fissure. Maybe you have to do it multiple times. No, it's already coming back. No! But I, where, how do I know where the fissure is? No, it's already coming back. I guess I have to be, I guess I have to be running around while I'm on the surface of this, or while we're close to the sun. I have the idea, I just don't know where the entrance is. Damn it. Well, this sucks because, like, I, I know what I want now. I know what I want and need to do. I just don't know where the entrance is. Because, like, if I knew where the entrance was, I would be fine being outside of the ship. But I don't want to get rocketed off into space either. Okay, well, the deepest fissure is the one that's here. Is this technically still facing the sun? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna take a chance and if I get rocketed off of here from the gravity, then so be it. <sighs> You'd pilot the spacecraft better than I drive a car in Cyberpunk? I feel like I've gotten a decent handle on it but the gravity in the game is kind of hard to deal with sometimes so like I'm not used to some of it so yeah what's the worst that can happen I get stranded on a comet or I just get pulled right into the sun wait what is that Well, that's different. Huh. I can't actually zoom out anymore, it doesn't let- Oh wait, yeah, it does. I thought it wasn't letting me. 
Oh, that's weird. I haven't seen. That's a known. Oh, is that is that the DLC? Okay, that's a no-no for now. That's fine. Thank you. For the record, mods, I told people to let me know if I was accidentally stumbling on the DLC because I didn't want to do the DLC first. So, Juicy, hello, and Will, how are you? Hello, Juicy and Will. I hope you both are doing well. Good to see you. Okay, like I said, I'm going to try this, this thing one more time and see if I can... Because I'm on the sunward facing side. And um, once we're close to the sun, I'll just get out and try to go because this this to me is a fissure. The this ugh, get out of the seat. <laughs> this is a fissure, so I'm assuming it'll melt and I'll find something. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. That's the hope. I'll just wait until we're close. We're literally as far away as possible. How much time do we have anyway? Okay, we probably, this is our last pass before, before we run out of time anyway. Oh wait, we're gonna run into the sun this time. Never mind, um, cause the sun got bigger. So we would die. Uh-huh. Well, shit. I was like, oh yeah, let's go for the interloper. Why not go for the interloper? Let's do something different. Let's let's go explore something different. And yeah. Never mind. The sun's already grown in size. So um Yeah. Never mind. Shit. I see. Oh, we're coming up a dark bramble. Could always go to dark bramble. That sounds, you know, like a lot of fun. This place looks horrifying. I don't want to go here ever. I know we have to. They make it like, oh, it's fun exploring and stuff. You got, you're going to have such a good time exploring. And then we're going to leave you the scariest places last and it's going to suck. You're not going to want to go to them because it's scary. You do kind of look like an eyeball. Don't worry, Dark Bramble. We'll, we'll be to you soon. Only a matter of time. Alright. Well, we can't go back to the sun. Sun's gonna implode soon anyway. I'm gonna go to Giant Steep and see if I can get like one more thing looked at or something. May the space have mercy on my soul. Woo! Woo! At least I don't have to worry about crashing. What happens if I go in the big one? Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me go in the big one. Where is the little round planet thingy? The moon or something. Oh boy. Hang on. Nope, nope, nope. Shit. There we go. Um, unbuckle. I should have landed where it actually wanted me to land. I think that's what 
I was supposed to do. That's like a landing spot. Can I do that? Here we go. That's what I wanted to do. Zoop. Wee. Ah, I'm not going where I want to go. Oh god. What does this say? Control module. Oh. <laughs> Launch module. Actually, it does give me some light, so that's nice. Probe tracking module. He is hella gone. No! Dark bramble bullshits in there. Okay, good. I was hoping it would. Yeah, it just looks like dark bramble. I don't know if I can get in there. It looks like I might be able to get in there from the outside. This is unfortunate. Whoa. Oh, that turns me upside down. Oh, that was fun. I don't know what this means. Okay, so maybe I'll just come back here real quick for our next launch. <laughs> Sounds good, Mickerish. It was very wow and scared <laughs> the first time I went into Giant's Deep. Uh, may the space have mercy on your soul. Man, this, this horror game. Oh, nice alts. That's cool. That's what we're trying to figure out, E Blackbird. Like, I don't know if there's a way I can stop it or accept my fate or what. But we're just going through a cycle right now to try to figure out what happened, what's going on, all of that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, we're 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 learning. So I'm not exactly sure what the answer to your question is. And please, again, in chat, no spoilers and all that good jazz. I do not wish to know these things. I wish to figure them out as I go. Um, buckle, uh, and then I want specifically. Oh, is it not gonna let me? Okay, that's fine. I'll just get there when I get there. Okay, so that was the crack from the bramble, right? Now that I know a little bit, I'm trying to... I wonder if I can get in there. I might be able to. Oh, 
Let me see if I can get in there. Oh, I forgot my suit. No. Vera, welcome in. Daddy Wisdom, welcome in. I could have used some of your wisdom. It's the first time I've done that. God damn it. I also forgot to push the launch button, so I gotta launch twice. Son of a bitch. I'm so upset. I was like perfectly aligned and everything. Oh my god. I was so excited to get going quickly. I did put my shoot on. Gosh, dang it. Alright, where, where are you at? Where are you at, Giant Studio? I don't even know where you are. Uh, oh, wait, is the gravity? No, that's the gravity cannon for that. No, 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 the Giant Steep is there. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I mean, I've launched 19 times. I've had 20 revolutions if we count the, uh, the time where I just waited to see if I died. Wait, 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 wait. That thing's out here. Hang on. Wait, the ball is out here. Whoa, we're coming in way too hot! Oh, oh, that's the quantum moon. That's what it is. I'm a dingus. That's why. I didn't realize it was coming more off of um, Giant Deep. That makes way more sense of why I'm such a dingus. I'm a dingus for a couple reasons. Okay, where was that spot I was at? I was in like the perfect spot too to like look at that. Perfect. We have the suit on this time. Maybe absolute dumbass. Can't believe I managed that. Ah. Uh, ship. Um. Never mind. I guess the ship is going bye bye. All right. Oh, this wasn't even the one that I was thinking of anyway. Is it, or is it? I don't know. All right, well, let's take a look at the plate. We're here now, so. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed when I went outside, Sherlock, cause I'm very good. Top tip, humans need oxygen to survive. That is a very good top tip, Daddy Wisdom. How are you doing today? Good to see you. At the quack of dawn. What's up, Jason Ryan? How are you doing? Imagine, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, who, so who minds if the compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? That doesn't make any sense because it just blew up now. From a time perspective, that doesn't that doesn't line up with all the dead people we find. Hmm. What's up, Clovercrest? How are you doing? Good to see ya. Hope you've been well. Hi, Sarah. Congratulations. I haven't told you over my voice. I was trying to say like in person, but that doesn't really make sense. Congratulations, Sarah. How are you? How's vacation been? Seems like wonderful, but you know. <laughs> 
Okay. I would mind, Malo. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Oh. Well, then, yeah, that's kind of important, but, um. Yeah. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh. Come back here. Come here. Doop. <laughs> I wonder if there's one of these for each of them. It would make sense if there were. There would be a third one. I love how the music starts right there and then it goes away as soon as I go into space. They're like, no music in space. Oh, hey, my ship's still close-ish by. Never mind, I thought it was completely gone to the void, but um, I guess I still have a chance. Okay, well, let me see what this says. Malo, my better 50%. Uh, cassava? Cassava? is sending the last of the cannon components soon relatively speaking we'll know the eye's precise location the thought of concluding our elders curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature my love goodness cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any of the circumstances to go above i see and am i right to think that consequentially we'll be ignoring that setting I posit that nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. <laughs> Given the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Wait, but... Okay, sure. Oh, does this not do anything? So somebody was silly. I still don't really understand these things. It just says projection stone. Was this a projection stone from before? No, it wouldn't be because it's still broken. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Or at least I didn't mean to go that high, I should say. I was trying to see what was over there. Hang on, let me see if I can see it one more time. I haven't really understood the point of the projection stones, I guess. Just that the, there was a tablet? Oh, there was another tablet here. That's a two-pronged tablet. So then there should have been three tablets in here, right? Is there a two tablet in here? Because that's a three. Is this, this is a one. So there should be a two tablet in here somewhere. Right? Unless it's not counting the one on the pedestal. But that other one showed two. But I don't see another one in here. Well, shit. I don't see another one in here. Again, I don't quite understand the whole projection thing. Okay, and that was the one that I was missing. Okay. So then we need to go back outside. Slow down. We don't want to rock it away from this place. That would be very unfortunate. Oh, our ship is, yeah, slowly floating away. Where did the probe go? <laughs> ah. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Good. Oh no, there's the quantum moon. Come back here, quantum moon. I can still look at you. I can still look at you. You can't get away from me. I mean, you totally can, but I'm just staring at you. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it?
Okay, we don't know everything about the quantum moon because of the whole... I need to get it inside. Um, because the whole Brittle Hollow thing, we haven't finished Brittle Hollow. But according to that, you can only come from the south side. And it appears to only be really coming from... From the south of Giant's Deep. So if I came around behind Giant's Deep from the south, then potentially I should be able to land on it, right? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Oh, Misty. Hello. The Whooper Trooper. Misty, hello. Thank you for the raid. I didn't want to be like, I gotta go to stuff. But I did have to actually dry my hair and I may have totally been late watching you earlier. But that's okay. Nobody needed my content. It's fine. <laughs> Let me pause for just a second because I don't want to, I don't want to progress my time here. It's important. Misty, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? How was Outlast 2? I'm going to get the other shout out because I'm going to see if you were still on it. I think you were, but... Oh, oh, Robco beat me to it by a split second. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety game streamer from Arkansas in the U.S. Uh, I mostly focus on first playing playthroughs of story-based games, but we honestly play a little bit of everything around here. From indies to triple A's, old games to new games. Uh, action adventure, RPG, exploration, FPS, horror, you name it, we play it. So, welcome in. Misty, thank you so much for that raid. How was the rest of your stream? And no joke, I was actually legitimately late to stream, partially because of Misty, partially because of Misty, uh, because I needed to dry my hair, and then I saw that uh, she was live, and I was like, oh, I haven't gotten to stop in yet because we just met yesterday. And so I went and I watched, and they were originally playing Exit 8, which we did on stream here, and then was playing Outlast 2 for the first time. So how was stream? Welcome in Techie Rob, welcome in that dude at 700. Hello Raven. Welcome in the perfect drug, the perfect drug. I almost called you Doug. I was like, damn, nice perfect Doug, but you're drug. Fair enough. <laughs> Clever Ducks, welcome in. Uh, Critical, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, Alyssa's cat, Alyssa Cat Pink, welcome in. Outlast was terrifying. Yeah, I hated Outlast. Like, I know that Outlast 1 is revered as like a really good horror game, but ugh, we talked about it in your stream. I do like horror games nowadays. Honestly, this game has been freaking me out though. I like survival horror, so like Resident Evil, Evil Within, Dead Space. I'm completely fine with those. Chase horrors like Outlast is freaking terrifying and I don't like them. <laughs> so I do like some horror type games and you need to play that confabulation game. Um, I'm going to see if it's on sale real quick because it was only $5. But if you want something that's freaky that your community will really enjoy, I would recommend this. Oh, it's only $3.50 US, so it's even cheaper. Hi, Tactical, how are you doing? Alyssa, nice to meet you too, welcome in. Uh, Sensual Kitsune, welcome in, hello. Harry Quagsire. <laughs> uh, hello, Ziz. Is that how I say that? I might not say it correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Viren, welcome in. It's lovely to have the Whooper Troopers. Again, welcome in everyone. Feel free to stick around as little or as long as you like. Uh, this game does have some spooky elements to it, so I guess there's that going for me. Uh, thank you, Ziz. Thank you for Central Kitsune for the follows, and then thank you also for the other new follow. Follows are anonymous unless I've seen you say something in chat, and then I like to thank you personally, but don't feel like you have to, so. You feel like you're being chased constantly? That was the thing with Outlast 1 for me. I actually liked the gameplay elements of 2 better, but the story of 1 better. Uh, because the story, like, the elements of 1 were run around, get chased by somebody, flip three switches, or start three generators to open a door. And repeat that for six hours. That's what I felt like 1 was in terms of gameplay. And so I liked the gameplay elements from 2 much better, but the story from 1 was better. Just in my opinion. So... You wrote it down. It's uh, it is it is a freaky game. I'll just post the link here. I didn't know if I could post links in yours, so I didn't want to overstep. But there's a link if you want to check it out. But yeah, it's like this creepy horror. 
Um, it, it's like a picture find kind of thing. Stuff can change while you solve puzzles. The puzzles aren't super difficult, but this game about broke me. I was legitimately struggling to, to, to play it. It was scaring me so bad. So... Uh, you might like this, and if you want your community to help you figure things out, that kind of helps too. <laughs> I'm like, what am I missing, guys? So, but yeah, I have the other one of this to play. There's two of them, and the other one looks pretty freaky, so we'll try that. But yeah, again, welcome in, everyone. If you have any favorite games or game series you would like to chat about, feel free to bring them up. I really do play just about everything and anything, so... I'll be more than happy to talk about any of your favorite game series. So, all right, let's get back into the action. For anybody who is unaware, this game is called Outer Wilds. It is an indie title that's all about exploration mystery. Uh, you are a space faring folk who are out trying to explore their solar system and have come to find out that you are currently in a time loop. And then you're trying to figure out why that is. You're trying to figure out why you're in a time loop uh, why, why everything is the way that it is, basically. And so we are currently exploring stuff, but it is kind of freaky. There's some very scary planets. I only have 60 seconds of oxygen left, which means I'm about to die because I accidentally jettisoned my ship because I'm an idiot. Hi, Dynastic. Good to see you again. Oh, wait, there's, oh, there's trees in here. We're good. We're good. Oh, we have more of these things, too. Oh, nice. Okay, we can get some more information. That's wonderful. But yeah, so we're currently going through Groundhog style, uh, which if anybody doesn't know what that means, we're literally just rotating through the same time loop. 22 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to die, Insightful Rhino. Thank you very much. I never said I was good at this game. Oh, I should have taken the pieces in here. Maybe there would have been more. Okay, well, there is two here. So let's see what we got. Mallow, my better... Oh, wait. No, we already read this. We already read this part. Is this just the same? I guess it is the same symbol that we found in that other room. So, okay. Let me just throw this on here real quick. Is this going to be the same thing? It's not quite the same. Oh, this is a projection of the other room. Oh, I'm such a dingus. So what does this tell us? Got it. I got it. I'm getting it now. Hello, Ellipticus. I think I said that correctly. And of course, wait, did I say, I don't know if I said very much about Misty Rose, but Misty Rose came in yesterday on a raid and they were really, really nice and chit chatted with us. And then I went and checked them out today. And like I said, I was late to stream because of how awesome they were and how awesome their community was. But they were playing Exodate and Outlast 2. They play a lot of JRPGs, but they play a little bit of everything. So please go drop them a follow if you haven't done so already. So, oh, no, 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 you're fine. Please don't apologize. I meant to say if you need a raid and run or anything, please do so. Oh, I'm sorry. Please take care of Baloo. Please take care of Baloo. Aww. And she has a wonderful doggo named Baloo. Congrats on, on the soccer match win, the, the football win. But um, yeah, take care of Baloo. Rube has this as well. Does he really? You have confabulation? That game was horrifying. Like, legitimately, I was scared. That game scared the crap out of me. Dynastic, my day has been really good. Thank you for asking. I can click refuse. I would. That game was terrifying. Mm. <laughs> I do have the Homestead one, but I don't want to play it because it's scary. So. Thanks. Alt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was very scary. Mm. Yeah, because you only got to watch like the little bit of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really messed with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, you, you consider whether you want to accept that or not. <laughs> Hi, Firefair. How are you doing today? Welcome in. But yes, congratulations to uh, the, the soccer slash football win for the Netherlands, since it sounds like they just won. So, very nice. Yes, hugs for the doggo, though. I'm glad you're doing well, Fire. I am very glad you are doing well. I am doing well as well, so thank you for asking. Just trying to uncover the secrets of this game, and it's pretty crazy. So yeah, thanks for asking, welcome in. 
Uh, I have bad news, Avens. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here. I wish I were my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Malo they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. I don't know where this construction yard is. An update. Malo and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Oh, I guess we'd find out more if we went to Giant's Deep. This is going to be a projection to Stone of Giant's Deep. Oh. Oh, but this looks fine. Whatever this is. It looks like it's on the far side of the big. That kind of looks like the... No, I can't tell completely. Alright, so what does this do then? Oh god, oh god. Okay, hang on, go back up for a second. Okay, so we saw the projection there. We got the information there. We got that. I feel like I'm still missing a tablet. Let me go back for a second. Because I think the only other thing was that it led outside. But let me double check it. Hi, Xena. How are you? Did you get your laptop fixed? I wanted to weigh in, but we all know that I have way too many problems with uh, sound issues. And I probably would not have been able to help, so... Fuel levels critical shoot. Okay, no, that just leads outside. I just wanted to triple check before I did what I was gonna do next. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, Firefair. Thank you oh, very much. I hope you enjoy your time around here. I will do my best to entertain and not be very stupid. <laughs> Yeah, right now we're playing some Outer Wilds. Tomorrow we'll be back on some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm currently playing through the DLC of that for the first time. And of course, we've got a lot of other games upcoming in the near future. Well, that's... We know what that is. That's... That's Ash. The Ash Twin. Still don't know how to get into the fire or the sun one. We can take it to get to the giant's deep now though. Shit. Okay. Alright, no more using fuel. Let's see what this shows us. Oh wait, could I have read something or is that just showing? I don't know. That showed us what happened to the cannon when it fired. We did actually see like a bright blue thing go past us. Oh, I can read this. Orbital probe cannon construction compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon launch received. Okay, hang on. Let me pull this back for a second because I didn't actually translate that other stuff like I should have. I'm glad to hear that, Firefair. I like to think we have a pretty cool community. I'm, uh, I'm pretty biased, but you know. <laughs> I think we have a pretty cool community. Wait, this one's not activated. Oh, there it goes. 13 minutes, 18 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Okay, well, this is a counter. This is literally how long we have left. So we still have nine minutes left. I don't know where my ship is now. Where is my ship? Oh, my ship is 2.4 kilometers that way. Um, got a feeling we are not getting back in the ship this time, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. That ship is way gone. 
I could go down to the surface of Giant's Deep, but that sounds like an absolute horrible... What is this? I don't know what this is. I'm not seeing this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I ran into that. What is this? I don't know what this is. That's something I don't recognize. Damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Intact. No structural damage. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. So if we can find the tracking module. This. Is this what gets blasted off? Is it possible to get in our ship quick enough in the beginning? to find that. Is there clues in here to where it could have blasted off to? That's what I'm guessing anyway. I did not, I still have zero sound. That's so weird. I, I wish I could help, but I have no idea. You know how much I hate sound issues, so I wish I could help. The DLC is so big in Odyssey. Fire, it's been awesome. Uh, we just started it on a Wednesday, so I think I'm only like six hours, seven hours in. Uh, we're currently doing the Legacy of the First Blade, and then we'll be doing the Atlantis DLC. So, tired of being in my bedroom. This is my secondary lab sob, so I'm not that worried about it. That's fair, Zena, I gotcha. I'm sorry. How long do you have to be in bed for? Yeah, PJs, my, my ship is definitely far off into space right now. Very far off into space right now. Okay, so this is what this actually looks like. It's not the other cannon. So if I can find this module thingy, we can find where the probe went. That's what it's like alluding to, but it says it's not attached and it doesn't look like it's close by. So I have not played No Man's Sky at all. Mm -mm. I think I own it. I do own it. Yes, of course I own it. I do own it, but I have not played it. Awesome Firefair. Yeah, we played Odyssey as a first play and playthrough on stream two and a half years ago. And then my capture card unfortunately had an issue. Right. Had an issue. Maybe it lands on the planet. Maybe that's what we're supposed to find on the... Maybe that's what we're supposed to find on the... <gasps> I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Oh God. Okay, I, I just wanna go out of here. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't have to go out of here. I Shit, I went the wrong way. I think I just had a click go off. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the Atlantis DLC. I've heard a lot of really good things about that. This, because that indicates... Is that what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, so this is on Giant's Deep surface, I think. I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. The writing's in kid language. Because I think this was part of the canon. Yeah, it looks like it was. Okay, so. Unfortunately, I just have to die this time because my ship is too far. And uh, as much as I would love to just go down to the water planet, I have no fuel or anything to be able to control myself, so we're just going to uh, have to die to the supernova, which should be probably within... Oh, well, there was a lot of... There was a lot of flashing there, I don't even know what that was.
Oh, wait a second. Was this the one we needed? I think that might have been the one we needed. So, yeah. I don't think so, Sherlock. I don't think so. I'm sure I will try it at some point, PJs. Which one does this need to go into? Here? So yeah, that sent a signal to this. That decided to point a specific direction. It then fired, blew up, and now the module has been sent flying, and I think the module is on Giant's Deep. Okay, yeah, we're, we're less than two minutes, well, we're two minutes away from having Supernova anyway, so it's fine. Oh, it's kind of cool seeing Brittle Hollow's thing right there. There, we'll watch the Supernova upside down. Oh wait, never mind, I was upside down before. Well, what even is upside down or right side up? when you are in space. Yeah, because if the loop is 22 minutes, we're about to have it go off anyway. No CD sky. I do want to give it a try at some point. When's the next time it's supposed to have like a bunch of um they do stuff on Twitch, like campaigns for it. Could do it then. I have to be here until I can take the stairs relatively easy. Gotcha. Well, hopefully fast healing, Xena. You will love it. I'm glad to hear it, Fire. I'm looking forward to it. We'll be playing some more of it tomorrow. Still just rotate. It should be any minute now. There, yeah. The, there's the music. I was like, it should be any minute now. And by a minute, really any second now. 20 minutes and 55 seconds ago. It's nice that we had a timer here, so I didn't just have to sit here and wait forever. But okay, we got everything we needed out of this area. We know that we can probably go and find the probe's trajectory module. That will tell us wherever the probe got shot to, which I'm assuming is probably on this planet. We got a lot more to explore in the giants. Giants deep. Ooh, will we get a good view for this or no? Currently we have a sh- oh, we should get it right before it goes off. Maybe. Come on, wrap around. Wait, my ship? Wait, how did my ship end up so- Oh, because we made- No, my ship's right there! Ship, no! That's actually really funny. That we ended up close back to the ship <laughs> after all that. <laughs> uh, oh my ship. Now I can't see it. No. Dang it. Hello, Pegasus. You're just in time for us to be consumed by a supernova. I didn't even get a good view for it. Lame. Hello. Hello, Miss Pegasus. How are you doing? Ooh, how was Slime Rancher? I feel like we had talked about that once before and that it was like a fun little cozy game. I still have never played that either. But PJs, I hopefully will try it at some point. Again, with me going full-time content creation, it kind of allows me more time to be able to get through things, fingers crossed. So we'll see. Of course, keep in mind guys, the next two weeks I'll still be working like usual. <laughs> So see, it just kind of like shoots off that direction. That looks like the probe itself. A 
Oh, I can't look at my map. Oh, fuck. No, I thought I could look at the map. No. I can wait all these two weeks. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. You funny. It's purp- it's that purple thing still. Wait, is that the probe still? Wait, can I get to that? Can I look at that? Can I look at that? Hang on! Wait! Hang on! Hang on everybody! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! I'm going straight towards that. This is a very stupid idea. Hey god, wait, wait, wait. I know there was a raid of- But, but there- This probe just got- It looks like the probe. I just went straight into space. I did not give any craps. I'm chasing it. There's something red right there. I don't care about that though. I'm chasing the probe. Okay, I'm gonna stop chasing the probe for a second. <laughs> Let me say hi to everybody real quick. We had the double raid. Pegasus, thank you so much for the raid. And Smuggy Streams, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm going to give Maracas for the double raid. Pegasus, how was Slime Rancher? Welcome in, lovely. For those of you who don't know Miss MDS Pegasus, let me tell you she's been around this community for a long time and is an awesome variety content creator. Recently, she's been playing Ellie Noir, which has really got me wanting to play it again soon. So welcome in, Miss Pegasus and Raiders. How are you doing? Fire Fair, have a good lurk. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yep. You might have to wait a little bit longer, PJs. Just a little bit longer. Hello, Frigid. Welcome back. For, wait. Oh, it was definitely not Spur of the Moment, you Blackbird. If you're talking about the content creation thing, hell no. That's been pondered upon for a long time. Lady Nutmeg, welcome in. Smuggy, thank you so much for the raid. How was Chained Together? I have seen quite a bit on this, and a lot of people are wanting me and my... My better half to try it together. Uh, how was chained together? How high did you all get? Did you get past some checkpoints? Did you make it all the way to the top? How did it go? Um, Pegasus says Slime Rancher was great. Here, I'm going to turn on this music real fast. The only reason why I'm not playing the game at the moment is that uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Outer Wilds is a game that continues going. And so if I don't actually have it pause, it's just going to keep going on my timer. And I kind of, I kind of need kind of need all the time I can get. So apologies for pausing it for just a second, but we'll be back to the game after I catch up. Oh, uh, there we go. Hello, Incredible Bulk, welcome back. The Slime Rancher was great. We progressed a little bit and we found more slimes that will help us progress through the story, I think. We were playing Witcher 3 earlier, but it was either game crashing or storm knocked out my power. Oh no, that's unfortunate, Pegasus. I'm sorry that happened. Still want to get to Witcher 3 at some point. But yeah, Slime Rancher sounds like a good time too. Well, thank you for bringing your community over. I appreciate it. And of course, Smuggy and Pegasus, if you need to raid and run, if you need to go get food or anything, please take care of that. Smuggy, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Do not play Chain together. Why not? I love a challenge, okay? Three weeks, drive a hard bargain. Uh-huh, PJs, uh-huh. Never get changed to Frigid. Oh, okay. That's the caveat. Smuggy's like, hang on. You can play the game. Just don't be attached to Frigid. 676 meters, just over a quarter of the way. I have vertigo so bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Frigid kept killing you guys. Wow. Everybody's against Frigid on this one. Goodness. Okay. So don't get chained to Frigid. Got it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Smuggy, if you want to let my community know the next time that you are streaming Pegasus as well, uh, just to get people to know you, Smuggy, then uh, please do. So, oh goodness. Oh goodness. See, I like challenging games. It's hard to do with, uh, with others. Um, Rube and I have to play, oh good lord, why am I forgetting? Bread and Fred together. And kind of is a whole chain together kind of situation so all right we're gonna go ahead and hop back into some more gameplay Ugh, i'm just chasing this probably i cannot catch that can i uh-huh okay so the probe just kept going okay all right so i did chase the probe i chased the probe actually you can still see it on the map that's crazy so there goes the probe that was randomly fired. I guess, ugh, just take me to, dang it, just, yeah, just take me to Giant's Deep, that's fine. 
I tried to follow it. I saw the probe and it just kind of keeps going, which is interesting. I thought they said that they were close to the universe's eye here though. So it's really weird that they wanted to probe the chute so far away. So interesting. But yes, welcome in again, everyone. Feel free to stick around as little or as long as you like. We are playing a game called Outer Wilds. It is an indie game. It is very fascinating. Okay, can't go to the red thing because I was told not to. That's, that's DLC. But yeah, we are playing a game called Outer Wilds and it's all about cycles and trying to figure out what happened uh, to our our solar system. Oof, being on the backside is scary of that because I want to be able to see. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to go into this too quickly. Okay, go for it. Spliggity splash. Woo! And choo! All right, I gotta find the other islands. Okay, that is Dude's Island. Yes, that's Dude's Island. Um, so there's two islands. One had the statue island on it, but we're still missing one too. I don't know where it could be. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is the one. Hang on, is that a different island than the one we went on before? Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is the one that I was most curious in. I don't know how to land here, but I need to make sure that I'm... Yes, I want to make sure my ship does not get ejected. Okay. No! Fuck. I'm not in a suit again. Oh my god, I've done it twice now. Ah! I'm so upset with myself. Sorry, for anybody who doesn't realize what just happened, uh, I forgot to put my suit on. Um, which means I couldn't breathe. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> He's great to play with on that game if you like falling. Well, I don't think the point of that game is to fall, Incredible Bulk, so I think I'll stay away from that. But, yeah. Gus, welcome back. I hope you're doing well still. <laughs> Daddy wisdom. Your top tips are spot on today, sir. See, that's something. I wonder where that's going to. Hang on, can I? There's something else that's getting like blasted, but it's getting blasted so fast that I don't think I can see it anyway. Gosh dang it, I am such a dingus. I can't believe I've done that twice now. I can't believe I've done that twice. Actually, I can totally believe I've done that twice now. See, there goes the probe. It's gone. Yee, oh. Yeah, goodbye little probe. Uh, I saw something else, but I don't even know where it flew off to. Okay, suit on. Being a big old dangus. Question mark, right. Yeah, and we don't know what the construction yard is either, because we haven't found that. Oh, so many places to go. Yeah, no, I'm so upset. Well, I don't think that uh, that planet has an atmosphere I can breathe in, E Blackbird. So, yeah. Hi, Glass Joe. How are you doing? Ah, oh, I'm so upset with myself. I'm so dumb. Okay, there's still so many places I can go and so many, like, little ideas in my head. The broken remains of the Nomai space station is orbit around Giant's Deep. There are three access branching off from the central hub. 
Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Again, follows are anonymous unless I've seen you say something in chat, but I appreciate every follow. So I hope you enjoy your time here. <laughs> Texas, every atmosphere is braveable if you're brave enough. I don't know if that's how that works, friend. I don't think that's how that works, but you know, maybe. How about you try it out first? If, are you braver than me? Because how about you try it out and you let me know how it goes <laughs> and then we're good. Okay, the orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. But it's getting shot like way far off. But of course, that might just be a mistake. Oh, no, I'm a notorious coward. Okay, fair enough. We can be a cowards together. <laughs> yes, don't try to breathe. Play more Blitzball in Final Fantasy X. You might be able to hold your breath longer. Hey, I went out a winner, Glass Joe. I think you're just still a little upset with me that I beat the, the Blitzball game that was like insanely hard and then I retired because I didn't want to lose. Okay. Um, push the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Well, it was just like getting shot out into nowhere. I thought it was supposed to be here, like somewhere in this solar system. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Any Nomai aboard the probe tracking module will be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. A Nomai computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. Yeah, that's super helpful. Uh, the launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A Nomai named Malo argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised since they only needed to fire the probe once. Uh, a Nomai named Privets, Privet, uh, countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed, which it did get launched somewhere, which I think is what I was just trying to get to. So I have not yet, Arcane. I have not yet. It's currently sitting in my living room. <laughs> so I have not yet. That's going to be an undertaking. I don't even know how many hours that's going to take. Quite a few. I still have the other one that I got that I haven't built yet either. So. Because I also ordered the Medieval Village as well. So I need, to do, I need to build both of those. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage uh, is detected in multiple modules. Right. Okay, so now we know about that. Okay, the construction yard is on Giant's Deep. Right, okay. Okay. All right. Good Lord, I don't even know where to start with right now. We need to go back here. We need to go to so many places. feeling slightly overwhelmed now with what I wanted to actually do. Alright, going back to Ember Twins. Or the, uh, at the Hourglass Twins is what it's called. Getting more comfortable with that. Tex, how are you doing, by the way? The village looked really cool, Arcane. That was the other one I decided to get since Insaniac was insanely generous um, after having Rube's whole flight thing happen. Ooh. Ooh, wow, I am such a good pilot. I am such a good pilot. Boop. Such a good pilot. I have my thing on this time. We're fine. Oh. Doink. There we go. Go. So it says we still have stuff to find in the city. 
I thought I explored most of the city, but the caves and stuff I haven't really explored a whole lot. But the cave systems are hard to like figure out where to explore. So I'm a little worried about trying to find that. Where's this go? Okay, that's the overlook, right? I'm gonna go to the other cave entrance and see what we can find. I guess I could go all the way to the bottom again. I don't know if that'll lead to anything else, but we may as well try it. Cause like, I think it, it, I already went to the most important thing. So I don't even know if this will lead to anywhere else or like if there's anything else that would be good. Like, is there gonna be anything here to explore? Like, here's some torches. Where's this go? Okay, I don't know where this leads. Unless this leads to back here, which is Stepping Stone Cave. Also leads down there. We don't need that though. What we need to find is the lake bed cave. I wonder if we can ask chart anything about that. I don't think so though. It didn't give me an option before. Oh god, that was dumb. Because we need to check out more of the quantum cave. We also need to check out... Maybe I can get to it from here? Does this also lead back to that? I don't think it would. I'd be surprised if it did. No, I don't think it's going to. Shoot. This is when it starts getting me a little like, ugh. Hi, Blinker! Like, I'm not sure, um, like, what, if what I'm doing is the right thing. If that makes sense. Like, there's so many things I could look into. But I'm like, I know there's stuff here on Ember that I still need to find. But the problem is I don't know exactly, like, where to find it. So it's uh, stressful. Hello, Flanker. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Laz. Hello, Akel. Hello, Kaz. Flop. How are you all doing today? Flanker, the man, the myth, the legend himself, whom I've gotten to meet in person. He's a really awesome gentleman. Him and his partner are fantastic people. And we really, 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 really all want to go to Bread Meets Bread again. Because it was so good. I don't care how many times I see Flanker, we're going to talk about Pet Shop Simulator. Tell me about Pet Shop Simulator, because that sounds like something I would totally play. Is this something I need to buy today? I've been on a kick of wanting to play Sim games lately. I do have the clothing store sim game that uh, I'm gonna at least try on stream in the next like week or two. Because we haven't done an Indiscovery Day in a while, and uh, I do have some games for an Indiscovery Day. And clothing store simulator was one of them. So we'll have to check it out. Who did you meet? Hi Waggly! Flanker is indeed a gentleman. Also, Flanker was buying me like all sorts of candies and sweets. Maybe he was just trying to get on my nice side. <laughs> he knows I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> Over there sending me like caramels and, and, and little gummies and all this stuff. Hi, Holy Cookie, how are you doing? Good to see you. Wagley, I hope you're doing well. You didn't get a croissant loaf. What the heck? Why didn't you give a croissant loaf? 
I also got crumpets and oh, no, no, not crumpets. Welsh cakes. Was it Welsh cakes? Flanker's really neat. He can pixelate his face, so you never know his true identity. It's true. It's very, very true. Okay, so hang on. I want to see. Can I like do this real fast? And then I want to look at this. And then can I like mark this? Mark. I can't mark that because I don't know where it is. Um. We've already been to that. I, I've already found everything there. See, it says there's still stuff to find here, but I swore I've like scanned everything that I could find. Guess I'm missing something, obviously, but yeah. Clothing store sim, pet shop sim, supermarket sim with the update. <gasps> there's an update? Hold up. There's an update supermarket sim? Cause I was just, I wouldn't say complaining, but I was just talking about it the other day, how there hadn't been a update to it. <gasps> they have an update. The long awaited update has arrived. Sorry, I know we're in the middle of a game, but I'm checking this out. <laughs> the long awaited update has arrived. As I said before, it took some time to build a team and now we're back in the game. Thank you for your patience and support. I hope you enjoy the update. What's new? They can, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. Modified restocker steak boxes from the ground too. Oh my God. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna play so much. Added more sections for storage area. Cool. Customization. Cool. Move entrance. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Okay. Painting walls. Adding flooring. New. Oh, look at that. It's so fancy. New shelves, fridge, freezers, and color variations. And there's more. Optimizations. Added a large rack. Oh, that's nice. Changed the small rack model, separated the storage lights, control, edited product placements and boxes. So the last product is in the box easier. Oh my God, they listened. They listened to us. Uh, added placement zone to spots lights, fix customers paying less than they should. Excuse me? Excuse me? NPCs getting stuck on navigation. I never actually had that bug, but I saw other people did. Fixed loan payments are sent even after payoff early or completed. Gotcha. Well, that's exciting. I didn't know there was an update for it. Guess who needs to reinstall Supermarket Sim? Cool. And wait, you said Pet Shop Simulator too. What is Pet Shop Simulator? Pet Shop Simulator. That bunny looks kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. That is a creepy looking bunny. So, oh, it just came out. You know what? I'll add it to my wish list. I'll take a look at it later. All right. Anywho, <laughs> let me uh, let me go put supermarket sim. I hope that my save was a cloud save because if it wasn't, I do not want to start supermarket sim over from the beginning. If you know what I'm saying. So, unrelated. But when is your birthday? <laughs> uh, well, my half birthday. No, actually, it's been a little over my half birthday. My birthday is five months away minus one day. And that's a difficult way of saying December 5th. So we just passed July 5th. So yesterday it would have been five months away. Welsh cakes were good. I liked them, Wagley. Those were really good. Flanker is mean. What do you mean? Flanker is not mean at all. Oh, wait. Flanker is withholding your birthday croissant loaf. Flanker, what the heck? You can rename. That's so cool. Thank you for letting me know. How was your stream though? Everybody, if you're not already following I'm a flanker, please do so. Please remedy that fact right now. Right. Remediate that fact. Just please go follow him. <laughs> Cause flanker's really awesome. Uh, wonderful streamer out of the UK. Plays a wide variety of things. Most of what he plays on stream, there are some exceptions like Supermarket Sim, but most of what he plays on stream is played with community. So if you've ever seen any community games ever like Age of Empires, Northgard, Ready or not, Call of Duty, DMZ, whatever it is, he'll play a multiplayer and you can play along with him and it's a lot of fun. So please go check him out. Why did I think it was September 5th? I have no idea. No, I'm a December baby. You already follow Flanker then? Then what I recommend, Mr. Caveman Rube, is that you go and watch him whenever you have ample opportunity to. How much is he paying you? <laughs> I did. Wait. Oh, you guys. Wagley got a caterpillar cake? I, I got a tiny, I got a mini calling the caterpillar. Yeah. Maybe I should put more sweets on my throne wish list. That's what I should do. Just nothing but sweets 
And then Rube will be mad at me because I told him I was going to try to eat less sugar and all I've been thinking about today is that I want ice cream. However, I think that's more of a lady issue than anything else at the moment. Anywho, moving on. Um, so I'm going to go to the quantum caves. <laughs> or at least try to find the quantum caves. Thank you again, Flanker. If you do need a raid and run, get some stuff taken care of or anything else. Please take care of you and what you need to get done first. But yes, everybody welcome in. Happy to have you. You all may as well hang out as little or as long as you'd like as well. I am going to play this lovely little game and try to figure out this whole time loop thingamajigger. Um, hang on. Let me, let me land like right here because there was a, there's a thing. I do like a quick boop landing and I'm just like out. Yeah, because this is the quantum cave. So I didn't see anything in here. Hello, quantum rock. Can I like stand on the rock? What happens if I don't look at the rock and then I... Oh. Well, I can stand on it and it doesn't go anywhere. What if I put a probe on the rock? What happens then? Ooh. Oh no, I didn't mean to bring it back. Damn it. Well, I fucked up. Okay. I read this once before, though. I just think I missed it. Maybe I can go below. We'll see. Waggly got a big one. That's nice. Just bought orange ice cream. Very nice. Cecil not a Colin. Ah, well, that's the funny thing, Waggly, is I didn't know what the point of a Colin caterpillar cake was. And then, like, while we were on the train to Edinburgh, I, like, looked it up, and it's, like, every every store has their own version of a, of a caterpillar cake now. So it's from Weight Rose, the even poshier Colin. Uh-huh. <laughs> While you're doing that, what do you want for dinner? And don't say ice cream. But what if I really want ice cream? <laughs> um, ice cream for dinner? For dessert dinner? We can go champagne <laughs> as ice cream and, and dinner. I don't know. We can do that. Yeah say shaved ice oh we said shaved ice the other day and he didn't want any and i didn't go get any <laughs> uh, so funny yeah Ooh, pizza lurk nice robco enjoy your pizza i totally believe that akel 100 percent. hi malk how are you doing caterpillar cake is great i had the tiny colin caterpillar but i haven't had a true caterpillar cake Warm creamsicles. Creamsicles are nice. Yeah, you probably heard him laugh. The funny thing is the first time I was listening, I heard like a very loud <sighs> sound where you could just hear him like heave his, his, his upsetness. And then, yeah. And then he laughed after the second part of that. I don't know. What are you hungry for? I'm glad you're doing well, Mal. Thank you for lurking. Right. Yes. Wait a second. Some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search. Right. Right. Yes. Caves Geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. You disappeared in a cave at the bottom of dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant. But I don't know where the North Pole is. I turned away from it to examine a sample and I turned back. He simply wasn't there anymore. He had limited supply of air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Northern lake bed. The problem is I don't really know where this northern lake bed place is. I can't zoom anymore, unfortunately. Oh, hey. There's, there's the moon. The moon that just loves to be 
everywhere. It's <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna find that at. Well, we're gonna try though. You don't know? That's not very helpful. You still want fried chicken? I don't blame you. Fried chicken is great, Scarlet. What's up, Darth Bacon? How are you doing? Fly through the shadow of the valley of death and fear no evil, for I am at 90,000 feet and climbing. Whew. What are you up to? I found something. Okay, nothing. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, yeah, that doesn't help me at all. Where's fuel? Fuel, that's the whole reason I came over here. Okay, it says north. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to tell? Is this supposed to be the ancient, like, bed up here? I think it is, but... I then don't know. Like, I, I would need to come here immediately. Like, split second. Now I think I understand the purpose of the bed. I think I finally understand the purpose of the bed. Because before I was like, why would you want to sleep unless you were waiting for something to happen? And now I realize that if I, like, can't get to what I want to get to, that then waiting to and just like dozing to wait is a lot faster so that makes more sense eh, where's my where's my ship okay we're good what's up Thalrim how are you doing been a minute been a hot minute well I've been right here <laughs> how are you doing Thalrim Dunkin' coffee and eating bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. I'll take a bacon and a coffee. Rube apparently doesn't know what to eat for lunch or dinner, so. Waffle House, Rube. We'll go to Waffle House. They don't have ice cream. Never mind. I don't want to go to Waffle House. Okay, that didn't lead anywhere. I pay more for just a style back in Canada than I paid for a full highlight here. I better get pictures of that, Scarlet. I hop. Does I does I hop have ice cream? <laughs> we can go to I hop. I'm just getting ice cream afterwards. Um. I still haven't been able to figure out the sun station thing yet, which we can try to figure out. Because last time I was panicking trying to do this. Clearly this is for the sun station. I don't think my ship will get taken, will it? It might. Ah. Ooh, ah. Oh, Lord, new. That was a bad parking job, it's fine. There's no gravity here. See, there's a thing right there. It looks kind of deep. I need to figure out how to get to that. You need to figure out how to get to that. Oh yeah, it was there, but I couldn't like... <sighs> Yeah, we read this really quick the first time. Oh, excuse me. Can I like go through here or am I 100% dead if I try to go through here? I think it's like a jumping puzzle. I think I can get around. Okay, fuck it. Oh 
Okay. I don't know if that's how that was supposed to work, but that's fine. Sun Tower offline as of two. What? <laughs> streaming. I did send you a picture. Thank you. I send you what I paid for too. Wait, what you paid for? What do you mean what you paid for? Why did Twitch give me a notification? Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. Um, hang on. This is important. Importante. Ooh, that looks pretty. I like it. Oh, that's very reasonably priced. Yeah, no, that's very reasonably priced. Mm hmm. No, I think that's reasonably priced. I mean, my hair, my hair, like, this is a lot of highlights compared to yours. So, like, mine is st still, like, double that. But for, for what you're getting there, I definitely think that's a good deal. Okay, well, the shitty thing is we can't go here where I wanted to go. Yeah, get me back inside. Okay, but I know I can get there now, so that's an important thing. That we, we did learn. Wasn't. Whoops. Wasn't. What is. Wasn't exactly what I wanted, but we did learn. Actually, I just thought of something. You know what? I don't want to do that. Yep, nope, we're going home for a minute. I'm glad that didn't do very much damage. Boop. <laughs> um, that was a hell of a boop. I uh, did not reverse <laughs> nearly fast enough. <laughs> Whoopsies. Do you actually want IHOP, Rube? I was just being silly, but we could totally have IHOP if you want. Good morning, Violet Derp. How are you? We have done... Hang on. I want to do something real quick. I keep saying that. Dairy Queen? Well, I can get ice cream at Dairy Queen afterwards. <laughs> okay, yeah. So nothing more there. That's fine. I was just double checking. And nothing more there. Okay. I'm back. At least I still haven't killed myself with the elevator like apparently half the chat has. Who played this game. It's the Waffle House alternative that likely has ice cream. I could always get ice cream afterwards. That's our pilot, ready to get this beauty off the ground? Uh, um, you're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. That's fair. I like how I still have my suit just equipped. Do I die if I go in the geyser? Let's find out. Wee! <laughs> OK, 
Like, I wasn't actually expecting to find anything down here. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Okay, can't go that way, it doesn't look like. I wasn't actually expecting to find anything here. Hello, Hasso. Um, quite a bit, depending on when you dipped out. We have found some discoveries. Um, I can't do what I want to do right now, so I was being silly and I went in a geyser. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting there to be stuff in the said geyser, so I'm just being silly at the moment. <laughs> but yes, if you do want to catch up on anything you missed, uh, there is of course the VOD on both. Oh wait, but there was another hole over there. I could go that way. Wait a second, I want to see where that goes. Ah! Oh, we're going back down. <laughs> ah, yeah, so you can watch either the Twitch or the, the YouTube one. Where does this go? This looks dangerous. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, oh god. No, Bob, we go! Dang it. I wonder if there is actually like something down there if you can bot, like dodge all the geysers. So yeah, I'm being a little silly at the moment because I, uh, I missed my window of opportunity. I'm trying to get into the sun station. I now know that I can. So we're going to. That's where I'm going immediately after the next. Oh no! It's amazing I don't die more in this game. What's up? I like to roast a marshmallow with you. We're gonna try not to burn the marshmallow. Rube, we can eat whatever you possibly want to eat. You want a steak and some lobster? We'll go eat some- No! Well, we will still go eat some steak and lobster, but you know what? What if I just like utterly thrash the hell out of this thing? Oh, it just disappeared. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's very fair. So... <sighs> Yeah, no, he's only been, I think, once. Violet Derp, how are you doing today, by the way? But Rube, if you would like a steak, we'll go get you a steak. If you want IHOP, we'll go get you IHOP. You want a giant pretzel, I'll go get you a giant pretzel. Why do I not have the pretty music playing? Are we already too late? Yes, we are. God damn it, it's still lit on fire. Fine, I'm eating it anyway. Oh. Absolutely, Scarlet. I already told you. And then you were like, there's nothing in Arkansas. So you know what? No. I'm a zombie today. Fair enough. Fair enough, Violet Dirt. Thing. It's like right over here somewhere, I thought. Here, we'll just watch right here. Perfect. Is that the quantum moon? 
What the fuck is the quantum moon doing right there? The quantum moon just seems to chill when the sun blows up, so... Nah, I'd take him to a good restaurant, Glass Joe. Or your Cajun Asian fusion. Cajun Asian fusion, wow. That sounds like something. It was romantic and sweet, uh huh. I don't even know the last time I've seen one of those, Glass Joe. You could be tempted by steak? Hang on, tempted by steak? You, you don't, you wouldn't just take a steak? You have to be tempted by it first? Chat, I just asked him if he wanted steak and he's over here like, I could be tempted. I could be tempted to have steak. I'll tell you what. I would take a steak if one was offered to me. Now he's learning. Thank you, Scarlet. I appreciate it. I was thinking, damn, like we haven't had like a nice meal, like a real, like, when I say a nice meal, I've cooked for him several times and stuff, but you know, that's just okay. I haven't taken him to like a nice steak restaurant or anything since he's been here this time around, so. So why not go to a steak restaurant or something? You know, have, have us have a nice meal. Me some meal or something, and he just over here like, no. Wait, has the ash planet not even started? I don't even know that I knew that the ash planet didn't just start that way. Ash planet, I need you to start going cuz I I what the hell I literally don't know that I never realized that it didn't just start There it goes. Okay. Damn, so I could get to the ember place really quick. If I wanted to. And we're just gonna follow this around until we see the opening that I need. Because it follows the line. I'm actually confused about the ember planet then because I was trying to find that oh I think I get it now okay because I also still need to this is where I need to be all right we're just gonna chill here until we see enough of this I just want to be far enough away that I don't get sucked up either Okay, but anyway, we're where we need to be as early as I can possibly be here, and the second the doorway opens, I'm going for it. But, um, what was I saying before that? Oh yeah, I need to go back to the ember place to see about that lake bed thing. We'll see. Yeah, I just have to wait until... Just have to wait. Just have to wait. See, there's the station we're trying to get to. You can actually see it on the map right there by the sun. I am just waiting patiently. Not so patiently, but trying to wait patiently. Hey, there's the interloper. We didn't figure that out last time either. Whoa, why am I so floaty? There, stay. Stay ship. We didn't figure out the interloper thing either. I'm gonna keep an eye on the column of sand that's gonna come for my soul here in a minute. Yep, 
this is where I need to be. Okay, it's coming up. It should be right there. Bloop. Like a little skeeter thing. I love the designs of everything in the game. They're so unique. Something like this is really cool. Plus it brings different gameplay mechanics. It's really cool what they did with that. Okay, the front entrance has been eliminated, so... There's the back entrance, that's what we need. So, get out. Refill our shit, we're good. The second this is open. Which it is now. Go, 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 go. Oh, you can even get across this. <gasps> That's what you were supposed to do. Ow, you bitch. I still got punctured on the very last thing. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, I should probably open this. Just in case. Did you laugh at me getting my suit punctured? Fuck. <laughs> uh, alt? I would recommend messaging butter. Butter cream cake. And... Shoot. Okay, so we're probably gonna burn alive very soon. So let's uh, let's try to get anything we can out of this because we have not been here before. Two hundred eighty-one thousand forty-two years ago, no user commands received for ten minutes. All systems entering sleep. Two hundred eighty-one thousand years ago. That is a long time ago. Hmm. What's up, Organic? How are you doing? Yeah, dig deeper. Yeah, Buddha would know more than anyone. So, oh, Roop said the same thing. Oh, no. Six minutes, 39 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station, whole integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Opens emergency doors. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are a hundred percent about to die, aren't we? Whew! Thread that like a fine needle. Okay, mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in... Wait. Science compels us to explode the song. Oh, why is it so loud? Jesus. The music increased heavily here. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. Yeah, we kind of already figured that stuff out. Is there any other scrolls? Again, we gotta go quickly for whatever's here. So we have a very limited time. Hey, another statue. So this is the fourth statue we've... Well, yeah, fourth statue. Third statue. Fourth statue. Fourth statue in the world. So the sun is going to consume us here. Do you 
music? Do you have to be so loud? Are you telling me that we're gonna die, like, very, very soon? Is the music here also a countdown? Probably. Oh, shit. Star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Too late. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star. Three minutes and 14 seconds. Approximate time until star's death. 14 minutes and 44 seconds. Which doesn't make any sense. Because it shouldn't blow up that quickly. It shouldn't become a supernova that quickly. I've already accepted this is where we're going to die one of our times. So... That doesn't really make any sense. Okay. It's like a knowledge versus star debate. And there's another statue. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There was infinitesimally small surface level change but they were barely visible even to the third eye the sun station is useless it will never and could never cause the sun to explode i don't know what comes next my friends i suppose we must start over but i'm unsure how to start over return to ash twin first my friend perhaps a change of task will help spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate Hi. I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is idea? We're well. Yarrow, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work wasn't was finished. Well, we're about to be encapsulated by the sun. I did! I got here! I figured it out. I feel like I should have figured it out sooner, but... There wasn't any other scrolls, right? I want to make sure I've gotten everything here so that I don't have to try to come back here. But I think we found everything. I'm fine with just having the sun take us over. I could have made it back, but... I was just really checking to make sure there wasn't anything else here. So they're claiming that they didn't do anything. Wow, oh, voice crack. Uh, didn't do anything to accelerate the sun. But I'm not so sure, because why would it go from a red giant to a supernova in a matter of minutes? At least from what we understand now, that's not, that's not a thing, right? It takes millions of years for that to actually finish. They have a lot of these things. Lore! We love the lore! Alright, well, we are about to get raided. Um, we're about to die, just so everybody's aware, but um, we're gonna go out in a blaze of fire, so we got that going for us, which is nice. So this is a good time to get raided, so I can say hi. Um, yeah, welcome in, raiders. How are you doing today? Lamb Ram, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Skolden, how are you doing? Errol, welcome back. Lamb Ram, what were you up to today? That was some Daisy. I tried Daisy once on, um, God, was that a ZF server or not? I don't remember. Uh, was it? I think it was. I don't remember if I played on the I just remember trying it and failing miserably because I had no idea what was happening. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not very good at Daisy. 
<laughs> welcome in Lamer and welcome in Raiders. How are y'all doing today? My name is CD. I'm a variety streamer from Arkansas in the US. And I am playing Outer Wilds, an indie exploration mystery game, and it's been incredible. Uh, close, we're getting closer and closer to figuring out stuff. A clearly Golden and Lamram have played this before, because I feel like everybody that's played it before has that. So, ah oh shit, I think I forgot to launch last time too. But welcome in, happy to have you. How was DayZ? How was this stream? Of course, if you do need to take care of everything, please do. Uh, Lamrim was introduced to us. I think Living originally recommended Lamrim over to us, but they were playing some Skyrim. I've seen them play Phasma. I've seen them play DayZ. I've seen them play a lot of different things. So if you all like variety, please go check them out. If I'm not mistaken, they're based out of the UK, uh, but really cool person. So please go follow them. Uh, the flame did not grant us strength. No, I was willing to go down with the flame on that one. But yeah, welcome in everyone. Stay as little or as long as you like. Uh, we have been slowly but surely learning stuff. Uh, and so I, I'm, I'm getting there, I think. I don't know. I've died quite a few times. I need to get there. So I need to do another launch because I forgot to do the launch before that. So my launch is maybe slightly off. This game is hmm, pain. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see why. It's scary as shit. <laughs> I, I don't like the openness of space and no other game had really given me that feeling except for Subnautica. And honestly, I didn't even mind Subnautica that much. But like the second I get out of my spaceship and like I'm exposed to the elements, I'm like freaking out, man. So I'm doing my best to, to navigate and uh, not get the shit scared out of me. Oh, we're fine. That wasn't that bad of a landing. Could have been worse. It said something about, no, go, come on, come on, go faster. Must go faster, must go faster. I don't care. I'm bonking on purpose. I'm just trying to get out of my ship. Go, go, go. Cause it said something about a lake bed. I don't have my suit on. Fuck. I'm forgetting I'm distracted, okay? Wow, I'm hearing massive... <sighs> I was excited because I know what I want to do and I rushed it, okay? I still haven't died to the elevator, all right? I still haven't had that death. I won't have that death. I refuse to have the elevator death. Because <laughs> apparently that happens to so many people. Give me my suit, damn it. I got excited and I was talking and stuff. There's, do not tell me I missed anything. Okay, I didn't. I was gonna be so upset. Sun Station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Nomai fired the Sun Station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the Sun Station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the Sun Station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comets. According to the Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Yeah, but it's still weird to go from giant to supernova so quickly. But maybe it just is a thing and I just have to deal with it. And no matter what we do, we're never gonna be able to keep the sun from stopping. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out, so. Daddy Wisdom, you are correct, <laughs> so correct. Jay Snackies, how are you? How was more Final Fantasy yesterday? I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. Yep. I flow. What was bad is I had never done that. The entire first stream, I never died once that way. I may have died three times now by not putting on the suit. Three times today. Because I'm dumb. <sighs> anyway, I have the suit on this time. Buckle up, bitches. Gosh sakes, I cannot believe my stupidity. Good lord. I know, but I was so good at putting the suit on. And then I've done it three times. Hey, there's the quantum moon. We want to try to land on it? I think it'd be a terrible idea. Hi, quantum moon. Hang on, I just got to keep you in my eyesight, right? Nope, nope, we're not going to. It's not going to happen. Whee, we're coming in hot. Ooh, boy. 
We're coming in way too hot there for a second. I still haven't landed on the quantum moon yet. I don't quite understand it yet, but we'll get there. Wait a second, hang on. No, do not go into that, okay. Okay, let's try this again without the oops. Okay, not the smoothest landing, but where I'm supposed to be? I don't even know. Am I gonna get stuck down here? Probably. Yup. There's no way I survive this, is there? They said somewhere at the lake bed. I cannot find some of the stuff they're referring to. I thought this is the north part of the thing. Well, I tried to get down here as fast as possible, but it still didn't lead to anything I thought it would. And there's stairs down here, so I thought it would be something, unless that's just to help you get back up. But uh, I can't figure out the, the lake bed or the freaking quantum caves bullshit. Cannot figure that out. Okay, hang on. Get back in this. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Flo. I'm glad I'm not the only one, even if I'm a big old dingus and I did it three times today, having never done it before. I am glad I am not alone. Oh, hang on. Refill that. That's better. Aw, welcome back, Misty. I hope Baloo is all right. I'm glad to hear it's still good, <laughs> Snackies. I'm glad to hear it was still good. Man, we've had raid after raid today. Hello, Katzenfinger. I know I still can't say the name properly, so everybody can come in and laugh at me because I'm really bad at pronunciations, especially if not anything out of English. And I suck at English, so Naked Beer, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yes, let's get this. <laughs> let's do this again without the oops. It's a classic line. We still need to watch Independence Day. I've, we talked about it yesterday and then we didn't end up watching it. Or two days ago. Let's do that again without the oops. Yeah, yes. Without the oops. Canadian Tom, welcome in. A fan out in destruction formation, boys. Just like Cat sort of does too. Oh, shit. Guys, they coming in. They mean business. Ooh, you were playing Pacific Drive. I have that on my list to play as well. What do you think of it? Sorry, I'm just all over the place. Hi, Raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety streamer from Arkansas in the US. And around these parts, we play everything from old games to new games, indie title to AAA, um, action adventure to RPG, Souls-like, mystery, exploration, horror. We literally play everything around here. There's some of the upcoming games, if any of that interests you. That's what we're currently going to be doing throughout the rest of the year. That's not an all-inclusive list, but that is a lot of what we've got coming up. Uh, we're currently doing Outer Wilds, as you can see. We're also playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey's DLC right now, and that's what we'll be continuing tomorrow. And then the next major playthrough is definitely going to be Liza P. I've had that on the backlog far too long. Oh, Subnautica alert. That's, that's nice. Hello, the Inno... Inoculator? Inoculator. Inoculator. No. Inoculator. Inoculator. Sup? <laughs> How are you doing? And Naked Beer, I hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. Cats, thank you so much for the raid. Everybody, please go check out Cats. Variety content creator plays all sorts of different stuff. Pacific Drive is really good, but far from difficult for me. Wait, so far, but difficult for me still. I bet. I have heard really, really good things about it. I am. Oh my god. Am I not? Okay. There, I remedy that. I will have to come and pick your brain about more thoughts on it and everything like that to see uh, see if it is as good as they say. I've been wanting to play it for a while though. I did end up picking it up because 
I was curious on it. But I'm really glad that you have been enjoying it, even if it is a bit difficult. Thank you very, very much for the raid. Thank you for bringing the community over here. If you do need to get you some food, raid and run, or take care of anything, please take care of anything that you need to do. Um, currently in Outer Wilds, I was trying to figure out a couple things and am failing to uh, figure out a couple things. Maybe I'll go for the asteroid next. I did try to go for the asteroid originally. And then I wasn't able to find the crevice that I needed to. So, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you familiar with this game, Cats? Have you played this? And if anybody else has played it, uh, do keep in mind it is a first playthrough though, so I am trying to figure things out on my own and all that good jazz, but I would like to know if people have played this. It seems like so many people have and really enjoy it. At the, from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. Is that not the lake bed? I'm so confused on what that means. And I know there's other things I could look into, but I'm really curious about just trying to finish Ember because there are things Let me go back to the cave, I guess. Where's the entrance to that cave? Oh, can I go in there? I can go there. Whoop, whoopsies. I'm glad the ship is pretty durable. I was used to be very gentle with it, but I've kind of noticed you don't have to be. So I haven't been as gentle recently. Thank you, Zeta. Yeah, no, please. Raid, run, lurk, do whatever you need to do. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. I appreciate it. There's been a lot of lovely folks who have been bringing their communities in today. So I really appreciate it. See, I don't know where it is now. It is someplace. Oh, it just moved again. Wait a second. I could use this to try to track where it is actively. Wait, wait, wait. So hang on. I don't know how I get to it, but... So close. Ugh. Ow. Pacific Drive is exploring the Germany or Germany countryside after sundown. <laughs> what can they get up? So I really don't know a lot about Pacific Drive. I've heard it's got like supernatural elements to it, and I've heard it's got quite a bit of um, kind of a spooky factor to it too. But I really don't know a whole lot about it. Shit. I can't, oh my god. Oh, come on, just let me get up here, please. 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 Thank you. Ugh, I might not gonna be able to make that. Oh, please. Please. <laughs> Please! <laughs> no! <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I feel like I'm pretty far in at this point, Canadian Tom. Uh, uh, fuck! I'll give you a synopsis once I get the fuck out of here! We live here now. I don't want to live here. I don't like it here. This place sucks. 
I guess Giant's Deep would be worse, but no, you're joking me! No. <laughs> oh, this game is a troll! <sighs> so, Canadian Tom. <laughs> Ow. Vitals are low, I'm aware. Um. So we fought, we just got to the sun station a minute ago. I've been to Giant Steep like once. I still have not been to Dark Bramble because I kind of refuse to go there. Oh my God, please. <laughs> I kind of refuse to go there right now because I don't want to, it's scary. <laughs> I have not been there at all yet. How do I get in there? Wait, no, how do I actually, what? No, how do I get in there? It says it's like right there. Oh God. <clears throat> How do I? It's, it's like right there. But I can't find an entrance. Feel level critical. My whole person is critical at this point. So, yeah. So to go back to explaining where I am and what I'm doing, <laughs> uh, I'll just let my computer show when I get there, eventually. Where's my ship? It is literally on the other side. I don't know how to get to that cave. Okay, now it's back in the first place. Now it's in a different place. I think it was clever how I figured this out, but... Okay, well now it's not moving. Why aren't you moving anymore? Well, now it doesn't want to move. Thank you. You asshole. <laughs> So now I know approximately where these caves are, but I don't know how to get to them. Now, where did I park my ship? Hey, for the record, I have only lost my ship once. Which is, in my opinion, pretty solid. Yeah, okay, I don't know how to get to any of these caves. That's the confusing part. They're there. There are caves. There are cave entrances. I don't know how to get to them, though. Yeah, I know. I know. 60 seconds of oxygen remaining. I can make it. Probably not, but I can make it. I cannot make it. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I might be able to hear it. At least it's marked on the map, but um, yeah, I'm 100% dead either way, so... <laughs> God, okay. I couldn't find the caves I wanted anyway. So I'll just show you guys my, my map and, and my stuff so that you guys can have an idea of where I am, what I'm doing. Uh, I have a lot of things that I know I can do, but showing you the map will just help. So. Yeah, I hope you brought a good book. We'll be here for a little while. <gasps> yeah, seems like a lovely place, Flo. If you really like sand, I know a good place. Are you getting hungry? Okay. <laughs> we'll probably do one more. One more revolution then. Um, okay, so here's my map. Here's what we got to work with right now. Um, Quantum Moon, don't know shit about it. I need to actually go back to Brittle Hollow because I am there's a pathway I haven't taken yet, and I think it might actually get me to the quantum tower. Uh, I haven't been to the quantum moon yet. I think I have enough information I might be able to get there, but I'm not positive. 
Um, and then we got the Ash Twin project. I did figure out the whole Black Hole Forge thing. And we do know how the Ash Twin Towers work with all of the... All of the teleporters. So I do know how that works. Uh, we have barely scratched the surface of Giant's Deep. We've only been there a little bit. And we were able to go into the orbital probe cannon and we need to get the tracking module, which I think might be on Giant's Deep. And I started trying to work on that. And um, yeah, didn't get very far with that yet. Uh, <laughs> we actually landed on the interloper, but I couldn't figure out where the crack was that they were talking about, the fissure. And it only goes around the sun two times before you lose your chance. So I know that now, which means I can then land on it and try to figure that out again. So I feel like there's a lot of pieces that I'm like, I've got this little bit of a nugget and I have an idea, but I just haven't been able to get it to work out yet, but that's fine. I have a lot of leads, so I don't, I don't feel stuck currently, but there are just some things that I'm like, where am I, what am I missing in the Sunless City? I am trying to figure out the stupid quantum curves, but I'm clearly failing at that too. So I guess I could go back to the sun. I don't know what I'm missing in the Sunless City though, because I had already gone through each layer. At least I'm not missing the stuff in Brittle Hollow. Okay, I do have one question that you guys might be able to answer for me. But let me, where is it on my map? Well, actually, let me just go this way. Okay, this one. I have a question about this. So this is a pineapple question, so you guys are more than welcome to point me in the right direction, so to speak. I've been looking for this, and like I thought it was where Chert, I think it's Chert is on this planet. I thought it was below him, and that's the lake bed. But I tried going all the way down to the bottom of that and could not find anything. So I'm confused on where to go for that. So I guess what I'm asking, is there any direction you can give me that would make sense to me that I could freaking find this lake bed cave? I think Ember is just confusing in general because of all the caves. And I haven't explored all the caves. So maybe I should just go. That was indeed the North Pole. Okay, so at least I was on the right track. But it didn't look like I could progress any further in that cave. Thank you for confirming, Flo. Okay. Your mamu have come to bargain. Thank you, Flo, for confirming. Okay. Hi, Ramirez. How are you doing? Also, hi, Asel. I hope you're doing well. LBJ named it Jumbo. What about Wumbo? <laughs> Don't encourage him. Okay, thank you for the the advice, the, the, the hint there. So, okay, I'll swipe them off the table. I'm gonna go back to Ember against my smarter judgment right now. I'm gonna go back to Ember one more time tonight. And, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Ember one more time. If it doesn't end up working out, doesn't, oh, son of a bitch, just doing that thing again. We're gonna go back one more time. Clearly we still have a lot more of this game to play, so. This feels like a more significantly more epic version of Mario Galaxy. I like that, I'm on board with that. Whoa. Yeah, good try, you almost had me there. Okay, so I'm gonna go, where do I? I'm gonna go for it one more time. I'm fine with that.
coffee, everything just dead ends. And I don't find anything down here. It's just all blocked off. This is this is one of the weird ones that like I cannot figure out. I can't I can't solve. Cause like if they said they disappeared in a cave that came from the lake bed, then I'd figure it would be somewhere in here. But I can't fit through any of these places. Oh, did that get me farther? Maybe? Did that get me farther? Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think that actually got me farther. Okay, this is a jumping puzzle kind of thing. Okay. Oh, good lord. Barely made it. Stop pushing me. I hope I'm actually going somewhere. I can't tell. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Please tell me this is leading somewhere. Anywhere. <laughs> something beneficial or am i just getting stuck further down a deep cave that i don't know how to navigate i think this just loops back around okay that looks okay okay Okay, I, I see what's going on now. Kind of. Which way do I progress is the question. This one doesn't seem to be doing it. Or that's not the right way to go. But this is the way that I came from, so this wouldn't be the right way. Three minutes of oxygen remaining is not good. None of these are changed. Oh, that one did change this time. Okay. Hang on. Progress. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that was stressful. Okay. Oxygen. This is stressful. Uh, South thinks the sci fi equivalent of lighted bread comes. That would be nice. And I mean, now I know where the freaking rock teleported to. Hi. I almost said swamp. I was about to full name you. Juicy, hello. I don't know. They give me oxygen, so that's good. Ugh. Do it. I full name you? Fine, I will. Swamp Monster, AKA Juicy. Full name you if I want to. <laughs> What's up, Dense? How are you doing? Space, marshmallows, mystery, discovery, existential crisis, all in a single game at a low, low price. 
And this game is called Outer Wilds. It's totally on sale on Steam right now. You guys should definitely pick it up. I don't... How in the world would TTS say your name? I am enjoying Outer Wilds, Dense. It is stressful. It actually is very stressful, but like in a good way. I don't know how to explain this. The anxiety of this game. <laughs> It's, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm driven and compelled forward because I want to know the answers. But I'm scared shitless to do it. So I guess my motivation to figure out what's going on in the game is driving me harder than my, my fight or flight instinct. So, okay. If you've come here to look for Coleus, uh, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus is... Uh, Coleus disappeared. We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Okay. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Hello, rock. Junk, junk. Wait, even that appeared or disappeared. Okay, I hate this place and everything about it. I absolutely hate this. Please stop. <laughs> I hate it. I hate everything right now. I hate everything. Hate this. I hate this so much. I'm like, I get what it's trying to tell me, but I don't know what to trigger to make it work properly. Oh, come on. Here, give me my oxygen back first. I'm probably thinking too hard on this. I'm making it an extra level difficult. Yes, all my questions are rhetorical, by the way. I will eventually figure it out or die <laughs> to the supernova before I do, which will be very sad. Okay. So off. It's there. Yes, that's what I wanted. I think. Stay. Is this the different one? This is the different one. Okay. This is what I wanted. I, I don't know where I am, but this is what I wanted. <laughs> that is what I wanted to happen. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This is only stressful because I know I'm on a timer, so if I don't figure it out, then I'm going to have to do it all over again. Hello. Anarin? I hope I said that correctly. Why what? Why what? I don't know why. Why? Why am I trying to figure it out? Or why am I so dumb? It's very viable questions. <sighs> no, I don't. Canadian Tom. No, I don't. Ocarina of Time vibes. I could see that. Yeah, I could definitely see that. How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an exit or entrance. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary species. 
I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis that the rock can bring me here can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melore is here too, or now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with the quantum object and they move together. I don't know if that's a good thing if I go to the quantum moon then. That actually sounds horrifying. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer. Ugh, yeah, new quantum rule. Oh my god. <laughs> do it! Do it, E-Blackbird, why not? No calling CD dumb, I'm gonna have to ban you if you do it again. I'm sorry! Uh... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. We know the rule now. I don't want to be in here, though. Wait. Is this another new one? I, I don't think I've been in this one. Oh no. Never mind. Okay, this was. Okay, this is this one. Wait, have I? I haven't. Wait, what? I haven't been in this one. Oh god, okay. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed, the North Pole, several days ago. Why is that still in orange? I discovered that finally. We're unable to find any trace of him. Da -da -da, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we haven't read this one yet. Oh my god, this is blowing my brain up. Don't have a 3DS or Switch. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. You could always emulate it. Quantum rule. As soon as I stop paying attention to my food, it seems to mysteriously be gone. I wonder who ate it. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Oh god. This is this game is tripping me out, man. I don't know. I've, I would take it you've played this before. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Morlane and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Uh-huh. I really don't like you, but, you know, it's whatever. So where did this put me? Some place that has steps. Okay, hang on. I want to see if this takes me anywhere else. Okay, we've been in this one. Uh, this is the original one I found it in. This is the creepy one. <laughs> and this is the one with the cactus. Okay. Alright, we're good. I'm going this way. Misty, how is Baloo doing? I know you said you came back and want to make sure Doggo is doing okay. I was fortunate that my, my doggo was never too, too bothered by them, but I know plenty of doggos that are, so give Baloo all of the love. All of the love. Okay, where's my ship at? My ship is on the other side. That's fine. That's fine. Played this years back during COVID haze, and yeah, I don't remember much at all, but it was super cool. Ugh. This game stresses me out. <laughs> Like, I'm loving it. Like, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. But it also just 
God, it freaks me out, something fierce. There's a lot of places that are creepy. Giant's Deep really get, gets to me, I feel like. <laughs> How many point? You should definitely check out Misty. I also just got introduced to Misty yesterday, actually. And I watched them play Exit 8 and they were playing some Outlast this morning. And I was having so much fun in their chat that I was late to my own stream. I was late for other reasons, but Misty might have been one of them. <laughs> so, okay, how, how long are, what are we at right now? I just wanna see how many minutes we're at. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Okay. Well, interloper is going near the sun, but it's way too late for me to intercept that now. I guess since I've got all the smarties here. And now I'll just wait to ask that next time because I'll probably do it. We've only used about half of our time. Um, I guess I could go out to Giant's Deep and see if I can learn a little bit more on Giant's Deep real quick. In this, in this one. Let me see if there's anything else, but hang on. Lake Big Cave, we finally found it. Oh my God, do not tell me there's more down there. Do not tell me. Okay, for a second I thought it was gonna tell me that I missed more. I was like, you better not. Okay, a Nomai named Coleus. Uh, was standing on the wandering rock when another Nomai's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. The travel to travel with a quantum object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Melray returned to examine the rock. They theorized that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they both move together. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad thing because it's not like I would be disappearing from the moon if I landed on the quantum moon. I would be moving with the quantum moon. So I guess that's fine. Baloo is better. He calmed down a bit. That's good. Now, I'm I'm a big old animal lover, and I, I miss having my doggo. So I, I live vicariously through everybody else that has doggos right now. Now, no, don't feel bad. It was funny because, like, I woke up late. Like, I woke up late, so I'm not blaming you. And I went and took my shower, and I sat down, and I was, like, prepping stuff. And I saw you were on, and I was like, well, I just met Misty. I would love to go go check out some of their, what they got going on. And then I just kept sitting there, and I, like, told my community, I'm like, I'm going to be a few minutes late because I need to dry my hair. And I did need to dry my hair. But <laughs> if Robco hadn't showed up, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have told anybody <laughs> why I was late. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am only half self-employed. I still work for a corporation for another couple weeks. Uh, my doggo's name is Samus, and she's she's still alive, but um, went through a pretty rough um, uh, long-term breakup, and uh, my ex uh, kept her. So I miss her dearly, and I care about her a lot still. But I know he's taking good care of her. I have no doubt about that. We both loved our dog very much. And we have, she's almost six years old now. But I miss her. But um, yeah. She was a mixed breed. And she was the sweetest, sweetest girl ever. So I know she's still living a good life. And that's important. So I did dry my hair. I finally did go and dry my hair. So I'm sure that um, I will... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just intake some spit. <coughs> Good lord. <coughs> I'm sure I will get some some more fur babies of my own at some point in the future because I love animals. I, I've grown up with animals most of my life. Fair chunk of my life at least. <laughs> gotcha for sure. <clears throat> yeah, Finn is cool people. Plays a variety of stuff as well. So, lots of good people. Yeah, good fur babies. 
mixed breed. I mean, he looks like a German Shepherd. Did seem like a little bit of German Shepherd with floppy ears and being scared of ducks. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, so we got Samus. It was a former client of mine, um, had LO puppies. And at the time, my ex and I was looking to have a doggo. And uh, we went and I picked her up. Um, I, I held her in my hands at two days old and she was such a tiny little girl. And we knew that the mom was half husky. Like that's all we knew for sure, that the mom was half husky. Um, but she was a lot smaller than a standard Siberian husky. Uh, so we knew that she was mixed with something. And then they have no idea what the dad was, like literally nothing. And so she has she was one of seven puppies and she's the only one that had her ears stand straight up all the other ones got floppy ears but she is she's she's a cutie she's a looker man and she appeared on this stream many a times over the last several years until uh about a year ago so yeah i do miss her though she wasn't a barker but she definitely talked like a husky. But she only talked with you if she was upset with you or if she played, like, played with you. <laughs> so she wasn't a loud, a loud girl. She didn't bark a lot. Um, but no, if you, if she, if you left her, <laughs> if you left her and she wanted you to know that she was upset with you, she'd give you a little bit of talking to. And um, she, uh, <laughs> she, she liked to talk when she played, played with you. She was, she was, she, she could be loud. <laughs> she used to blow, bo blow bubbles in her bowl as well. Apparently it's a very husky trait and uh, she only did it as a puppy. She, she used to blow bubbles in her water with her nose. <laughs> Hi, Nezadom. You lurk to your heart's content. Yes, cats did raid earlier. So thank you for uh, raiding over. Feel free to lurk in the shadows as much as you like. Sorry, we were just talking puppy. Um. I'm still missing something in the Sunless City, still. So I guess I just need to go top, like bottom to top Sunless City and see what I'm missing there. Because uh, I did get to the Energy Lab and everything. So it looks like the Sunless City, whatever I'm missing in the Sunless City is the last thing in Ember Twin, which is good, which means Ember Twin is almost done. Um, Ash Twin Project is still a question mark, I guess because I need to figure out other stuff. We have figured out the tower system. So I guess we just find out more information about the Ash Twin project because we've already kind of figured out the rest. So, mm -hmm. of course, you are more than welcome to Nez. And again, you can you can lurk, you can lurk to your heart's content. You'll never have to say anything if you don't want to. My lord, we had somebody who had been following for three and a half years who said something for the first time the other day. And it just kind of blew my mind. I was like, hi. They were like, hi, I've been lurking forever. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> so thank you for the follow, Nez. But yeah, you feel free to lurk as much as you'd like. Hi, Viking. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right. So anyway, let's. So that's done. That's done. Ember Twin only has like one thing left. So we've learned a lot about Quantum Moon, but I still need to figure out the Southern Observatory and the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. And I have a theory about getting to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge that we tried earlier, but I didn't have enough time. And then I don't know what the Southern, Southern Observatory is. Decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole says you can't get into the observatory from the surface they tried so i might be able to either get to the observatory from underneath or the tower of quantum knowledge underneath i'm not sure which yet but one of them if we get to the tower of quantum knowledge then we'll be able to access the quantum moon which we haven't done yet and then we also have landed on the interloper but i did not successfully figure out how to get into it so that's something we need to do too. We did the probe. We got to figure out the tracking module. I think it's somewhere on Giant Steep is my guess. So, um, and then Giant Steep, we have plenty of stuff to figure out on Giant Steep. So where am I right now? It's like, what am I doing? Um, I wouldn't have very much time on, on Giant Steep. Oh, what is this? Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. <laughs> I never actually like looked around 
uh, for anything else. Planetary chart of the Outer Wilds. The Hourglass Twins. Oh, I don't know if I See, it actually shows that as being complete. That's interesting. It does show the quantum moon. And then the interloper. So I guess what I would need to do next, like on the next launch, is I'm going to go back to Ember Twin one more time. And I'm going to figure out... I need to figure out the... Uh, the Sunless City thing that I'm missing. Because I'm only missing that. So that's not very much at all. Little Scout. See beyond the horizon. Illuminate dark areas. I've been doing that like crazy lately. Detect hazards. I have also been doing that. Test the environment. Ooh, that's a good idea. I could shoot. I never even looked at this poster. Oh my goodness. So... Clara Barton. Well, it's not Clara. It is Sierra. But you can call me Sierra or you can call me CD. Or just spell C-I-D-E. So any of those works. <laughs> because when people write C-I-D-E, I read it as CD in my head. But you can use any of those. I am Viking. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, God, there's so much to this game. I know what I'm going to do for the last little bit of this. There's so much to this game and it's it's quite scary and it's quite unnerving at times, but in such a good way, Viking. Have you ever played this? I don't have enough time to do what I want to, so. Nope, you should. You should give it a try sometime. If you if you like some exploration. It's been very nice to play. I've been enjoying it a lot. Shoom. Yum. Yum. La. There we go. There we go. Um, there it is. I was like, Whoa. I looked right at it. I'm such a dingus. Well, there you go. Bought it, barely started it, never got back into it. Or got back to it. Fair enough. I can understand that. But it's been really good. I've been enjoying it a lot. It's, it is a game that doesn't give you a single direction, Viking. And that can be difficult for some people. And to be honest with you, I was a little worried that it was going to be too much for me. But so far, I haven't gotten stuck. I feel like there are like there are some smaller puzzles in it and stuff. And there are things where like you really have to explore to find the next thing. But I I think it's it's definitely great. The music is very good. Do I have a nice? Is this considered a nice toasted? Marshmallow or nah? Everybody kept telling me- That looks black! <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, well that definitely is black. Hang on. I never had my flashlight on so I couldn't tell. It's definitely burnt. There we go. That looks like a toasty marsh. That looks, that's good. That's, that's a good, that's a good color. There we go. Yes. There we go. I made a good marshmallow. Now everybody can stop yelling at me about how I wasn't making good marshmallows, but I couldn't tell. <sighs> hmm. Bought zero games. Oh, the summer sale? I did pick up a couple things. Um, I honestly have to go back and look to be honest with you what I got because I got about 12 games, so. There. You bought zero games? I'm so proud of you, Scarlet. <laughs> well, you still have what? Doesn't the sale go on for five more days, I think? So you still got time. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I just wanted to listen to the, the town music. I do also want to go back to Giant Steep, but I didn't think I had enough time to do what I wanted to do at Giant Steep, so. I didn't want to get like halfway through something and then not be able to finish it. Yeah, just uninstall Steam, you'll be fine. 
Thronette says, I think I got all the games I wanted so far. Last sale. Was there anything really good that you picked up last sale, Durnets? Or if anybody picked anything good up from this sale? Oh, is it about to change? Yeah, it's about to change, isn't it? I think so. It looks like Hourglass is done. No, because I think Interloper comes... Wait. How is Interloper not dead yet? Why is the music end when I come up here? Oh, come on. I just wanted a beautiful view with that, but with my music. Gosh dang it, we play, play my music, but not. Mm. It should be close. It should be close. And I don't play anyways. <laughs> Songs of Conquest. I just wanted to listen to the pretty music. Uninstall Steam. When did this community get so toxic? <laughs> See, I feel like I've picked up some good games over the last few sales, but I would have to go back and really, like, tell you, tell you guys what I picked up, so. Oh, Nez, thank you so much. Oh, and it's Dynastic's birthday, too? Or am I getting trolled? I might be getting trolled. What is that? I don't know what just went by. Oh, the quantum moon. Hello, quantum moon. Goodbye, quantum moon. Now that I know, like I already knew how the quantum stuff works, but I don't know. Just said happy birthday. Fair enough. I was gonna say that's a common occurrence on Twitch to, to wish people happy birthdays. <laughs> Okay, Dernets, if you didn't play anything from the last set of games that you bought during the sale, then what do you play? Hmm? Or you're like, no, I swear off games for life now. I no longer play games. Who plays games? Who has time for games anymore? Hello? Why is there no more happy town music, damn it? Oh, Cyberpunk, nice. I plan on playing that uh, our community voted for this game and for Cyberpunk as two of the games that I play this year. And so Cyberpunk will actually be coming up relatively soon. Excuse me, might be around the same time as Liza P. How are you enjoying it? And are you gonna play the DLC? Wait, there's an actually a website that tells you to? Wait, what? Tells you what, PJs? Oh, the backlog thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I, yeah. We want a good view. Yeah, the website I showed Scarlet was mostly about achievements, though. There is, like, an actual backlog calculation thing. Oh, sometimes, Nez. But usually only if I'm working out and I'm going crazy. It's much better optimized these days. That's what I've heard. I'm really excited to give it a try. Because not that I was opposed to playing it. I just did never get to it. So we're going to do a full playthrough of Cyberpunk on stream. So, yeah. I'm not actually Scarlet. I did for a little bit. But no, Liza P is going to be the game we play after Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So it will be happening soon. I still haven't played that yet either, PJs. Gone. Supernova is pretty. Well, it's not like Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a quick game. I'm not even full time content creation until the 27th, so. Oh, sevens in chat, Flo. Oh, sevens in chat. Well, we did a lot of progress today. Like, we actually did do a lot of progress. We got to the Black Hole Forge. We got to the Sun Station. We did almost everything. Um, we went to deep, or sorry, we almost did everything on Ember. There's literally only like one thing missing now. Um, we went to Giant's Deep and at least scratched the surface. 
of that planet. Still haven't been to Deep or Dark Bramble. I refuse. And we'll have to do Interloper soon as well. So, okay. But why in the world would the probe have been shot? I think I missed like two launches, by the way. So I need to catch up. <laughs> I kept forgetting to do the launches. Nez over here gifting another sub? Nez! Went from saying you were gonna lurk to gifting subs? How dare you? In the nicest way possible. But that, that right there is where we're gonna leave it today. Whoopsies, I didn't wanna stop the music! Okay, well, I'll just start the music on, on the, the other thing so I can talk without and be able to click out of my screen. One second! Main menu, boom! So we can still listen to the pretty music. There we go. Let's move you guys over here. Mike Halleck has been driving me nuts lately. It has not been settling. My, my bangs have been doing some really weird things lately. Ah, uh, what can you do? <laughs> I liked the name. I don't know why you're apologizing, my friends. I appreciate you supporting the channel. You just came in here and decided to support the channel. And you were just supporting by chilling here in the first place, which is very nice of you, so. Aw, thank you, Scarlet. Yeah, the sunflower is kind of representative of my of my mom. She passed away when I was a kid from blood clot, which is no bueno. Blood clot and stroke. So we actually did a charity stream benefiting the American Blood Clot Association. And uh, the sunflowers were representative of her. So, yeah. I am ending. I have been streaming for over seven hours, so unfortunately, I do have to wrap it today because my lovely partner in the other room is probably very hungry by now. Maybe I should get him that steak dinner after all. So we are going to find someone lovely to raid because of course I wouldn't just leave y'all hanging dry without taking in somebody good so i'll have to find somebody to raid right quick so yeah well nez i appreciate you coming over in the raid thanks for hanging out for a bit we haven't actually picked food yet daddy wisdom thanks for hanging out as well i have Daddy Wisdom's a great person you guys should all chill with as well. I'm telling you, Daddy Wisdom, we will be having our, our driving sims soon. Uh, that should be quite interesting. Ooh, what food and drink were you doing recently? I hope it was yummy. I haven't gotten a shout out Mr. J Snackies in a while either. Because they've been playing so much Final Fantasy, I haven't been able to watch. But one day soon, I will be able to watch another Jay Snackies stream. What sucks is Jay Snackies is always streaming Final Fantasy when I actually have a chance to swing in and not streaming something I can watch other time. No, you're fine. It just sucks because I have not been able to stop by in a bit. Seriously, like every time that I have the chance to swing in, you're playing Final Fantasy. Every time that I don't have the chance, you're playing something else, I swear. So, is what it is. It's perfectly fine. But... I am very happy you guys, all guys, gals, thems, everybody all inclusive. Sorry, I use guys as an inclusive term and I know some people aren't a huge fan of that, but bad habits. Um, you all, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate the heck out of it. We had a lot of raids. We had a lot of new follows. Uh, speaking of which, if you haven't hit the follow button, it's like my only shill of the day. If you're enjoying the community, want to come back and hang out with us, just don't forget to follow. Um, other than that, we had lots of lovely raids from lots of lovely people. Fly Ray Stream, Mickerish, Misty Rosie, MDS Pegasus, Smuggy Streams, I'm a Flanker, Lamb Ram, and Cats. All with the raids. That's a lot of people. Jeez, thank you so much to all those lovely individuals who decided to braid us today. And thank you for the new follow. I hope you enjoy your time with us. Tomorrow, we will be playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey's DLC. So we'll be a smidge away from, um, well, we'll be away from uh, Outer Wilds for a day or two. More than likely, we'll be playing Outer Wilds on Tuesday. More than likely. Keep an eye out for schedule. Keep an eye out for the go live messages. 
Um, I'll include whatever I'm playing, if I'm playing Outer Wilds, because I know a lot of people are really interested in this playthrough, so I'll do my best to include it in the go live so people know that I'm actually playing Outer Wilds if you're trying to catch that. We do also have the lovely archive channel, so if you've missed any part of this playthrough and you want to go watch it, I will be posting the VODs. Uh, I'll try to get, if I can get this one uploaded to YouTube, I'll try to get all three of them posted tonight, because I am missing two right now including the first Outer Wilds one, so. But yeah, absolutely, Ben. Thanks for popping in. It was good to see you. I hope all has been well for you. I haven't gotten to pop in on you for a while either. I haven't gotten to pop in on a lot of people, I'm going to be real honest with you, but most of you understand why, because I traveled to the UK, then I got sick, then I had charity stream that I had to focus on, and then I took a smidgen after that, and then my partner came in from the UK, and he's been living here for, oh man, almost a month. Good lord. Time flies. Yeah, that's a scary thought. Time flies. But yeah, so yeah, that was the second stream. So I was just meaning I have three VODs to upload or like get onto the archive because of today. So two VODs for Outer Wilds, one VOD for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, or you can always watch it here on Twitch if you prefer watching it there. So let me take a peek. Let me see who's live. Let me see who I haven't raided in a while because there's a lot of people that are on, but I feel like I've raided a lot of these people lately. Um, Man, this music's so good. Sorry, I'm definitely not procrastinating because I'm listening to the music. Hi, Juice, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. It's so good to see you. Thank you for giving a shout out for Finn as well. Does a lot of retro classic content, but I've seen Finn play a lot, just a lot of different stuff, but lots of different classic content, Final Fantasy, the works. Please go check them out. You know what? We have not raided Mr. Benny Stringbane in a long time, I don't think. There's a lot of good people on. But man, Mr. Benny Stringbean is definitely one of those. He's a good bean. He's a very good bean. And he is playing a game that I know a lot of you all watched me play a while back. That game is Kingdom Come Deliverance. And that game also has a sequel coming out this year. And I'm getting extremely excited for it. So let's go say hi to Mr. Benny Stringbean. I, I love getting a chance to raid Mr. Benny. He is always here, always supporting me, always just recommending the community to people and everything else. So let's go say hi to Mr. Benny Stringbean. It is Kingdom Come Deliverance is what he is playing right now. I can't tell exactly where he is in the game. I know he's been playing, he's been streaming it a couple times. So I know he's not like right at the beginning. So I don't know what quest he's working on. Damn, he's actually day 13. He's been playing for a while. Right now, he's not in a main quest mission, so we're sh we're fine there. Kingdom is spicy. Dude, I love Kingdom Come Deliverance. That game surprised me. I had no idea that I would like the ga that game as much as as I did. So, uh, let's let's do this. Let's let me see real quick here. Oh, the museum music's fine too. All right, so let's do that. Thank you all so much for being here. Whether you lurked, whether you chit chatted, whether you did anything in between, whether you followed, whether you gifted a sub, resubbed yourself, or gave some bits, or again, just chilled. Uh, having you all here is what makes this go around and makes for a great day of playing video games. So. We're going to go say hi to Mr. Benny Stringbean. Make sure to drop him a follow if you like his content. Again, he's playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, which has a sequel coming out this year. So get really excited about that. We will be live tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time. That's minus 6 GMT with some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're going to continue the Legacy of the First Blade DLC. And then once that is completed, which I don't think we're going to finish it tomorrow. Um, but once that is completed, we'll do the Atlantis DLC. So thank you all so much, mods. Thank you for everything you do. Have a wonderful night. Robco, Jay Snackies, thanks for being here. Scarlet, thank you for being here. Juice, I hope you have a good night. 
Ethan, take care. Viking, thank you for being here. Dynastic, thanks for being here. Nez, thanks for being here. Infinity Simplex, thank you for being here. I'm probably missing names. Merilith, Misty, thank you again for that raid. You lovely bean. I'm so glad I got introduced to you. Everyone, <laughs> be well, as Merilith said. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is where you all are. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Bye.